Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. Letting my Minneapolis, Minnesota family know I'm on my way with the will of the Almighty. Letting my Minneapolis, Minnesota Africans know that I am on my way with the help of the Almighty. Letting my University of Minnesota Africans know my Minneapolis African community, the Prince is on his way. It's going down tonight in Minneapolis. It's going down tonight at Minneapolis. It's going down tonight. Notice he's not up there at those abandoned buildings in Wilmington. We got the five year anniversary and this guy is everywhere except up there at the traps. And he start off this video just blinking and start sniffing and look. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. Peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. <laughs> that remind me when he was turning heat down, he was doing that. <laughs> he was doing that exact thing. When he was turning that heat down that time in the hotel. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. All right. We got a lot to get into this evening, today, this evening. Thank you all so much for tuning on in. I'm still under the weather. I apologize for this. We're going to get it in. Click the crush chat. Sun. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Let's go. FDMG's coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming. FDMG. It's coming, FDMG, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> What's up, beautiful it's coming. it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's <laughs> coming. He talk about the bag lady, right? Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the hell, because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Oh my God, why? Who's it's coming. My it's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. Thought this personality <laughs> be twerking. It's twerking. <laughs> that sounded by, about right, Adrian. A class of FMG class of 3085, installation 17 in our Antarctica. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be where I shouldn't be. I used to do this all the time, but I'm tired. I'm not feeling well either. But I, I told people we were going to do this. And where's my glasses at? That may help. I need to get me a new prescription too, because these don't work good like they used to. You know, you get older, you got to. Got to get in there at least twice, three times a year. <laughs> there we go. We go. Uh, we got quite a bit to get into, but we're going to do a follow up to yesterday. We're going to do part two of yesterday. We won't be here as long as yesterday, but there's quite a bit that's been going on. So we got to get caught up on everything. Um, I want to thank everyone inside the Cookie Crush chat. Uh, thanks to everyone, all the mods. Thanks to everyone who tuned in yesterday. Uh, thanks to everyone who sent in uh, cash apps uh, yesterday, super chats and PayPal's. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Also, thanks to the mods. How's it going, Ruben Vera? Thanks for tuning on in. Absentee HVAC loser tune day is here as well. Mirror's in the building as well. Thank you so much. And hi, thank, hi again, uh, beautiful beans. Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a little while. Hope everything's going well with you. Didi's in the building as well. So we've been covering um, the five-year anniversary of Umar acquiring these abandoned buildings in Wilmington, Delaware. It's been five years. It's gone by very quickly. In February of 2019, he made the announcement, school announcement. We covered about half of it, almost half of it yesterday, that video. We're going to cover the rest of it uh, today. And then we're going to also get back to, because there's more footage that came out of a situation that took place where this young lady uh, bum rushed the stage, as we used to call it, bum rushed the stage, but she approached the stage where Umar was speaking and it turned into a fiasco. Now, the video that we watched yesterday was from a particular angle. You don't see everything that's taking place, but I have video footage uh, that I downloaded yesterday, late last night, where you can see the whole thing. Uh, you can see her actually walk up from the back walk all the way up and you can see what happens when she confronts umar throw up the bag at him and then when they cut the security grab her and take her out and all after i saw i actually felt bad for the young lady i i uh on one hand i understand the security issue but then on the other hand all of this black power talk and you know uh a white supremacy and and we need to protect the black women but the, the, how they treated that young lady no no it it, it, it was disheartening uh, i didn't appreciate that Again, I understand the security issue, but on the other hand, there's a way to handle that situation. And we're going to get to that video a little bit later on, but I want to stay on task. So y'all just hold on and bear with me. we got quite a bit to get to uh, today. Uh, thank you all so much, uh, everyone. I want to thank everyone. I, I have been feeling well. It's been a while. I just, you know, I, I, I was supposed to live stream on Monday, but I just wasn't filling up to it. Uh, Tuesday came around, I wasn't filled up to it. Yesterday I did it, uh, probably shouldn't have. And then today, I can't say I'm feeling better, but I'm feel well enough. And so I wanna make sure that we I, I, uh, adhere to my commitment and we make sure we get to this uh, five-year anniversary of Umar acquiring these abandoned buildings. There's still people who still believe in this. You know, uh, I wanna share something else and maybe I shouldn't, but I'm gonna share it. Black people are so desperate for leadership that we will dismiss a man's character for their word. Uh, what's up, X Freeman, too, by the way? I'm, I'm, I apologize. I didn't mean to keep you up here like that. I'm going to say it again. Black people are so, I'm talking about in general, black people are so desperate for leadership that we would dismiss a man's character for his words. In other words, what he says is more important than how he lives, how he behaves, how he treats people. And that's Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson is, in point of fact, and I have all the receipts to back it up, he is he is the worst example of black manhood, masculinity, and fatherhood that I've seen. How he treats black women is deplorable. He's a rolling stone. He uses his platform, he uses his voice, he uses the black power rhetoric to get into spaces in order to gain access to black women to manipulate, to get money out of them and to exploit them sexually. These are facts. So what took place with the young lady uh, recently? I'm not surprised by it at all. I've been in communication with quite a few. I'm not gonna say a whole bunch, but quite a few that have reached out to me over the years to express, with receipts too, by the way, their experiences with Umar. And yet we did there. And I'm not saying we there are people who dismiss this. And I, I'm going to say this because there is the UNIA. I saw this video today and it just happened to pop up on my feed. And they were talking about their position of dealing with U Umar. They have different divisions. Umar was in a division. They were going to kick him out because he was causing uh, turmoil and dissension. He was trying to gain access to the building fund. Sound familiar to renovate uh, this building. And that was a whole big thing. And and, that, and Umar admitted that they were going to kick him out anyway, but he went ahead and resigned. Well, do you guys know that the president of the UNIA issued a letter? And in the letter, recommended that the divisions throughout the country, that they, and probably, I don't even know if it's throughout the world, I don't know if it's the head, uh, just here in the United States of America, that they not include Umar Johnson in any of their programming. And yet, this particular uh, I guess you can say uh, union, if you will. I don't know what the the uh, the, the number is, but they, they have quite a few of them. Um, they have a whole bunch of them, as a matter of fact. They were debating about whether or not they should adhere to their uh, president. 
or should they go ahead and do what they want to do, which was to have Umar come on board? And to hear these young men try to justify having Umar uh, participate in their events, it was it was saddening to me because it shows that there are people who would dismiss a, a man's character simply because he talks a certain way or he speaks on certain topics. He doesn't live any of that lifestyle that he speaks about. But that black power thing is a problem because people will dismiss a man's character and who he is, including how he treats black women and how he's been scamming black people for 14 years for a school that does not exist just to have him come speak. And they say it while they're trying. They're talking about this. They say, well, you know, he brought in a whole lot more members when he came to speak again. Well, speak the last time. That's not a good reason to have a, a, someone who is a poor character. Where is your ethics? You're supposed to be UNIA and you got your own. Well, where's your ethics at? Where's your integrity at? So because he brings in more members, which translates to money, you're going to keep bringing them on. You're going to try even against what your president tells you to do because you want more membership, which translates to money. What kind of. Let me stop. And see, this is. Inherent in the issue with black people really needing having this need for for leadership, but you're looking for leadership in the wrong people. Not everyone who talks that talk is the right person to be following, to be supporting, to be defending. Well, that's Umar. So part of what I'm getting at is if you all about this black power stuff, you better have some ethics and some morals and you better have some integrity. Otherwise, you're the problem because you allow people like Umar and give him a platform, even though he's causing all types of damage, including running through these black women. Does that not matter? The school scam that's been going on for 14 years, he's had these buildings now for, and the guy, the young man uh, was saying something like, and I'm aware of the personal stuff, but it's not about focusing on the personal, it's about the message. Well, the message is the game, young man. That's all that is, that's the game that he's run. That's what he runs. He's no, he's no different than a street hustler, that's all. You have to have enough intelligence to recognize that. And don't compromise your morals and your ethics and your integrity simply to have this guy get come on so you can make more uh, money by getting more uh, members. And the irony is, is we wonder why black people will be at. Well, it's precisely because of these types of issues. How can anybody have someone? I'll, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, I just happened to see this video and, and just to hear these young men, it's almost like they're trying to negotiate against their own conscience as to why it is they should have Umar participate in this event that's coming up, even though the, the, the president of the UNIA issued a letter telling everyone, do not have Umar be a part of any of your events. All right, let's get into it uh, for today. So I want to pick up where we left off yesterday. We've been covering the uh, five-year anniversary. And leading up to this, we covered the St. Paul school scam. We covered uh, the earlier years. We even covered the UNIA, uh, uh, some of the UNI days. Uh, and then we brought it all the way up to February of 2019. And then Umar, uh, he releases this video, the announcement video. We started yesterday. We're going to get into it, uh, the rest of it today. Now, see, the thing is, I believe they do have morals. That's why they, it's almost like they were negotiating against their own morals and ethics and integrity to try to figure out and justify having Umar on. It, but see, that's not even the issue. The issue is that if Umar is someone who lacks integrity and is no more than a two-bit hustler, just the fact that he's he's preying upon these single black mothers in particular, but black women in general, and, and, and exploiting them for financial gain and for sexual exploitation, that in, in and of itself is enough for any man who has in any level of integrity to say, no, I don't care what he's saying. He can talk black power talk and all this white supremacy talk and he can talk all that stuff. He can talk all that. It means absolutely nothing. If fundamentally this guy, he's 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 bankrupt when it comes to having some level of ethics himself. Talk about Umar. You see what I'm saying? That should be enough in and of itself. When he talks about crushing cookies, that should be enough. 
When he's sniffing and blinking, that should be enough. When he's yelling and screaming and just said he ramped, that should be enough. How can someone dismiss that? See, you're so desperate for leadership, you'll accept anybody. See, if, if Malcolm was alive today, and I ain't never said this, but I'm going to say it. If Malcolm was alive today and looked upon Umar's character, he would see it for what it is. And Malcolm would not sanction that. Malcolm would not condone Umar's behavior. Malcolm would not work with Umar. Well, first of all, Malcolm did things. He actually built things. Umar ain't done nothing but run his mouth. But strictly on ethics and moral principles and integrity, someone like Malcolm would have never sanctioned someone like Umar. So these young men, I can tell they had, so, they had some idea that what they were trying to do was wrong. They're just trying to justify it in their own minds. And really, they shouldn't have that public. They should have kept that private. To have that conversation public is ridiculous. That should be kept within the organization. Furthermore, it goes to show you how Umar's influence, he's actually disrupting the organization, even though he's not a part of the organization. See, they wanted Umar to go because Umar was trying to apply to other UNIAs after they was going to kick him out of, of the one he was in before. He was the minister of, of, uh, of education. So after they were about to kick him out because he was, listen, Umar, he was a troublemaker anyway, insubordinate, but also he was trying to run a scam. The, the building fund scam, which is no different than what he's doing. Well, it's a little bit different, but it's similar to what he's doing with this, with the St. Paul school scam. And now he's doing with the Wilmington school scam. But what Umar did was he put in a resignation letter because he already knew they were going to kick him out. And then he started to, he tried to apply to other ones, but they couldn't have, because they have a whole process. If you're part of the UNIA and you get expelled, or if you resign, you have to reapply. And there has to be communication between the, the, the other branch that you were in and the new branch that you're applying for. And there's communication that goes back and forth. And they basically vet you. Umar didn't want to go through that process. See? Okay. It's a whole big story. I don't mean to go off on this, but I'm just telling you all right now that that, that just goes to show you where black people are at. That if this organization... Thank you, a big show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have a straight, I'm trying to have a serious show tonight. I try to come off with the real serious, and here we go. I'm not laughing at it. I'm not laughing. I'm just saying. It needs to, it needs to stop. Why can't we just be? That's why we can't go nowhere, okay? <laughs> we can't go nowhere. <laughs> we have to stay in the house all the time. Good question. We can't go nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Why? Who was that anyway? I, I, I'm not even going to read the name. I, you, you guys, come on. Wait, thanks for the super sticker, though. Iceman Fab said, their integrity is in the same place Umar's mind is in your pocket. In there. Now, listen, I don't know about the gutter part, but but the pocket part, yes, because if you listen to them talk, you can tell that they they had a vested interest in having Umar come simply because he draws an audience. But that's no different than what the Breakfast Club does, uh, what uh, any any of these, uh, uh, you know, platforms do. But to hear the you and I, this and the guy for that particular um, what, what do they call that? To the, let, let me get this. Uh, I don't want to have my, my terminology right. Um I won't pull up the, the resignation letter, but um, I need to get, um, this is division 121. Okay, so it's division. I mean, let me just write the notes so I can remember. So division 121. So what I'm getting at is that the president of that division, I believe it was, no, 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 it wouldn't have been 121. This is the previous, this is the one that, that Umar resigned from, but the, but the division, the president of the division that was speaking in this video that I saw today, um, you can tell that he had a vested interest in getting Umar there simply for the draw because he wanted to. And he says that the last time he came, they were to get more membership. Well, that, that translates into bringing more money in because they have they have dues that they have to pay. But that's not a good reason. Now, the gutter part, I, I can't speak to that because I don't know what, what these brothers was doing. One of them had a, an accent. The other one sounded like he was, you know, some, some a regular uh, a brother. But but to hear them negotiate this like that. And then there were people who got got on because they were it was almost like a, a little bit of a debate. And they were saying how they shouldn't support Umar because the president, you know, stated uh, that they shouldn't. Um, 
but to hear them negotiate, trying to negotiate to, to make this uh, work somehow, it, it was it was just ridiculous. Um, it was it was the motive was financial more than anything else, you know. Um, it, it was sad though, you know, it really was. And I want to get a copy of the letter. Uh, I, I forgot to look for it today. I, I'm sure I can find it. I'm really good at, at getting re written receipts and everything and uh, locating receipts. I'm going to try to get a copy of that letter and then maybe we can cover it at another time. Um, but I just I found it to be intriguing, really intriguing. But to hear these brothers try to justify going against the president of the UNIA uh, to have Umar on. I said, I said, you guys, uh, this goes to show you how much how much of a problem Umar is. Uh, thanks, Ice Man for Zoom Jack. Okay, we got to get going here because I, I want to have a relatively shorter show compared to yesterday. And we're going to pick up right where we left off. A little bit later on, we're going to get to the video uh, where Umar is confronted by um, the, the the young lady. And uh, there's a, a a new video that has come out. It's it's a different angle and it shows everything. Okay. Thanks for tuning on in, uh, My Life 3. Uh, uh, you right about that. Uh, welcome, uh, Jose. Cook says, I'm just going to take a seat in the corner because I know I'm going to be sent there. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So let's pick up. Uh, this is the video from February of 2019. Umar Johnson school announcement. It's about to go down, brothers and sisters. This is it. 16, 19, 2019. We owe it to our ancestors. We owe it to our people. We owe it to Trayvon Martin. We owe it to Sandra Bland. We owe it to Tamir Rice. We owe it to Walter Scott, Freddie Gray. We owe it to our ancestors 400 years. And it's time to take the, the psychological shackles off. And we're going to do that, brothers and sisters. And let me say, once we repair this building and restore this building, it's brand new on the inside. We got to restore it because it was damaged. But brothers and sisters, modern. Okay, that's such a lie. And we, we got to stop our already right there because I, I want to pull something up for you all. This guy, he's such a habitual liar. Um, let's go to, let me see. I'm not just keep doing this. I don't understand why my, my browser does this every time. Here we go. I want to pull up a video. I'm going to do a screen share. And I'm going to pull up a video that uh, shows you that Umar, is, he, he's lying right here. I mean, there's so many different videos that we can show, but I want to go to um, the video where Umar gives a, um, a tour. Oh, there's, there's quite a few from, from back then. Let me see which one would be the best one. Um, We'll, we'll do this one right here. It's the first one that popped up. So we'll, we'll go with this one. That's This is fine. Uh, let me do a screen share here. And then I'm going to play audio. Make sure you guys let me know if you guys can hear the audio or not. But what did he just say? He said that it's brand new on the inside, right? This is this is what I'm talking about. For people who uh, support Umar, he's a habitual liar. And he ain't the only one. Well, I've seen so many people um, over the years of covering Umar that they lie They lie about everything. You know, uh, so just be lying, habitual liars. Well, Umar, he's like that, too. Uh, yeah, I think this is a good one. Okay, let's let's go with this one. Man, it's amazing because these people aren't around. These people aren't around anymore. Okay, let me do a screen share and then uh, let me know if you guys can hear the audio right right here. Now, let me just play this real quick so y'all hear what he said. This is the movement. This is it. If you want to do something for Black folks and you serious, come to Team Pan African. Come to Team Pan African. It's time to get started. If you want to work at the school, get the resumes in. You want to work at the school, get those resumes in. Even now, let me clarify something, years. brothers and sisters. I need to say something that's very important now. What, Umar? I need to say something that is very important now. Well, first of all, don't go packing up, moving to Delaware, expecting a job because you ain't got one yet. I want to be clear. I don't want you moving to Delaware because you say, well, you know what? I'm going to work at the school. Uh-uh. You don't choose me. I choose you. You don't choose me. I choose you. Don't do that. Now, if you move into Delaware because you want to be a part of the movement, move to Delaware. But if you move into Delaware because you're expecting a, a particular official capacity within this movement, don't do that. Because I don't want you to become a hater if you don't get what you want. If you're looking for official capacity, wait until you get it if you get it. But if you just want to be part of the movement, then come on down. Because it's <laughs> about up, to go man? down. It's about hey, to go down, brothers going? and sisters. This is it. 16, 19, 2019, we owe it to our ancestors. We owe it to our people. We owe it to Trayvon Martin. We owe it to Sandra Bland. We owe it to Tamir Rice. We owe it to Walter Scott, Freddie Gray. We owe it to our ancestors 400 years. And it's time to take the, the psychological <laughs> shackles off. And we're going to do that, brothers and sisters. And let me say, once we repair this building and restore this building, 
it's brand new on the inside okay let's go look at the receipt okay this video uh, the, vi the video that we're watching is from february of 2019 the video that we're, we're about to watch with this receipt is from april 24th of 2019 okay march and so two months basically two and a half months later let's look at what the condition was two and a half months later he says brand new on the inside right this is what i mean by he's a habitual liar look at this let me know if you, hear, uh, let me know if you guys can hear the audio That was the he's uh, the, that was the alleged alarm. That was a whole fiasco too. No electricity, but he has an alarm system. He doesn't even have an alarm system now. He has electricity. This might not even be the right one. Let me let me see. Sam. <laughs> donate, 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 donate. <laughs> Look at brother Ron. You have, remember brother Ron? He used to work for uh, the boys and girls club. They fired him because he was. Cause he was dealing with umar <laughs> poor guy did you guys know that hit the one poor ron <laughs> he got fired i'm not laughing at it because he got fired it's just it's sad yeah that was yeah yeah he had them fake alarms vince you remember the fake alarms now when he go in there he don't you don't hear no alarm activating or nothing <laughs> he didn't have electricity because he put batteries in and he pushed the buttons you don't hear nothing activate now he got electricity and nothing beeps at all <laughs> i don't get it <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, they talk about Tip the Griff. She says she stole the pom poms. I, I miss Tip the Griff. She she used to go at me a lot. She she really did, but I liked her because she was uh uh what's up? Yeah, yeah, I'll say well, yeah, I saw yeah, you know, I mean I love me some sci-fi. I'll watch Star Trek Next Generation today. That's that's right. That's right. I love me some sci-fi. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me set this alarm, y'all. Dan, no. Dan, no. Dan, no. <laughs> hey, Miles Will said that. How's it going, guys? Little princess, squirrel girl. Umar don't like squirrel girl. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I used to watch X Files. It messed me up because it got me into that whole uh, alien now, stuff. This one, back this in the day. is a little smaller. Who got their light on? Does this look brand new to you? <laughs> who got a light? By the way, remember he said he was going to get the electricity turned on on Monday? Remember we watched that yesterday? Well, this, here it is two and a half months later, still no electricity on. He's such a liar. Shine a light on him. So who hey. got a nice light? Shine a light on him. <laughs> so <laughs> sad. <laughs> who would have, I had Hanera, let me use your phone. You ain't got it on, right? Just the light? Just the light. Oh, I remember uh, Sister Hanera. She was real okay. sweet. So here y'all see, we start with a, with a, uh, a classroom right here. This look brand new to y'all on the inside. The classroom right here. A lot of the this books. This guy, he, still he here. lies so much. You know what I mean? So then, that's one classroom. That's two. Listen, I, I wouldn't have no women up in here, period. I don't care. Y'all call me sexy if you want to. I would not have no woman. I don't care if it's my wife. I don't care if it's, it's if I had an ex wife. <laughs> I wouldn't even have an ex wife. <laughs> If I had baby mamas, I would have been there with my family. <laughs> I would not do it. It's wrong, man. Don't do that. It's, it don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was the homeboys, we had to get some work done. Okay, let's go. You know, Vince, let's let's go, bro. Let We're going to handle this. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to have no women up in here. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so naive. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to be like, Adriana, let's go. <laughs> no, swirl girl, Dee Dee, Holly B. Yeah, I know Holly B want to go in there anyway. <laughs> and what she said, she said, I'm going to go in there and paint. I said, no, no, queen, that's not happening. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's look at this building. It's brand new on the inside. Here Classrooms. we go. And this is, a <laughs> and this is just the middle school. The high school that we just came out of is much larger. But this is still good enough. You know what I'm saying? That's some stuff in there, too. Yeah. So that's three. Yeah. They do a lot of damage to this building, seems like. He already, what he said? That's he more. Said, it, look at this. He said it doesn't look like they did as much damage in this building. I should show you the other video from the other side. Oh my goodness, it was horrible. For office. Brand new. That's on more his of side. an office, but you couldn't make them in the classrooms. That's your exit right there. 
This might be the girls' school. This might be the Anna Douglas, Amy Garvey Academy. The women, don't let him manipulate. And look at Ron like, yeah, he, he running game. He run, he got game. Women, don't let don't let Umar run game on you like that. Don't don't do it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Bathroom, we got it. <sighs> Brand new on the inside. I should run this through a filter so we can get the clearer picture of what's going on in these traps. You can see that with the lighting and everything. You know what I mean? You see what they did in the back. Host on the cooks. Have you seen this? I don't think you see. Ain't see. Have you seen this yet? Yeah, I remember all this. This was this was wild. Like excellent. We got it. We got to restore the back. There go that sign. Remember, I mentioned this yesterday. Hit the one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's brand new used. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for a super sticker. Ugh, goodness, Ice Man, Vamp, thanks for. I mean, and thanks for a super chat, Ice Man. I, didn't, I don't think I'll thank you. I apologize. I thank you so much. I, I said, how's it going? South says, if that school ever opened, he would have a, a class called "Why You Should Not Date with Why <laughs> Women 101 and how to cash, how to use cash at 101. <laughs> he gonna be teaching them poor boys. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to get a cash out. Okay. He gonna tell he gonna instruct the boys in order to get extra credit, you gotta send me five dollars on your cash <laughs> just to show that you know how to use it, family. Yeah, Umar always talk about that whole snow bunny stuff, but I really listen, I really think he desires us. I think he does. I forgot to turn on this light. I'm positive. I was wondering why it looks so dark in here. And excuse my attire. I still got I got on uh I didn't put on uh my a pair of my jeans because uh I wore the other one yesterday, and then my other uh pair need to be washed so i could have wore the same ones that i had yesterday but i don't want to do that i'm gonna give me some new clothes one of these days my wife she'd be like why don't you just get some new clothes you need some new clothes i said no i got all of my i got like in the closet but then i got one drawer and it's about halfway full with socks and underwear and t-shirts anyway um uh, thanks, Al, uh, for 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 the uh, the super uh, chat. But I, I think I really do think Umar desires that, and because he can't have that, based on his rhetoric, uh, that's why he's always talking about it. You know, he's talk he talks about it all the time. It's almost as, as if he he can't stop talking about it. You know, I uh, thanks Al for the super chat. No, I'm I'm serious. I think he does. I, I really do. I, I think he does. You know, and that's okay. I mean, you know, the way I look at it, the woman's a woman. Just get you a good woman. Uh, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Get you a good woman. Settle down and start building. Okay. And, and that's 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 my best recommendation to any man out there. Okay. It'll save you a lot of stress too. It sure will. Get a good one. Okay. Not no crazy one. All right. And there's plenty of good ones out there. Okay. Uh uh Iceman Vamp says brand new on the inside, except no electricity. The water's contaminated. Bathroom's been vandalized. No copper in the building. This is true. This is something that uh, people forget about. And I haven't talked a lot about, but Umar did talk about how the, the uh, dope things, crackhead stuff. They broke in, and by the time he got a hold of these properties, the copper was all stripped up out of it. That's why when you walk through, a lot of the wiring is, is exposed because they went through all the wiring to get all the copper out. This is a statement of fact. Uh, the hole in the roof, I can pull up the video with, with the hole in the roof. I mean, it, you can literally look up, and it's like a massive hole. It's not like a, a crack or a, a little. It's a massive hole where you can look up, and you can see the sky. And Umar said that these buildings are brand new on the inside. He lies so much. I mean, this, this, just this right here is enough. From my vantage point, if you're a man of integrity and you, you're part of the URIA and, you, and you're the president of that division, to say, no, we can't, regardless of how many people he's going to bring, he, he lacks integrity. He lacks morality. He, he's, he's a charlatan. He's a liar. That's one thing I can't stand. Uh, I just can't stand liars. I, I can't. It's annoying and it's so unnecessary. He he Umar lies and it's so unnecessary. Uh, but besides all that, it's brand new. Yeah. See? I mean, I don't have to play much more of that. I, Iceman Vamp. I mean, it just it, it, it the, the point is proven, but I want to play just a little bit more so people can see, really get the point that the, those buildings were in a dilapidated state, even though he stated that the buildings were brand new on the inside. Okay. And these are all statements of fact. He didn't have no electricity. The water's contaminated. In fact, the water wasn't even on. The uh, bathroom uh, was been vandalized. No copper in the building. A hole in the roof, and a whole bunch more. But besides all that, is brand new based on what Umar said. He's such a he lies so much. Thanks so much, uh, Ice Man Vamp. Let me play just a little bit more of this. 
Uh, that sign right there, that's the sign I was talking about. It's a warning sign that talks about, uh, tells people not to drink the water because the water is contaminated. Bathrooms. Bathroom, look at that. Brother Ryan, you see this? I'm trying to understand what they was looking for up in my roof like this, because I don't know what's up there that's so valuable that you got to tell don't touch no wires. See that? Don't touch no wires. And got women up in here in the dark. You got to be, you got to be out your mind. Yeah, uh, I just did this because I, I wanted to, the, I knew I was going to live stream two, that, two nights in a row and I wanted to have, uh, let the children and, and uh, the wife that have the, the downstairs because I wanted to make sure we got through this anniversary stuff. But I, I, want, I plan on doing more live streams on other topics uh, in here and that way I can I can pretty much do it whenever I, I'm not wor at work or if I, when I have time. Um, so you guys can expect, I know I keep saying that, I've been wanting to for a long time anyway. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. Right here, a lot of the ceiling torn down, but that's nothing. That's probably gonna be the computer room because that's already set. And then there you go. Now that classroom is nice and ready. No damage. You see that one? Yes. No damage. So we in good shape. Oh, that's big. We here go some lockers, some lockers for the babies. <laughs> Another large classroom. They're not babies. They're young scholars. Young scholars. They're not babies. Young scholars. Another large class. <laughs> Umar, like, if you don't. <laughs> Somebody said, why you got all the ladies with me? Don't worry about it. Half of them already married. Relax. <laughs> all right. Umar, funny. Right. That's, 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 that's what you're thinking about. Another good school. You know, he tried to classroom. The lockers. Look at this. Here go another good classroom, y'all. Brand new, no damage in here. No damage in here. No damage in here. No in here. <laughs> this is sad. Yeah. We're gonna change the game. FDMG all day. Make sure y'all donate. Cash dot me slash. He should have cleaned up in here before he had anybody. I wouldn't have no woman up in here anyway, but he should have cleaned up at least. I I, I would have. FDMG school. Tell them again, Queen. You Tell can them. donate computers. You can donate smart balls, pencils, paper. Donate your labor. If you're yeah, a specialist donate your computers, devices, donate your labor. Donate your time. Everything. Yes. You know, right up as a business expense. Come on, right up as a business That's expense. Right. Tell them, bitch. Listen, brother Ron, you got fired over all this foolishness. It's sad. Boy, you, you I shouldn't say boy, but you, man, you lost your job over here messing with Umar. He was at the Boys and Girls Club. It ain't gonna hurt you. Come on, spend some time. This is what we're talking about. That's Black right. love, baby. Black love. Right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Brother Ron. We do it for ourselves. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> what you thinking, brother Ron? We good? Whoa! Watch your step. Watch your step. Look at this. These are the circuit breakers. He said that they're gonna get the electricity turned on on Monday. Remember, hit the one. Ooh, this is what I mean. He lies so much. He said that they're gonna get the electricity turned on on Monday. He he posted the video. Uh, I think that video came out on a Thursday. <laughs> There's exposed wires all in the building and the circuit breakers are all pulled out. <laughs> Umar knew this. He knew this. So why lie? He lies so much. It's, it's just, it's unnecessary. That's what I'm saying. Watch the step. This is the control panels. No, it's not control panels. It's the circuit breakers. And it's all ripped out. You know what I mean? Got the electrician coming through tomorrow. He going to... Oh, you're going to have the electrician coming through tomorrow. You say this in April. Wasn't this April? Uh-oh, got him. This video is from April 24th, but in February, April 24th, 2019, but in February, uh, February what, 7th of, two, no, it was February 9th, I think those videos appeared, 2019, Umar stated that they're going to go get the, go down to the power company and get the power turned on on Monday. And yet in April of 2020, uh, 2019, he clearly states that they need to get the electricians out there for obvious reasons. Step, watch your step. Come on, Bigfoot Jones. Watch your step. This the control panels. You know what I mean? Got the Don't electrician coming through tomorrow. He's gonna handle that. I don't know. Those aren't control panels. He go another classroom. The classrooms is in pretty good shape. 
it's just the roof. Yeah. It's just the roof in a lot of situations, y'all. A lot of it's situations. It's just the roof in a lot of situations. Brand new on the inside. We have an FDMG cleanup day. If y'all ready to put on a hard hat and the they, boots. Yeah, they did put. They did you know do a I mean? cleanup day. Okay, that's enough. I just want to give you guys an example. I can skip through some of this just to see this. He's poor. Across running. the street. <laughs> Watch your step. Watch your step. Brand new on the inside. I, I wanted to show y'all the potential. Really, the ceilings, it's the ceilings and the systems in the bathrooms. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got to rehab the bathrooms, the, bathrooms, the sinks yeah, and the but, toilets. Yeah, get but all the you ceilings. said it's brand new on the inside. It's done. Get the electric okay. let, done. Let me, let the it's Georgia's County Community Act. Start with this one and then grow a Really, the ceilings, it's the ceilings and the systems. Okay, ceilings and all of the systems. Okay. <laughs> in the bathrooms. You know, and what I mean? the bathrooms. We rehab the bathrooms, the rehab sinks and the, the toilets. Sinks, toilets. Get all the ceilings done. Get all the ceilings done. The electric done. The HVAC. Electric HVAC. The sprinkler. Sprinkler. Get that roof handle. Roof handle, what else? I, I thought he said that I thought he said that uh, the, the school was brand new on the inside. That's the point. OK, let's get back to it. We got, we got quite a bit to cover. Okay, I hope I proved my point here. All right, here we go. One yet. I want to be clear. I don't want you moving to Delaware because you say, well, you know what? I'm going to work at the school. Uh, uh. You don't choose me. I choose you. You don't I choose, choose you. me. I choose you. Don't do that. Now, if you move into Delaware because you want to be a part of the movement, move to Delaware. But if you move into Delaware because you expect in a, a particular official capacity within this movement, don't do that. Because I don't want you to become a hater if you don't get what you want. If you're looking for official capacity, wait until you get it, if you get it. But if you just want to be part of the movement, then come on down. Because it's about to go down. It's about to go down, brothers and sisters. This is it. 16, 19, 2019, we owe it to our ancestors. We owe it to our people. We owe it to Trayvon Martin. We owe it to Sandra Bland. We owe it to Tamir Rice. We owe it to Walter Scott, Freddie Gray. We owe it to our ancestors 400 years. And it's time to take the, the psychological shackles off. And we're going to do that, brothers and sisters. And let me say, once we repair this building and restore this building, it's brand new on the inside. We got to restore it because it was damaged. But brothers and sisters, modern. We don't have to worry about asbestos. We don't have to worry about lead paint. We don't have to. Work. Yeah, that's an oxy. I mean, it's a total contradiction. It's a paradox. If you say it's brand new on the inside and says that it was damaged, well, it's not brand new if it's been damaged, right? Uh, I just put up a poll too, by the way. You could correct chat. The 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 uh, question is: Were the bandos brand new on the inside in 2019? And we got eight percent already said yes. You guys, what in the world? <laughs> what, I, I, what, how, what? How does this happen? Okay, it's down to seven percent. But how is it that someone is? Is I know who it is. It's Tiff the Griff. Okay, it, it's Tiff the Griff. It's Tasha K and it's Zora. The three people. <laughs> it's Tiff the Griff, Tasha K and Zora. The, those are the, the people that voted yes. <laughs> who else? Who else voted yes? Hey Naeem, who else would you say? Swaggo Dito, who else would you say voted yes? Okay, Tasha K. <laughs> Eminem, <laughs> Boyce Watkins, Tariq. Who else? Come on. <laughs> okay. That's sexy red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know who that is. It sounds like that other lady. What's that other lady's name? Uh, uh, the, the the lady that uh, Suki, Suki, and pro probably too. Probably <laughs> you know he said yes. <laughs> He said yes. <laughs> he didn't say yes. He said yes. <laughs> you know the, the, the big balls pop, cop. The big balls. <laughs> he, you know, I'm gonna get that for you, boss. He he said yes as well. <laughs> Baba he Baba David got three accounts. He said yes on all three. <laughs> Strippers all throughout the land. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do with y'all? Damn, wow. Damn, like, man, Bam. Come on, man. Don't become a Sith Lord. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> I 
I knew he was a Sith Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a rule of two. Okay. All right. Let, 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 let's get back to his Maria. Maria and Brother Jose. Both of them. <laughs> okay. It, it ain't Tuesday, but they, they said we won't. All right. All right. Let, let me get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was going to put that up there too. <laughs> you get three options. Yes, no, and a hee hee. Come on. <laughs> my, that would have been for me again. He, <laughs> he said, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me get up out this check. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Joe Biden did. <laughs> Joe Biden, he he rooting for Umar. He right rooting for Umar to open up that trap. He he said, "You're in my city." I right. okay. <laughs> All right, we know it ain't Tito Jackson. Okay, <laughs> boy, we got blowed off. All right, let, let's get back to it here. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for tuning off again. <laughs> you got? I know, I know, I, I messed up this one. The next one, I'll, I'll, I'm going to make up for it on the next one. All right. Um, so real quick, we got 110 votes already. Uh, where Were the Bandos brand new on the inside in 2019? 8% said yes. 92% <laughs> said no. Okay, we'll leave that up for a while. We got 545 people already in the building. I'll hit the like button. I appreciate it. Let's get back to it. Here we go. We're about asbestos. We don't have to worry about lead paint. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the movement is going down now. I can't say everything on this, on this internet. That's why you need to come go. to the Bronx. I will have a question and answer session at okay, the I got Bronx this. So lecture. Get out here, I will have a question and answer <laughs> yeah, session hey, at hey, the hey, Connecticut. No, but the thing is that people have compared the, the FMG to Ray's Boom Boom Room. If y'all ever saw that movie, what was that movie called? Life? Hilarious. Bernie Mac was, rest in peace, he was hilarious in that. Uh, he had me cracking up. Uh, but 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 uh, I was who Eddie Murphy... His character, he was talking because they were just, you know, they were in prison they, for a long time. But he has this imagination to talk about all the stuff he, he was going to do and all the stuff he had or whatever it was. And he talks about his boom boom room. It was like an old school nightclub. Uh, I think it was like a, a, a old big band, you know, jazz kind of set up and that kind of thing, you know, real classy. And, but there's people who have compared Umar's pipe dream of opening up a school to raise boom boom room. And it, and it, it is. It's, it, in my mind, it's a lot of it is just imagination. Umar sitting here for, I, I think this video is like two hours long or something like that. For him to sit here, this is just him running off ideas, imaginations, you know, no different than Ray's Boom Boom. Some of y'all may have not seen that movie, but it, it was funny. It was funny. It's an older movie, but it was hilarious. Uh, thanks, Skinny Boy, uh, 20 Boy, for the for the super chat, and thanks for tuning on in, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that part right there had me cracking up. <laughs> I laughed so hard. <laughs> I done pat it, boss. All right. Here we go. Answer excuse me, at the Connecticut lecture. If you have direct <laughs> questions, if you have direct questions, they will not be answered by text. They will not be answered by email. Direct questions will be answered face-to-face, -face, yeah, so Bronx funny. and Connecticut. I will not answer them on the street. Please don't think you're going to roll up the Dr. Umar on the street. <laughs> Okay, not, you start asking me questions. I, Excuse was, me, family. It's not. I don't answer okay. questions on the street. I have events, and you can ask questions that way. If you care that much, bring your ass out. If you care, why are you talking like this? Come on, Umar. He just gets he starts getting more and more riled up. That guy back there, anybody know what the picture is of that guy? So the uh, one next to Marcus Garvey. Okay, um, there's Marcus Garvey, and then there's Frederick Douglas uh, next to him, but on the other opposite side. Uh, anybody know who that is? I can't remember. Someone had mentioned who it was before. Care that much? Come on out and get your answers, but you won't get them this way. I want to be clear right now because I don't want you to get upset with me. Okay, when you catch me in Harlem walking around before the lecture Sunday, when you catch me in Queens walking around okay, before yeah, the yeah. lecture Sunday, when you catch me in the Bronx. Uh, th thanks, Camila. That's Patrice Lumumba. Okay, thank you so much, Patrice. I appreciate it. Bronx walking around the lecture Sunday, when you catch me in Brooklyn. Walking around before the lecture Sunday, <laughs> do and I don't answer your questions. Don't get upset because we're about to get real serious. I never had a crush on Tina Turner, but she was fine. Though, but I never had a crush on her. Serious now, because a lot of you Negroes are coons. I sat back for four years and watched y'all drag my name through the dirt. I sat back for four years and watched y'all talk about how I ain't got no degrees. What's up, Ros Roswell? Really? really, really. 
Really? I sat back for four years and watched how y'all said I was stealing that money. Really? Really? You have been. Okay. I saw you, you so I know how petty. Now listen, Umar, you do have degrees, okay? Okay, you have at least four. No, uh, yeah, yeah uh, one, two. Yeah, you have at least four. Okay, six, I don't know. But it, it's a new point now because you don't even got a job. But whatever. We can be brothers and sisters. In a turn, it was no If five, you have a five, question, five, now. you can I'm ask it on Sunday, February the 17th at the Bronx Lecture, or you can answer on Saturday, February the 23rd at the Connecticut Lecture. Please bring your resumes if you serious oh, she was, about she being was a... five foot four. I didn't know that. She didn't seem that short to me. I never met her, though. Yeah, she's five, she was five, four. Major part. I need people I can trust. I need secretaries. I need publicists. I need web designers. I need flyer designers. I need brothers and sisters who know how to do apparel. Okay? One thing I'm looking for right now, brothers and sisters. One thing I'm looking for right now, brothers and sisters. I need someone who can drop ship my merchandise for me. Here we go. Is there anybody black? within the mid-Atlantic Marcus Garvey movement that has a dropship company. In other words, when somebody orders a book from Dr. Umar, I need to send you their name and address and you can ship it for me. When somebody orders a Nat Turner hoodie, I need to send you their name and address and you can ship it for me. When somebody orders an official FDMG Team Pan-African shirt like the one I'm wearing, I need to be able to send you their name and address and you can ship it for me. If there's anyone within the mid-Atlantic movement. I always ask him for stuff. He could do all this himself. There's something called the internet. You know what I'm saying? Five five super thick of the thighs said he stole money. Is that what people can? Somebody said that too. You guys want to let's do that next. Okay, let, let's play a little bit more of this. Then we're gonna go to this scene right here. All right. We, we're gonna get to that next. A uh, whole southern cook says uh his tie is the same color as the purse, the ham. <laughs> Why you call her ham bean? No, let's call it a bag lady, okay? Let's be nice, okay? Is it the same color? Let, let's go see. We're about to go see right now. Hold on one second. Okay, because she did throw her bag at him. She flung that thing up. She wasn't playing no games. I have it where she walk up. See it right there on her on her shoulder, under her shoulder. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? Dang, boy, this is wild. We saw the other angle yesterday. You can hear better in the other one, I think. But this one shows what happens afterwards. It gets crazy. We're going to come back to this. But that was her bag that she flung up. So now let's go and look at Umar's tie. If there's anyone within those six. <laughs> Host of the cooks, we're being so petty, aren't we? <laughs> we're being a bit petty. But that's okay. All right. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, here we go. States who can help Dr. Umar drop ship my merchandise. Send me a text message, please. Yeah, that was better that yet. Was, uh, show up in the Bronx, no, okay? Yeah. I need yeah. help. See, I cannot do this on it. my own, but I need people I can trust because I don't have any friends. I cannot do yeah, this on my own, crazy. but I need people I can trust because I don't have any friends. How many books? 15, I don't, 15, 16, maybe 17. I don't know what, what y'all think. <laughs> How many books? I, uh, I'm I'm gonna go with fifteen. All right, is that okay? I'm gonna go with fifteen. Here we go. I don't have any friends. I have associates. I have fellow organizers, fellow revolutionaries. But a listen to what he's saying. He's saying he doesn't have any friends. That's because he's a social path. A friend. I have my mother. See, that's why he's been living with his mama for over a decade, over a decade now. See, in, in this video right here. He's standing inside his mama uh, with his mama. He upstairs. She downstairs. She calls him on the phone. Someone was knocking on the door. You guys remember that from yesterday? This was in 2019. Okay, five years later, he stayed inside his mama closet. And before this, he stayed with his mama too, though. They got evicted from this spot where he's at right here. Where he, this is where he flipped the phone. Oh, yeah, I think this is where he flipped the phone. And then he got evicted from the other spot uh, prior to this. You guys go back to older Umar Johnson videos. You'll see. He's always in the corner, but he would set up a little corner to put little African artifacts, but but uh, he was staying with his mama. But when he would flip that phone uh, in that second spot, uh, you saw his living conditions. His mama was living in that, too. I don't, I don't see how any man, if you're going to be uh, uh, living off your mama like that, you should at least clean up. Amen. You know what I'm saying? 
That's what I tell my kids too, because I do too much cleaning. I, I'm not gonna be be mad or nothing, but I, I feel like I do too much cleaning. <laughs> okay, but I like stuff clean though too. You see how I am. Look, you see, I kind of take it too far, but I, I feel like I'll be cleaning up to, behind people too. But so I told my kids, I said, I'm too old. Y'all need to be cleaning up more. Clean up better. Clean up more. Okay, they've been doing better. Okay, but if you're gonna be, if that's different. Okay. If you're preteen, you're a teenager, you guys understand anybody raised kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking bad about my kids because I was the same way when I was the age. But I'm the kind of person as they father, I'll tell them, you all need to clean up more, okay? That's different though to be a preteen teenager versus someone who's almost 50 years old. In this video, he's what, 45-ish, no, 44, 43, 44? So if you flipped your camera and you living like that, and you're in your 40s and you're living off your mama like that, you should at least clean up. That's my point. Okay. And I don't want pity either. Yeah, we're going to do this Because I next. think having no friends have helped me save my life, okay? I need some people I can trust. So don't come to me on no friend shit because I ain't got no friends. Okay? Dang. When I was up in Harrisburg, almost none of you came to support me. This fundraiser, yeah, I we, know. this money... That's an important point. You know, it's bizarre to be over 40 with your mother as your only friend. Then your kids should be your friends too, at least. Yeah, but even beyond that, even beyond that, you know, the way, way I look at it is, see, with Umar, and this is why I take issue with that UNIA leader. I don't know his name. It don't, it don't even matter to me because to me, it's just a bunch of black conscious talk. Y'all ain't doing shit. You're just running your mouth and complaining about stuff. I don't want to hear that. Figure out what needs to be done in your life and in your community and do it. Stop complaining. Men don't complain. We just get, we get stuff done. That's it. We figure out what the problem is and we get it done. What's the point I was going to make? Yeah. Uh, even beyond this though situation, to be 40, living off your mama, and she's your only friend and you don't even clean up but that's but that's beside the cleanup part of the side of the point it, it it speaks to this other issue which is one of the reasons i have i take issue with what i saw today is how is it that we dismiss a, a someone who's almost 50 years old who's telling black people what they need to do especially when it comes to relationships but his only friend is his mama he's an absentee father He's a baby mama creator, hasn't married not one black woman and is out here running through black women with the rec reckless abandon with the bumpy bump on his lip. Why would you have someone like that come and speak? For, what, for views? To increase membership? What does that say about the UNIA? See, and one of the reasons why whole Southern Cooks Umar can't say I have a friend who's a woman is because he doesn't establish relationships with women. What he does is he's ex he exploits them for money and draws. I've been telling y'all. Now, who's my best friend? It's my wife. It has been since I was 25. Some of you men, maybe you're not married. Maybe you got a girlfriend. Okay, she should be your friend. Maybe you got a fiance. She should be your friend. Maybe you got a homegirl. She should be your friend. But see, the basis of that is establishing mutual respect in some sort of a relationship. Okay, it doesn't have to be intimate. That's not the point. But see, Umar can't even speak to that. His only friend is his mama. Which makes sense. Because he's running through black women. He uses, abuses, and then he discards them. You can't call him a friend. Huh? Let's go. He was raised by the same people donating over and over again. A lot of you never gave a penny, but now you want to jump all in my face to be part of my movement. Some of you was co-signing my haters. Some of you were co-signing. You do drop ship, Lori Cozart. Send me a text, Lori. Lori, send me a text if you can drop ship, baby. 215-989-985. I need some drop ship. I need to send you all my merchandise and you drop ship and you charge me what you charge. Dr. Uma, I'm going to charge you $100 a month plus a dollar for every product or whatever you want to do. Also, the African guards of Garvey, if you there are serious go. about security, we need a security force for Team Pan-African. When we have the grand opening of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, Team Pan-African headquarters, we need a suited and booted. Boot it. 
We need a suited and booted security team. So if there's any brothers and sisters who are... I remember he said we don't have a, a all woman security team. Y'all remember that? Hit the one. Serious about security for Team Pan African, NIBPA, FDMG, and the Mid Atlantic Marcus Garvey movement. Please get at me. Please get at me. The date and location for Connecticut is Saturday, February the 23rd at the Whitneyville Common Sanctuary. At the Whitneyville Common Sanctuary, four o'clock. Let me keep on going. I'm excited. I'm excited, brothers and sisters. I'm excited because I believe that the Nat Turner eclipse of August the 21st, 2017, along with the energy of the Haitian Revolution and visiting mm -hmm. the hometown of Toussaint La Overture in Benin, and I believe visiting Kemet in Ethiopia this past summer, I believe all of those ancestral energies came together in 2019, this is not a coincidence, to deliver us our first totally black owned totally black bought totally black controlled independent school and let me say this here you go <laughs> and let me say this this chair look a lot better is this the same chair? look at wait a minute did y'all see the chair this must be a different chair. mid-atlantic marcus garvey movement please get at me please get at me the date and location for Connecticut is Saturday, February the 23rd at the Whitneyville Common Sanctuary. At the Whitneyville Common Sanctuary, four o'clock. Let me keep on going. I'm excited. I'm excited, brothers was and sisters. Hyped. I'm excited because I believe that the Nat Turner eclipse of August the 21st, 2017, <laughs> yeah. along with yeah, the, I don't so the Haitian Revolution and visiting the hometown of Toussaint yeah, La Overture in everybody. Benin, and I believe button. visiting I Kemet it. in Ethiopia this past summer, I believe- Yeah, and I don't. I never asked, but if, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It'll allow you to, to comment in the, uh, the chat room, but I think we're close to 70,000. Yeah, we're close to 70,000 subscribers, okay? all of those ancestral energies came together in 2019 this is not a coincidence to deliver us our first yeah, yeah totally right black that. owned yep, totally right black bought totally black controlled independent school and let me say this yeah that's got to be a different chair and let me say this Let me say this. Don't worry. Once I get the drop ship set up, you'll be able to order your shirts too. I wish he stopped putting his claws up like if he put his hands up like they claws. <laughs> anyway. If you got a white girlfriend, you can't wear none of my merchandise. Here we go. Y'all know the rules. Don't nothing change. Here we go. Y'all know the rules. Don't nothing change. Y'all know the rules. Don't nothing change. If you want to be part of the security force, African Guards of Garvey, bring your printed resume to the Bronx or the Camden. If you are part of, if you live in the Mid-Atlantic Marcus Garvey movement area, Maryland, which includes DC, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Jersey, New York, Connecticut, you need to be in the Bronx or Connecticut <laughs> with a resume. It's that simple. Because those who show up with that resume, I don't mean to be those pretty, the ones I'm gonna take He, he, he still his hands it. up like crawl, but you're not crawl gonna be taking it seriously. You know, those who decide to come like out this. and meet me face to face so I have to feel their energy and feel their ashe. Remember, black women, if you're not natural, if you're not natural, no resume. Ashe. If you're not natural, no resume. Oh, shit. Well, let me take that back. Because <laughs> you might get natural. I shouldn't do that. But people have been saying all kinds of stuff. They be saying Shay, Shay. I said, no. Isn't it Ashe, I believe. They be saying Shay, Shay, Sh Show, Shane, Go, Shay, all this stuff. If you get accepted. So, yes, if you still permed <laughs> out. You can give me a resume permed out, but you can't show up to the first meeting with a perm. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, come no, on no. now. Who are? Remember, I will come to your house and shave your head myself. Yeah, get your clean on. Okay. MGMA. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> MGMA. <laughs> Marcus no, Garvey, no way, Atlantic family. Movement of Team Pan-African. MGMA. Hashtag BDM, Black Delaware Movement. <laughs> Hashtag haters ain't allowed. Go Shay Shay. Now, all right. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you can't have your resume permed, okay? You can't do that. All right. <laughs> your resume has to be raw, raw resume. Let me get Instagram <laughs> back up. Couple All of natural things. raw. And I will be loading up the video right after we talk. Yeah, he is. Well, he, he we're he going to be hosting multiple programs. <laughs> if you have an idea of a conference, a <laughs> workshop, a seminar, an initiative yeah. that we need at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy slash Team Pan African International Headquarters. Hold on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. See, he can't, that, the guy that was, well, we covered this yesterday. You know, the, the mom was scared. She's scared again. And she's telling him that the, that the, tell him for a second time that Umar, he don't even get up. He just, see, the, if, if you didn't see like yesterday's live stream, and I didn't see you in here, beautiful, so, so you may not have saw it yesterday, but you remember this. What, what happened was Umar was, he was talking in this video earlier on, and the phone rings and he says, Ooms, and Ooms is mom. And, and um, I was going to say Swahili. What am I talking about? In Arabic. I, yeah, in Arabic. So uh, his, and you can hear his mom. And she says, and I'm paraphrasing that that black guy is at the door again, knocking on the door. And you can tell she's kind of scared about it. And that is basically looking for Umar. And Umar goes, OK, don't open that door, though, or don't touch that door, something like that. OK, so this is a situation where a real man. Whether it's your mama, your wife, your daughter, your sister, your aunt, or your homegirl, you're going to get up and you're going to go see what's popping off, right? Men. Now, it may not be nothing, but you, that's what you're going to do. You're going to stop what you're doing. And if, so, if, if, if my child knocked on the door right now, I'm, I'm up out of here. I'll, I'll be right back. Take the microphone off. Go see what's going on. My wife te texts me. Could something not going on right now? Okay. Uh, like the one time it was a snowstorm. Remember, I, I said I might have to end this early, you know. So you go handle the business. In this situation, I would have stopped, and I would have gone and checked on the mom, make sure everything is cool. Not Umar. He keeps running his mouth, and then she calls him again. And what does he do? He keeps running his mouth for another hour, over an hour. And, and she's supposed to be your friend. Told you, shows you what kind of man he is. It's almost like he's annoyed that she called him too. Video right after we talk. We're going to be hosting multiple programs. If you have an idea of a conference, yeah, a you write about that. A seminar, <laughs> an initiative that, that we need <laughs> at the Fred. <laughs> I'll be just, especially if I, if I get up and go use the bathroom, I'm looking around just you know, for no good reason. Dr. Douglas anyway. Marcus Garvey Academy slash Team Pan African International Headquarters. Hold on. Oops. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. If you know of an idea or a program that we need, text me, Doctor Umar. You need a support group. Yeah, he said I'm gonna be. He said I'm gonna be right there. This video is already at the hour mark. It's another hour, maybe hour and ten minutes left. Sad for sexual assault victims of children. Dr. Umar, you need a support group, unemployed black men. Dr. Umar, you need to start you go, a black political union in Delaware. Dr. I wish he would stop clawing. Umar, we need to start a black female sister circle at Team Pan-African. I would like to help organize it. But of course, don't say that part unless you're showing up with a resume in the Bronx or Connecticut. Any- I thought, I thought you were gonna say with a resume and hot cookies. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were going to say, you know, don't, don't tell me nothing. Let you show up with a resume and hot cookies. I don't want to hear it. Program that y'all think we need. Let me know. I'm open yeah, to know. ideas. You can text the idea or you can email the idea. You can text the idea or you can email the idea. You can text the idea or you can anything y'all think we need. I want this to be heaven on earth. And by the way, earth. for my E5 devotees, Here we for go. my E5 devotees, for those of you who follow the spiritual path of the Yoruba, for those of you who follow the spiritual path of the Yoruba, the official reigning Orisha, get ready, get ready. For those of you like myself who are Ifa devotees, the official reigning Orisha 
of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy as per divination by Mama Yeye Feeney. Come on, man. Damn. As per the divination of Mama Yeye Feeney, which she did last year, is Orisha Oshun. Orisha Oshun is the presiding. I thought he was going to say something like huge, like a real long name, a significance. I'm like, okay. Deity of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Now, some of y'all might say, why would a female deity <laughs> preside over an all boys school? I don't know. Why I would a female Orisha I don't know. be presiding Tell over an all male school? I'm going to tell you why, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I believe the reason. Just come on. Almighty God. I think you're making this up. Put Oshun over the Frederick Douglass he, Marcus Garvey Academy right now, at this is time. Is to make sure we balance out the masculine energy with the feminine energy. Uh, Ashe? 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 Ashe. Ashe. I'm going to say it again. I believe the reason Olo Dumare, Almighty God, Chukwu, Amin Ra, Nyame, Jehovah, Allah, whatever you want to call it. Elohim, the Most High. I believe the reason that the Most High is, chose man. Oshun to be the presiding Orisha at the Frederick Douglass Marcus <laughs> Garvey Academy is to make sure that we balance out the masculine energy with the feminine energy. Oh, so for that, all my it. Orisha Oshun <laughs> priestesses out there, we're my o <laughs> I had a crush on Orisha C. Uh, Keys back in the day when she first came out. That was a long time ago, though. I think I was in college. She used to sing me songs and everything. <laughs> and man, any of you men of, of, of uh, substance and character and, and culture, did, were, did you have a crush on Orisha Keys when you was young? All right. <laughs> Listen, um Umar don't care, Ray. Listen, you see how them trap battles, he already looked, the zombies already come through anyway. He don't care, Ray. He don't care. <laughs> All right, let's go. Orisha Oshun priestess is at. <laughs> uh, give, give me a hands up. Where my Orisha? We got any Orisha Oshun priestesses watching on Instagram or Facebook right now? Are there any Orisha Oshun Oh, man, my kids, they, they know all this stuff. They broke this down to me, too. I said, what does that mean? And they said, oh, that means. I said, okay. <laughs> my kids know all that stuff. It's 2024. Priestess is in the house right now. Not right now. We got a couple. Okay, we got a couple Orisha Oshun priestesses in the house right now. Y'all going to have to come and do some major work. We I need a whole army of Orisha Oshun priestesses and the mean? beauty of the school what does that mean the beauty know. of the school is it's right. right by two major rivers so we can always give our <laughs> offerings of honey to Orisha Oshun because right. the school is between two rivers that's probably why Orisha Oshun is the presiding Orisha okay yeah, not only that the school so is the so color me. of Orisha Oshun the school is the color of gold and honey, and it's situated <laughs> no, geographically brother. between two lakes. So we could go down to the lake and do our offerings. We could go down to the lake and. But just to be clear, man, if you're married, you should not have any more crushes. And the other thing is that uh, if the person that you had a crush on is married, then you shouldn't have crush on her. Okay, I right, just let you know. Off our elbow, this is going to be beautiful, brothers and sisters. This is going to be heaven <laughs> on earth. But y'all got to keep donating. Okay, yeah, I got to keep donating. Yep. How much is it going to cost to research? It's right next to two rivers and two prisons. I learned this yesterday. It's true. There's two prison facilities that are close to that trap bando. You can go on Google Maps. I was looking at it yesterday. It's true. It's situated between two jails and two contaminated lakes. No, it's true, too. That's true, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know. Store, I know. the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. How much is it going yeah, to cost? You can go look the on restoration costs is one million dollars for complete restoration. If I want to go through a regular contractor and building company, again, Umar had well over a million. He spent four hundred thousand. He should have had at least six hundred thousand dollars at this time, and really, he should have had close to eight hundred thousand at this time, based upon what he was saying. So he should have had uh, close to enough money to at least get something renovated. Here we are five years later, and renovations are not complete. You know, he lied and said that they were in February. He also said they, that it was complete in October. February of last year, I believe. Remember, we got four buildings. We have two schools. Let me be clear. We have two schools. 
We have the Frederick Douglass building and we have the Marcus Garvey building. We have the Frederick Douglass building and we have the Marcus Garvey building. We have two schools. And then we have another building that I'm going to turn into the Pan-African Research Center and another building, which is going to be the community center. OK, but guess what? I'm hoping somebody is watching this today. By the way, uh, I'm going to take this poll down in, in about two minutes. We have 255 votes so far. Were the Bandos brand new on the inside in 2019? 90% said no. 10% said yes. OK, so get your votes in now. I want to cook right there. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, I don't see how many likes we have because it hasn't updated on my screen, but we have about 650 people here. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, we're going to go on this video for maybe about another two minutes and then we're going to switch over. We're going to go back to the bag lady. We're going to analyze that uh, again with the new video. OK, here we go. I'm hoping we have an electrician or someone who knows an electrician. I'm hoping we have a carpenter or someone who knows a carpenter. I'm hoping we have a licensed plumber or someone who knows a plumber. I'm hoping we have a okay. roofer Thank or you. someone who knows like, a right. roofer. I hope we have a painter or someone who knows a painter <laughs> who's watching this and they're going to say, hit up Dr. Umar and tell him that you are a licensed plumber. Tell him you are a okay, licensed okay. electrician. Tell him you are a licensed carpenter. Tell him you are a licensed painter. Tell him you are a licensed roofer and that you're gonna come and fix the roof for free as long as he paid for the materials. Tell Dr. Umar you're gonna come and rewire the whole school. Mm -hmm. He just gotta pay for the material. Tell Dr. Painter. Umar you're gonna come and do the whole plumbing system. You're gonna fix anything wrong with the plumbing system. He just gotta pay. For the material. I'm hoping I HVAC. Know, I need HVAC. I need HVAC. I'm hoping somebody with HVAC will text me and say, Doc, I live in Philly. I live in Chester. I live in Delaware. I live in Maryland. I live in New York. I live in Connecticut, brother. I'm licensed. I will come down there and do your HVAC work. When can we get in the building, Doc? I got the keys. I got the keys. I got the keys. What they say? They said, uh, <laughs> they said I was uh, flashing keys, huh? Oh, we got the keys. Oh, we got the keys, brother. Here we go, sister. clawing again. We got the keys. Okay. It's ours. Stop it's clawing. Ours. We, we have succeeded. Thank God. We have succeeded. Thank God. We have succeeded. Let me keep on going. Yes, I need buses. If you offer, I need a, I need a black owned building sign company i need a company that makes building sign we need the fdmg sign very large on all four buildings i want to put the big logo in glass i want it to light up at night, at night. so when somebody drive down e5 tunde boulevard when somebody drives down e5 tunde boulevard when somebody drives down e5 tunde boulevard they will see the fdmg sign lit up at night do we have a black Okay, he got that from the Moyer Academy, the, that idea. I can pull up the receipt if you want me to. If you hit the one you want me to pull it up, I can pull it up real quick. Um, he got that from the Moyer Academy. Uh, they used to have a sign that, that had light bulbs on it. I can pull it up if you want me to. I'll, let me keep going. Own sign company. Do we have a black company that can mm -hmm. make the FDMG okay, signs? I'll, I'll I need Hold four on. big ones made out of glass, large, glass. that large. light up at night. At night. So oh, whenever God. somebody drives down E5 Tunde Boulevard, they will see the sign. And then I need a black owned flag company. Does anybody know a black owned flag company? Does anybody know a black owned flag company? Because we need big. 20 by 20 red, black, and green flags. We need four, one for each building. We need a big FDMG flag, the logo on a flag. We need four of them, 20 by 20. Still we need ain't no four flags. Team Pan-African flags. We want the symbol of Team Pan-African. We need four big ones. And yes, we are required by law to fly the red, white, and blue. Okay, he, he still didn't have any flags out there. He, a, a lot of the stuff that he said he's gonna do, he never did, most of it, 98%, 99% of it, he actually is more than that. So uh, statistically, it's more like 99.3% of the stuff he said he was gonna do, he never did it. Okay, let, let me go pull this up, check this out. And I got plenty of, I, I always have receipts, right? Okay, watch this. I'm here at the Maurice Moyer Academy uh, with uh, a friend of mine, uh, Theo Gregory, who has, 
shepherded uh, this new school uh, from the very beginning. It was okay. This is the previous school, Moyer Academy. Okay, it 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 was it used to, and then it became New Moyer Academy. It got shut down the first time. Uh, then it, they uh, set it back up uh, as uh, New Moyer Academy. Th then that failed. Uh, and then Umar ended up uh, purchasing the property several years afterwards. It had been sitting for many years. And while it was sitting, it turned it was already in bad condition, I'm, I'm sure, um, uh, when Umar uh, went to go look at it in 2017. But it had been sitting for years before that. And during that time, uh, the drug addicts and, and the dope fiends and stuff, they were breaking in and stripping out uh, everything that was inside, including on the roof. I have drone footage. If you all remember that, hit the one. I have drone footage of the actual roof and you can zoom in and see all the HVAC units and they're completely gutted. It's just a shell. He, Umar said he purchased one of those for $50,000 where there's at least four other ones, at least. And then there's smaller ancillary ones too. I think there were like maybe six of those. I got to go back and, and remember, I, I might even have that backwards. But but in terms of the amount of money that he would have to pay just to get the purchase, all the units needed, it's massive. We're, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars, let alone installation. OK, yeah. And I'm not making it up. I, listen, I always have receipts to back up what I say. OK, I'm not on here lying. OK, people have lied on me. Uh, Umar's lied on me, but I'm not going to do that to other people. OK, I'm not going to do that. All right. So let, let me go back to this. Here we go. It's uh, a large part of his brainchild. And I'm here to interview him today and yeah, well, some students like that. that we might better know uh, how our presbytery can be of help to this new school. Theo, could you tell us something about uh, the Maurice Moyer Academy? The Maurice G. Moyer Academy is named after Reverend Moyer, who founded Community Presbyterian Church in the late 50s, of course. Very prominent civil rights leader in the uh, 60s. We chose Reverend Moyer uh, given the fact that our, our theme of the school is health science and technology. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Gift and Reese Moran. I don't like showing the children. I go about to go through that quick. I think this video right here. Principal of the new Maurice J. Moyer Academy, located in Wilmington, Delaware. We service students from the entire Newcastle County, including Wilmington, Claymont, Newark, and Bear. Moyer is the only conference uh, that will be engaged in a traditional instructional program, which means we will have certified teachers opportunity to select. I'm sorry, when I see children, I'm going to skip through. I, even though it's just the right thing, that's just how I am. Select online classes. Every student. Sorry about this. Track and field and baseball. Our students will participate and compete against other high schools without, throughout the state of Delaware. We will also provide extracurricular activities that play a critical role in the education of our students. As a result, we will be providing a uh, highly educated parent success of all. Thank you. Okay, people, that's the wrong video too. But people were saying that he was uh, Derek Fisher. <laughs> I said, stop. You guys, I said, don't do that to that man. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna find it. I, 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 let me go through these other ones real quick. Board, your custodials, everybody, secretary, and another thing when we walk in. Growth. Okay, they had I think six or seven. Don't quote me on this. Different um, principles, and this the other guy was one, but this is another one of them right here. This guy right here. See how he has the J, the the, the, uh, the tie like Umar, but Umar got it from him. Thank you for having the color, the color scheme. Having us, uh, you're quite welcome. Mr. Pritch has been it a is? great friend and a mentor. I can call him any hour of the night mm -hmm. and get and get it. This was from 2013, so this is about 11 years ago. Vice, I really, really appreciate. It. We've been friends for over 20 years. You did uh, it <laughs> <laughs> at, the, uh, at the New Moyer Academy. We're in the process of really, really uh, turning the school. Mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. our scholars are doing a great job yes we've had uh, over 30 percent growth during the 2012-2013 uh, school year and we're looking forward to more much 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 more growth and productivity out of our young people the young people that we have uh, at the new Moyer Academy they're respectful they're ethical and they are very very productive and it's an honor and a privilege for me to be there.
education management company, the Moyer K-12 organization yeah, this is there right here. We have had extensive and K-12 Incorporated, a Virginia-based education management company. K-12, they're the ones who sold the property to Umar. Company, the Moyer Academy Charter School will reopen its doors this September. We have had extensive conversations with the K-12 organization. We have had an opportunity to go to their home base, to actually go to school, a school where they have done some amazing work with children who very much uh, mirror the children who will, or have in the past at least, attended Moyer Academy, and they are doing um, great things with those children. Earlier this year, the State Board of Education voted for the school to close after failing to meet ACA 2006 more Here for the students to make sure that we provide them with a challenging and uh, rigorous education. We are here for the parents to ensure you that your trust in our ability to deliver. Moyer, who the school was named after, said he is... I can sleep tonight. Thank you. Mm. I have been wrestling their parents and this yeah, I don't think this is a real leader. The corporate that we have the resources that we need to make their retired staff was what it's all about. So K-12 Incorporated has been searching for teachers. Okay, that's not it either. I'm sorry. Let me let me try. And I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I, if the, the children pop up, I get them off screen as quickly as possible. Um, let's try. Did I just do this one? I think I just did this one. The path that could have led to working in some okay, of Delaware. Okay, this is this is another principle. This guy right here. Why not? I said those. You know, I said that's my old community. Those kids deserve something, and who else to give it to them but one of their own? The sixth through twelfth grade school has gone through nine principles since receiving its charter in two. Dang, it's nine. I thought it was seven. Okay, but it was it was nine. Yeah, I was trying to find the the thing that lights up. Uh, the sign, but I got more. I'm sorry, I got. I have so many. Uh, my, my receipts are extensive. Trends to academic performance and the trends the school is showing cause for action. While the public record makes clear okay, this is in 2014 when they closed it down. I think this is the second time they closed it down. Okay. Uh, let me try one more. And if this isn't it, then I have it. I just I can't uh, can't seem to find it. I've got two other three more videos, though. I can look at. Now, can't Mr. Doe, no matter when. Yeah, these are some of the teachers and talking then, about. Okay. So we're well, going to continue. Right here. here it we is. We are the best. So we're going to continue. I mean, we we understand that we have a past, we, but our past doesn't represent our. It looks pretty clean right here, too. I mean, compared to how it looks uh, uh, now. Here, let me pull up a video of, uh, excuse me, uh, a slide of how it looks now. Uh, let's see. We can go to this one right here. See? This is in 2023. The video that we were just watching is from, where'd it go? So we're going to continue. Yeah, this video is from 2011. So the, the, it actually looks worse uh, 12 years later. Y'all see this? 12 years later, it looks worse. We're going to continue to represent our future. But there's a that sign right there. We have a. Okay. Again, uh, let me just make sure I got this right. 2013. I think it's 2013. Hold on one second. Wait, that's not it. Hold on, I'm looking at this other thing. And then we're going to get back to it. I apologize, everyone. Got sidetracked here. Yeah, this is it right here. So this is, uh, this is 2014 right here. So 10 years later, and it looks like this. Okay, so for you, Mar Johnson, Fall, just to be clear, in terms of, of this project, you know, uh, being completed, it actually has... has after 10 years, th these buildings look worse. Umar said renovations are complete. Yeah, it is. What's up, uh, Dion? What's up? I hope you're doing all right, bro. Okay. All right, let's get back to it. There's nothing we can do. Logo on a flag. We need four of them, 20 by 20. 
We need four Team Pan-African flags. We want the symbol of Team Pan-African. We need four big ones. And yes, we are required by law to fly the red, white, and blue. There's nothing we can do. We are required by law to fly the red, white, and blue. There's nothing we can do. So unfortunately, we need four of those as well. I need a black owned stucco company. I want to paint one of the buildings red. I want another building black. I want another building green and the last building gold. I said, I want one of the buildings red. I need one of the buildings black. I need the third building green yeah, and I, I need the four. I know, uh, Redman, this is sad. It, it actually bothers me now, now that you're bringing this up. It really bothers me because uh, I, I grew up in an abusive household, you know, and uh, the males, uh, uh, me and my brother, we suffered. My sister suffered and my mom suffered. So that's why the, the whole thing about uh, keeping people safe is including children. I mean, uh, even in this video, the children that I'm showing, they're adults now, but but I would much rather not, you know, sh uh, show uh, images of them. Um, I'm hyper vigilant with my own children, you know, other people's children. Uh, you know, if, if, if there's a child like is is uh by themselves let's say they're walking because in our area there might be uh, it's a nice area though but uh it's, there's like no crime but that's not the point but if if they're walking out of their garage and i don't see some there where uh, them with some parent with them I'll, I'll start getting like you know i'm looking around just make sure there's no cars coming you know that kind of thing um, i'm hyper vigilant in that way so um the fact that umar has he doesn't have enough concern for what's taking place downstairs with dealing with his own mother it, it's just very telling to me it's it's, it's actually disturbing now, you may have had a different upbringing, so you may not be hyper vigilant like that. But I'm like that, you know. And it's not just with my own family, you know. I extend that that same concern for other people's kids and and women too. Okay, men not so much, <laughs> unless it's a real bad thing, you know. But but when it comes to children, women and children, I believe in that. But obviously, Umar doesn't because he doesn't even have a level of concern from his own mama. Of building gold. Oh yes. Oh, yes. And then I need y'all to put the word Frederick Douglass, the Honorable Frederick Douglass Academic Building, the Honorable Marcus Garvey Administration Headquarters, the Honorable Nat Turner and Jean Jock Dessaline Community Center. The <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't even think about that, but you're absolutely right. He said that he wants four flags, 20 by 20. Did he say 20 by 20? I didn't even catch that. Flags are rectangular shaped. This crown won four squares. <laughs> well, that, that's Jesus Christ. That's what he wanted to do. Let him do what he wanted to do. Okay? It's 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 Ifatun day time. <laughs> Let that man have his four squares. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but that's true though. <laughs> Hit the one, y'all. That's a good one. What's up, Dion says Umar said, let's just paint Captain Crunch, the Django, Splinter from the Ninja Turtles, and others to cover the dirt off the buildings. <laughs> He said, we don't need no paint. We're going to get the Django on there, Splinter. <laughs> Mighty Mouse, Splinter. We're going to put Bugs Bunny on there. <laughs> Captain Crunch. The Django. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the super chat, uh, Brother Dion. <laughs> That's real. He said, we always going to paint over with the, with the mural. Honorable right. Patrice Lumumba right. and Robert Sabukwe Pan African Library. Who with me, brothers and sisters? <laughs> Who with me? Who with me? Nobody. Who ready to help me build Team Pan African? They know Who Team Pan African. Is ready to help me build Team Pan African? And brothers and sisters, it gets sweeter. What it gets sweeter than that. What? The school. Is a 20 minute ride from Philadelphia International Airport. The school. Okay, let's take a quick break. Uh, our poll, I'm going to take it down now, uh, where the Bandles brand new on the inside in 2019, 90% uh, said no and 10% said yes. Okay, I'll go ahead and close. I'm going to set up another one. Um, let's take a quick break. I'm going to go back to what we were covering yesterday, too. Uh, there's more video that came out. We're going to go back to the original video. And that's this one right here. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. How many books? They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that queen? Keep speaking, King. Keep speaking, King. 
Keep speaking, King. Keep speaking, King. Don't stop. Don't change the energy. 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 Clap it up. Don't change the energy. Clap it up for positivity. All right. Okay. And a lot of people commented on this because we were trying to figure out what um what what the conversation was someone said the dude yelling keep speaking king this is on the uh part one video in the comment section the dude yelling uh, keep speaking king would definitely give umar half of his paycheck for <laughs> uh, someone said happy bandiversary okay um let me let me scroll down here because i was saying umar ain't got no job someone said his job is to hustle black people am i wrong <laughs> it got 31 likes it's true though uh let's see so there were a couple of comments on here um let me just look because I, I wanted to because there was one on here i think it was uh, well okay yeah people were saying that the lady was saying entrepreneurs let, let's go back let me just play it one more time thing brothers and sisters go ahead and the white man knows you well because he's written books on you How many books? they say the negro entrepreneur Who's that queen? Keep speaking, King. Okay, she says, I was with you last night. Keep speaking, King. Keep speaking, King. She was saying, look at my book, look at my bag. Something happened. Keep speaking, King. Don't stop. Don't change the energy. 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 All right. Now, I want to go to new, uh, it's not new footage, but it's it's footage that appeared online today from a different angle, and it shows everything. Okay, you guys, brace yourself. You ready? Here we go. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the answer. If private equity is the backbone of the big business, we are in trouble because most of our wealthy Africans who got the capital to loan are not interested. Does that mean we roll over and die? Hell no. That means those of us at the bottom got to work harder. Stop screaming. You got to understand something, black people, and I've been telling you this. You don't get it. White people don't have to worry about putting in the work because their slavish, exploitative, disgusting ancestors already laid their foundation 400 years ago. That sound like her right there. How was the foundation laid? Yeah. You say, well, we got to work hard, Dr. Umar. I oh, she was mad. It looked like she threw something already, though. See what the gray box that I put on there? That's another reason I was running late, because I had to export this. Um, but look look right there. It looked like she threw something. Hey. You got you say, well, we See that? She was mad before she even got up there. I mean, she was... Did anyone else see that hit the one? Watch, watch. Look at where that gray box is at. Look like she threw a pin or something. How was the foundation laid? Hey, you you say, we... See that? One more time. Exploitative, disgusting ancestors already laid their foundation for hundred years. How was the foundation laid? Hey, you you say... Yeah, she threw something. She was mad. There you go. She said, how was the foundation laid? I don't see white folks breaking their back. They already been there, done that. It's your turn now. See, we got this thing. See, the ladies with the teal shirt on, I think that's that what that color's called. She's trying to tell security to come. See that? Brothers and sisters, and the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Man, she was upset. She threw that purse. She wasn't playing. She was not playing. Because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? That little man right there couldn't handle her. She she got she got the, the upper hand on this this little tackle. You see what I'm saying? He he done bit off two more more he could chew. He thought he was handling the business. He was like, boy, please. <laughs> Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? 
Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. Now, yeah, people are getting excited. See, Umar, he's slick. He's trying to divert away from what's happening. Really, what he should have done is paused and resolve the situation like a man. That's what he should have done. And, and you see how the, the security, they're manhandling this young lady. Okay, watch this. <laughs> See that? I, I don't. Uh, uh uh. Nope. Now watch what happens next. We must stay focused. No weapons formed against us. Damn. I think Umar should have calmed everything down. Resolved it like a man. Keep, don't get people more riled up because that gets her more agitated. See that? When people started clapping, stand up and clapping, she said, look. See how they doing her? This is wrong. Regardless, and again, I understand the security issue, but at this point, she's not a threat to Umar. She's not a threat. There's no one, no one, even a security guard person or someone who's in law enforcement, if they saw this, they would not perceive her to be a threat of, to Umar at this point. And, and it could be argued that she was never a threat. I mean, she threw the bag, I get it, but it's not like she jumped on stage and started swinging on him or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But what they're doing here, th this is, see, if these were white people doing this to her in the same situation, okay, it'd probably be, a, it, now we're talking like about Black Lives Matter. See, how they're manhandling her, got her on the ground like this, uh, it, it's, it's just not the right thing to do. This was not handled professionally. And the fact that it's a it's a black woman, it, some people say it shouldn't matter. Well, if you talk all this black power, talking how we need to protect the black women, well, that's not it. Th what they're doing here, that's not that. See, Umar, as a man, should have handled this, okay? Calm the situation down, maybe even talk to the, to the young lady a little bit. F from what I see, I don't know what happened. What, what, I, what I see is that she's very upset, and a woman's not going to get upset like that unless something happened, okay? She was mad at him, and she said, I was with you last night. Uh, he even has his red, black, and green handkerchief uh, to complete his corrupt street preacher uh, clown suit. Uh, Pierce, yeah, I, I know. I, he's in preacher mode, right? In in this video, he's in preacher mode. See, so he has his handkerchief. See, he sees the the young lady coming up. There, done that. It's your turn. Now. See, he sees her right there. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows. She yeah, he do. He got a little handkerchief. Well, because he's written books on. Him. He start look. See, he see her coming, so he start wiping that sweat off. <laughs> He said, let me get my hanky. I need to get the hanky because I'm feeling a little bit. Okay. Thanks uh, for the super chat. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Yeah, this is personal. Who's that? Yeah, he is. He has. He's messed up so, over so messed over so many people. There's no telling what the root of the issue is. This is very true because uh, someone was saying that that they thought that uh, he, she, uh, Umar owed her money. Okay, but she said that uh, uh, he was with her last night. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. See, that made her upset when people start clapping. She would start taking her shirt off.
You see how he grabbed her like that? I don't like that at all. That hand's too close to the to her private area on the chest. If you guys see that, I don't like that at all. I win it. We gonna stay focused. This guy right here, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, that boy. We gonna stay focused. Look at him. No weapons up against us. He got his his hand on her neck, pushing her neck down. The other guy got her his her, her left arm. She's trying to hold herself up with her right arm. Hear how Umar twisting the story around to try to make it seem like he, his life is in. Oh. Right. That was wonderful. I'm telling you, see, this this the kind of thing someone end up passing out or something like that or worse. See, this doesn't help. Umar running his mouth like this, it does not solve the situation. Yeah, I know, Devon, he's still running his mouth, trying to make it seem like, you know, he's Martin Luther King and someone's trying to take his life. He just twists it all up. It's, it's come on now. And to see these black people stand up talking, I was gonna say it, but I ain't gonna say it. Not one, y'all ain't, y'all ain't. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I know all these men, so-called men, surrounding one woman, got her on the ground. I don't know my sister. Never seen her in my life. God is my witness, but I love her anyway. Well, Omar, I don't. I from what she says, y'all know each other. But if you love her then you would take care of her, regardless of the situation. See, you would tell these men to get up off of her, back up, okay? And you would calm the situation down with your big mouth. Scare he was scared too anyway. That's part of the problem. He's scary. You calm the whole situation down and you resolve it as best you can so that she can walk out of there with some dignity. Brothers and sisters, we got to work together. I'm hoping that here in Black Wall Street, at this marketplace, that all the businesses and all the vendors that exist here will come together and give us a Black Wall Street credit union, brothers and sisters. The next step is the credit union. The reason we can't catch up, the reason we can't catch up is because we can't access the capital. Everybody in he ain't even got no job talking about the capital we need in this audience right now. Let me say 90% of you would leave your day job. Y'all need to be right at Sue Square February 10th. If you had the capital. Well, she mad. I wonder what she said right there. Let me go see. I can't really tell. If you had the capital. February 10th. What's February 10th? What's going on here? Oh, that's not what she, she said. It's it. percent of you would leave your day job. No, y'all, y'all need to something. Let me get my other earbud in. Now, see, now this is like yesterday. We were trying to figure out what was going on, what she was saying. Yeah, he is. He's taking shots at her while she was on the ground in a passive aggressive way. That's how he is. 90% of you 
would leave your day job. Y'all need to be right at Sushi King Taylor Square February 10th. If hmm. Yeah, my other earbuds not working. So I can't hear as good as I need to. I can go get my studio monitor headphones. Would leave your day job. Y'all right need to be at some place February 10th. Would leave your day job. No, she didn't say y'all need to be at Pooty Day. Right <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Please no, don't don't do don't do that. Okay, <laughs> y'all need to be at Pooty Day. <laughs> oh no, that's not what she said. Stop playing. <laughs> we're gonna have this is we gotta move on because we're gonna be here all night trying to figure this out. <laughs> no, 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 she didn't say go to Smoothie King. No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> let me go back. Bobby, <laughs> yeah, she real mad. Let, let, let me let it. Let's see. Would leave your day job. Y'all need to be at Smoothie King Taylor Square February 10th. If <laughs> she did say February 10th, what's February 10th? That's on, that's this Saturday. What is going on? Oh no! Oh my God! What in the world? Okay, this is going too far. I had to get up and walk. I wish I was downstairs. So I would have been walking and talking, but it's too this is too much. She got a point though, because she they all up in her in her uh, all up in her space like that. You know what I mean? Uh, his tie is the same color as the purse. The hand. Oh yeah, we got that one. <laughs> yeah, that was from earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get to these super chats. We're gonna think I'm behind a little bit. Um, Okay, we, we got that one. Uh, we got this one, too, from Sigmund. Uh, yeah, we got the handkerchief one. So he crushed those cookies and didn't call her. <laughs> I, I, I don't... Well, she said that she was with him last night. I'm going to assume that they had some sort of an interaction, okay? Now, I would have to hear her side of the story. We can speculate, but I, I would have to hear her side. Umar, obviously, he's going to deny it regardless. So, and he's a habitual liar. So I would be less inclined to believe anything he said, especially in this type of a situation. You know, like, why would he admit the truth anyway? He, he rarely tells the truth, but why would he admit that he was with this woman the night before? I wouldn't be surprised, though, given how he lives his lifestyle. You guys catch my drift? I would not be surprised at all. Okay. Now, it could be a situation where it's, they had an interaction and, yeah, maybe he didn't call or he disrespected or whatever or they were supposed to go. I don't, I don't know, okay? Uh, but I would have to to talk with, with the young lady to get get a, a, a better understanding, more context about why she felt like she had to go up here and confront Umar like this. I'm not surprised, though. I'm not surprised at all. Uh, thanks for Super Chat. Old Southern Cook says, uh, she said y'all need to buy pound cakes from Whole Southern Cooks. No, she didn't. Pound cakes from Whole... Oh, <laughs> wait, are you tripping? <laughs> Let me go back. Let's go see. Let's, let's see. Believe your day job. Y'all need to be at Sweetie King Taylor Square February 10th. <laughs> she didn't say. She did not say Whole Southern Cooks. Stop playing. And do you ship... If you ship, email me, Okay.
<laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> oh, so they could trying to get some business. She said, get on your cash app. <laughs> okay. Oh, so February 10th, family. Get your pound cake. Okay. And then uh, uh, Maul B. Crazy says, Dr. Umar and everyone clapping in the in the audience ain't sugar, honey, iced tea to say it nice. See, I, I agree. Um, the young lady at that point is not a threat. And if she falls to the ground, and it's not because she lost her balance, it's because that short dude was pulling on her. You guys see that? And when he pulled on her, he's supposed to be secure. You're supposed to be aware of your surroundings. Okay, he, did, he didn't rec recognize that he was about to step on her uh, sweater that was right behind him. She, he, she threw it on the floor. So when he steps and he's pulling her, he loses his uh, footing and pulls her, and, and she loses her balance and falls on top of him. That's his fault, okay? But once she's on the ground and they're subdued, he even put his hand on her neck. That's ridiculous, okay? Umar should have stopped. I mean, he should have stopped from the beginning. But as soon as that takes place, he should have stopped. Say, hold on, we don't need to do all that. We don't need to do that, okay? Everyone calm down. Let's, let's let this young lady get up and walk out with some dignity. That's what he should. Now, if you care about black women, that's what you do, regardless of the situation. He's, she's not a threat. And see, the other thing is I'm more inclined to believe her, what she's saying about Umar, because I've had I've been in contact with people with, that, that either Umar uh, pushed up on, tried to get at him, or he got them cookies. So I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. See? But what he should have done as a man initially was to calm the situation. Now, no, he keeps instigating because he's taking passive aggressive shots at her, talking about, yeah, the woman tried to uh, 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 murder Martin Luther King and blah, blah, blah. No, that, that's ridiculous. Okay. She threw your, her purse at you. Something happened. I believe her at this point. I believe her. And he should have calmed the situation down. But then if he decides not to, he shouldn't instigate it. And then once they get her subdued and she's falling on, he should have said, everyone, stop what you're doing. Get up off of this uh, uh, young lady. Let her stand up and let her walk out on her own with on her own corporate own volition. That's what he should have done. But not Umar. He keeps what? He keeps running his mouth. See, again, the, the people that want to have Umar come through from the UNIA, if you see this stuff right here, that should be enough for you to say, no, I'm not going to have him come and speak. That should be more than enough. He's supposed to be a black. You think Malcolm would have done something like that? Sat back by, while these guys are, are, are tussling with this woman. And it's a, how many guys is it too? Let's go back. I don't think about it. It's just a doggone shame. And thanks for the super cap, Mom. Uh, Mom yes. Yes. See how, how he grabbing on her, all under her. Uh, this guy. And this guy was the same one that was walking with Umar when he was walking through the uh, Black Wall Street. The short dude. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. See, you notice she was walking out anyway. But when, when they start uh, being aggressive and pulling at her, watch it. it up for the ancestors. See that she was already on her way out. And you know how black people is. We we get mad, we we leave and we start taking take off our jacket and throw it. You know how we do. <laughs> Hit the one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I I play basketball where you know I'll get mad or something when I like when I was in college or something, we were on the court playing 21 or something, and I just take my t-shirt off. I go, I'm storming off the court, I take and I just throw it and I'm but I, I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? I, it's not like I'm trying to do anything. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm upset. I'm mad and I'm leaving. Okay. And that's what she was doing right there. Did she say, get off me? Hold on. I didn't even catch that. Hold on one second. Just clap it up for the ancestors. <laughs> Yeah, she is. She's leaving. She's trying to get up out of there. But you see how he grabbed up on her like this? That's what really set her off. I this. Now she's trying to stop him from doing whatever he's doing, but she was trying to get up out of there. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. No way! 
See, Umar continues to run his mouth and just instigating, yelling and screaming. We must stay focused. See, watch the guy with the with the suit on, shorty. Watch because he's he's a Napoleon complex. Okay, he that's that's what the problem is. Well, see see how the young lady's uh, jacket is right there on the ground. He's the one that causes her to fall. I mean, that's a lawsuit if she hurt herself. No see, he's slipping and he's pulling on her at the same time. Boy, I tell you, this is a dog on shame. Dog on shame. I've heard stories about women who clearly had no interest in Umar having to call the police to get Umar. To, yeah, I've heard these stories too. Long time ago. I heard these stories. I sure did. No. This is wrong. Got one guy pulling up on her on her left arm, the other guy pushing down on her neck. I mean, he's actually using her neck to prop himself up as he's standing up. Y'all see that? This guy right here is a loser. He's supposed to be security. He he one of them dudes, you drop him off in the hood, hood, he he ain't all tough got in. No. Well, I can't believe none of these men stood up. It's a doggone shame. This brother with a black hat on, I don't think he liked what was going on either. But these, these so-called conscious black people, they just going to turn a blind eye to all of this madness right here. It's a doggone shame. Y'all, All y'all all should be ashamed. All you men they up in here, you should be ashamed of yourself. A demented black woman came. A demented black woman. You see this? You hear Umar? I mean, when I saw this earlier today, I thought this young lady was going to pass out or something. Of my own trying to destroy me. It did not discourage me, but it reinforced me of how much hurt I got to do. Man, this is not it. I don't know my sister. Never seen her in my life. God is my witness. Still taking but I love her anyway. Brothers and sisters, we got to work together. I'm hoping that here in Black Wall Street, at this marketplace, that all the Man. The businesses and all the vendors that exist here will come together and give us a Black Wall Street credit union. I think they told her she has five seconds or something. Brothers and sisters, the next step is the credit union. All the vendors that exist here will come together and give us a Black Wall Street that exists here. He said, This is why something will come together. And give us a black Wall Street. This is why. We'll come together and give us a black Wall Street credit union, brothers and sisters. The next. Yeah, I know. That's what he did. And this is a very good observation, King of the Black. Umar discredits her, so her claim is invalid. So she, he, he basically tries to discredit her. But, but in my mind, he does that because he doesn't want people to know the truth. I wish, I wish this young lady would contact me. I really wish he would. And, I, and I'll do the vetting and I'll because you guys know I, 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 I get the info. OK, I would do the appropriate vetting and I'll get the information. And based on what she shared, she's going to ha have to have some receipts associated with it. And there's there's women that dealt with Umar. They showed me receipts. That is the credit union. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Umar does. He thrives off chaos and confusion like this. He's done that uh, since. Uh, well, he's done that for since I can remember. This is a very good point. You all make some good points here. He does. He thrives off of this type of a drama. That's why he's always going after and attacking sports athletes and, and people who are uh, 
you know, who are more successful than him because it creates chaos and confusion. In fact, what he did with the UNIA, as we, we spoke about that earlier, he was creating chaos and confusion. He thrives off of that stuff because then he, he tries to switch things around to try to act like he's the victim. Just like he tried to use MLK and what happened with MLK and tried to kind of correlate to what's taking place and conflate that with what just happened. With, no, 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 no. That's not what happened here. Ridiculous. But he thrives off of this. He gets off on it. See, he gets excited, he gets riled up. He starts yelling and screaming instead of calming things down. That's a good point right here. Very good point. Uh, let me get to, I'm, I'm so, let me get to this, a couple other super chats. I'm, I'm behind, I apologize, everybody. I've just been uh, somewhat disturbed by uh, what, I'm, what I'm seeing. I watched it earlier, but I, it's, it's different now watching it for some reason. Um, uh, Dr. Umar and everyone clapping in the audience. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got, thanks so much uh, for the super chat, um, I'll be crazy. Thanks, uh, Naeem, for the super chat. It says, Susie Kane Taylor Square, February 10th. That's what she said. What is that? What's Susie Kane Taylor Square? Hold on one second. Susie Kane Taylor Square. There is a Susie King Taylor Square. It's a park in the reserve in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, but what is she talking about here, though? What's February 10th? Hold on. February 10th, 2024. Uh, uh, they dedicate the the square on February 10th. Yeah, but what is um, Susie? I'm seeing Susie King Taylor. Yeah, I'm seeing Susie King Taylor. Here, I, I, I'll let me show it to y'all. Uh, and thanks, Diane. Let, let me. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. I really don't. But here, let me show it to y'all. Here we go. Let me take myself off here, too. So it says Taylor Square dedication ceremony to be held in February. Uh, Savannah, Georgia, the city announced Wednesday that they will hold a dedication ceremony for Taylor Square on February 10th. It will be a day-long event to commemorate renaming the square formerly known as John C. Calhoun Square. Calhoun was a U.S. vice president and staunch supporter of slavery who was not local to Savannah. The new name is in honor of Susie King Taylor, who is known for being the first African-American nurse in the Civil War. Yeah, but I, I wonder why she brings this uh, lady up. Um, maybe Umar speaking at this. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But you're right. That's That's what she's saying. Uh, thanks, Naeem. Yeah, I had no idea. I, I heard February something, that's for sure, but I, I, I couldn't make out Susie Kane Taylor, but that's what it is. I think it's Su Su uh, Susie King Taylor. Uh, thanks, Naeem. Uh, Vince says, she said Susie King Taylor Square. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, thanks, Vince, uh, uh, as well. So we, it's been confirmed. So I don't know what's going on. February 10th is in two days. I wonder if Umar is speaking. No, no, hold on one second. Let me do one other thing. If he is, that's not good. Yeah, I don't see anything on here that says that. Yeah, I don't see anything on here. Yeah, it looks like he's talking about his comic book coming out soon. <laughs> well, I tell you, Umar, are you funny? Okay. Thanks, Vince. Uh, Louis Luck says, Umar uh, likes big women like the big Haitian woman that wiped his forehead at FDMG. She said she had to be uh, real mad to throw her lunch at <laughs> it was It wasn't her lunch. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, but yeah, he does, he he stated that he liked uh, five, five, thick in the thighs. He, he liked the big women. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was like that something happened and, and she's mad at him for whatever happened. Um, someone said. Uh, can you uh, replay uh, replay what you want to replay the video? We were just, uh, I, yeah. OK, we're not done with that. But, but we need to get going here. All right. We're already two hours. I was trying to keep this um, under three. We still got it. We got still got to get through this video. And then um, there's one other one I want to get to.
Um, oh, thanks, Lil Suck, for the super chat, too. I appreciate everyone else, too. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me just, let's go back. We're going to play this one more time, and we're going to be done with this, okay? Because otherwise, we'll be here for a month. The reason we can't catch up, the reason we can't catch up is because we can't access the capital we need. Everybody in this audience right now. Okay, for some time's sake, let me go back to where everything kicks off, and then we'll play through. Here we go. Because this slavish, exploitative, disgusting ancestors already laid their foundation for hundred years. How is the foundation laid? Thank God you said, while we got to work hard, Dr. Umar, I don't see white folks breaking their back. They already been there. Yeah, she was mad. I can tell she walking. Yeah, done that. It's your turn now. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that? Uh, he said, who's that queen? That doesn't make any sense. That should be the appropriate. He knew this lady. Come on, y'all. He knew this lady. That's not the appropriate response if this type of thing pops off. He saw her coming, too. Who's that lady? Come on now. He knew who this lady was. That's why he said that. Who's that? <laughs> I've never seen her in my life. Short term. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. Yeah, he's, he's, he had to cut, he had to use that cloth. They say the Negro entrepreneur. He says, who's that queen? <laughs> yeah, she did say, someone was asking what she said. She said, uh, I, I was with you last, or something. We, I was with you last night. We covered that yesterday. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. See, Umar, he just escalating it. I really don't like how this guy was grabbing her under her, her uh, breast like that. I just don't like it. Hey, you gonna stay focused. He almost knocked her over right there. We gonna stay focused. No weapons up against us. Yeah, they could have really hurt this this lady. They really could. I wish this young lady would contact me. Well, I'll tell you. My own tried to destroy me. It did not discourage me, but it reinforced me on how much hurt I got to do. Well, Umar, he's so twisted. You see how he twists things up? Yeah, I know. I know, Bridget. That's that's what that's what I was saying earlier. That's why we on here this this top for this long. I would should have been done, but that it just is disturbing. The more I see it, it's it's just disturbing. And this guy right here looking back, look at him. Well, I tell you, I don't know what I, listen, I don't mean to just be disrespectful, no, but I don't know what kind of mean y'all got going on down there. Okay, this is unacceptable. Some of them know it's wrong too. They just they're not man enough to stand up. Because I've been like y'all y'all back up all I, I would have I would say y'all back up everyone back up let her get up and walk out. In my life, God is my witness, but I love her anyway. See how they got her crowded in like this? This is wrong. Brothers and sisters, 
we got to work together. I'm hoping that here in Black Wall Street, at this marketplace, that all the businesses and all the vendors that exist here will come together and give us a Black Wall Street credit union, brothers and sisters. The next step is the credit union. The reason yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's not handled professionally. Not at all. You pull them off the stage. You you create space between the the uh, speaker and whoever it is that's that's uh, approached the speaker, but you don't let the speaker escalate things. That's not what you do. You don't do that. But Umar and Umar should know better too. But he wants to turn everything into like it's all about him, and then he he brings up uh, uh, Martin Luther King, and he and he's basically taking passive aggressive shots at this young lady that's already been subdued. They had her on the, on the ground for how long now? I don't even know how long. It's ridiculous. Uh, thanks for Super Chat. Uh, saw 232. Uh, Vegan Sports Bar said, Umar. Yeah, we got that one. Uh, Lewis Sucks says, Umar's uh, like, okay. Uh, yeah, we got that one too. Okay. Um, let me just make sure I got to all these Super Chats because we, we got we to gotta get going here now. Uh, Naeem says, um, all joking aside, it's a good thing he doesn't follow through with his promises. This man could be another gym. I absolutely, I absolutely agree with this. I absolutely agree. It, it has, Umar has all the makings of, of uh, a cult leader the narcissism the sense of entitlement the grandiosity the sense of power and control over other people seeing other people as resources nothing more whether it's financial or sexual or otherwise you know uh his uh, his fan base tend to repeat and parrot exactly what he says verbatim well that's mind control okay well that's the foundation of a cult you're absolutely right about this naive I used to, uh, I shouldn't say I used to, I watched this series on Netflix where they they talked about different cults and they had all these different, and, and, and every one of them, because they're not all the same, but, they, but the different people that they were bringing, and I kept saying, that's Umar. And then it'd be someone else. No, that's Umar. And then it's someone else. That's Umar, over and over and over again. And that's dangerous. See, anytime you can have men respond to a black woman like this in this type of situation, that shows you have a level of control that that's is dangerous because they could have really listen. When I first saw this video, when they tackled this, uh, when the guy pulled that lady down to the ground, when she was when she didn't get up right away, I said, oh, my God, I hope they didn't harm this, hurt this, this young lady. Because ain't no telling what could have happened. She bigger. You know, she could have fallen, uh, uh, hit her head. She could have had, uh, you know, breathing problems. They got he got his hand on her neck. Put, uh, pushing her down while the other one was pulling her up. Ain't no telling what could have happened. Umar don't care. It's, it's a doggone shame. It really is. Just like Jim Jones didn't, didn't care. He didn't care. See, like I said in the beginning, now I realize why I said it in the beginning of the live stream. The UNIA uh, member uh, uh, I don't know what the, the division number is, but they're, tr they're going against the president or they're trying to go against the president of the UNIA saying that they don't want Umar to be dealing with any organization events. They're trying to go against that. But if you see something like this as a man of integrity who cares about black women, understand that it's your, it's your role and it should be your responsibility to keep black women safe. You should not have Umar at any event because Umar doesn't keep black women safe. Can anyone justify this to say Umar, he's taking an active role in keeping this black woman safe, regardless of what took place? No, he's not. He's he's further instigating it. He keeps he, and like someone said earlier, he he feeds off of this. He starts yelling and screaming and clapping up for the answer. Everyone starts people start standing and clapping. But what about the young lady? And here's the thing. She may not even been telling. She may not have been lying on Umar. She, and I believe her right now. I believe her because I know how Umar is. So she's exp trying to express her grievance. She's trying to bring something to the to the floor. Is it the appropriate way to do it? No, but this is what she decided to do. She obviously she's upset about something that Umar did. But instead of taking the time to calm the situation down, maybe come to some type of resolution, what they do is escalate. And they could have really hurt this young lady. Okay, and I know it's easy to dismiss something like this to say that the lady is is mental or she's unstable or whatever. That's easy to do. OK, but when she said that I was with you last night and how how Umar responded in the first place, it it just shows me he are, I, I believe they, that uh, he had dealt with her. 
Th uh, thanks, Diamond, for the super chat. I'm telling you, it, it is. It, I've said this a long time ago. It's like a cult. It really is. Okay, let's finish this up because we got to get going on this. Back. If we can't catch up, the reason we can't catch up is because we can't access the capital. Everybody. Yeah, we got 760 people in the building. Like the like button. Uh, I'd appreciate it. if you haven't already. Thank you. In this audience right now, let me say 90% of you would leave your day job. Y'all need to be right at Susie Kane Taylor Square February 10th. If so you man, have Lord the God. capital. Get out of my face with your penis, man. Yeah, well, the truth is that he is right up on her like that. You see this? It's that same dude with the gray uh, suit on, all in her space. They handled. They didn't handle this right. Bottom line. See, she's telling him to back off. She says she's tired of whatever. Something, something. Back off. This guy over here is smiling and sh well, I tell you, these these guys. See the guy over there with the uh, jacket. The beige jacket sitting down. He think it's funny. Somebody in here got an idea. Better than Brian's ice cream. Somebody in here got an idea. Better. Man, all right. Let's go back to the video we watched yesterday. Just to see, we got you can you can hear better what with the conversation between Umar and the young lady. This thing, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. Say the Negro entrepreneur. Who's that queen? Keep speaking, King. See, he said, "Who's that queen?" And she says, "I was with you last night." Keep speaking, King. He said, uh, "You wasn't with me last night. I never seen you a day in my life." She says, "Look at my book. Look in my purse." Keep speaking, King. Or, or look at my bag. Look at my back. Keep speaking, Keith. Don't stop. Don't change the energy. Don't change the energy. Don't change the energy. Brothers and sisters, don't change the energy. Don't change the energy. Don't change. Doggone shame, man. This is this is just a horrible situation all around. Slow it down, fifty percent. It's clear YouTube won't let me type it. Uh, which part are you talking about? You talking about this other video? The Microsoft. Is because. All right, let, let me do this real quick. And I apologize, everybody, but I, I want to just let's get down to the bottom of this one one time. OK, we're going to do this real quick. And we're going to get back to uh, what we've been focusing on for this live stream. But um, this is it's disturbing, you know, and I didn't realize it when I saw it earlier today. But now I, I can see it clearly. It, it is. It's disturbing how all this was handled. And there's nothing funny about it whatsoever. Nothing. It was handled inappropriately. They could have really hurt this young lady. Uh, and Umar don't care. Uh, let me see here. Here it is right here. I'm going to put it in VLC player. And then let me do a screen share. Hold on one second. Let me do a screen share, Iceman Vap. And then I'll, I'll lower the speed or slow the speed down just a little bit. And then we should be able to hear, hear a little bit better. Uh, let's go screen share. And go entire screen. We're going to do screen number two and we're going to do the audio. Let me know if you guys can hear the audio in the chat room. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Let me. Um... Can y'all hear this? Africans, if private equity is the backbone of the big business, we are in trouble because most of our wealthy. Oh, hold on one second. Where is the, the capital to oh, full time zoom aspect ratio audio increase by where's the thing at? Playback speed. Here we go. You gotta understand something, black people, and I've been telling you this. You don't get it. White people don't have to worry about putting in the work because they're slave. Shots. 
Son. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Boy, this is crazy. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. Boy, this is this is shame. Yeah, it is terrible. Somebody's here. 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 Som
All right, man. This ain't no good. Ain't no good at all. Again, if this young lady want to contact me, you're welcome to do so. Just have your receipts in order. I will vet. Okay. And uh, if the receipts are there, I will report. Okay. And I have ethics. I'm not going to be up here lying on Umar, any of that stuff. There has to be receipts included. I'm sure there's other video out there, too, from different angles. Um, and if it comes out in the future, I'll be sure that we can revisit this. I, I, again, my, my take on this is let, let's do a poll. I know we did a poll yesterday, but my take is that they had they did have some interaction, okay? especially given Umar's history. No woman is going to come up there uh, talking like that and being that upset over nothing, throwing a purse and stuff. OK, it's personal. I think they had some sort of interaction and Umar did something, said something or didn't do something or didn't say something or didn't respond to oh, ain't no telling. And she got upset. So she wanted to confront Umar. And this is where it was an appropriate way to do it. No. Uh, but the way that the security manhandled this uh, young lady and see, there's two things. I'm going to say this and um, uh, people get mad at me if you want to. But because she's bigger people are less inclined to think about her safety. And because she's darker skinned, people are less inclined to think about her safety. I don't believe in that. A woman is a woman, big, small, whatever. A woman is a woman, skin color, irrelevant. Primary concern for any man, including security, is to keep the women and children safe. And if Umar was a real man, and I already know that he's not, he would have calmed this situation down, de-escalated the situation, and then made sure that it were, was resolved in such a way to where this young lady was not manhandled in that way. And she could have walked away, which she was attempting to do anyway. That dude in that suit, he was, the, he was part of the problem too. See, he's about 5'4", okay? And he's trying to manhandle this, this young lady the way that he did. Okay, it's like a Napoleon complex. You should be ashamed. But the truth is that all the men up in who, who sat there and watched, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. And that's part of the problem. See, y'all talk all of this black power talk, white supremacy, and we need to pull our resources. And, you know, we got to fight the white man and all this stuff. But look what happens and look at the inaction that takes place when a black woman is treated in that way by black men. So you let some white men treat the black woman like that. You guys will talk that talk just to talk the talk. But you let black men do it all the time, and it's okay. Some of y'all was up in there laughing. Boy, I tell you. Talk about the white man is the white. No, it's, it's us as black men. And I'm including myself. But I know one thing, if I was there, I wouldn't have been concerned about what Umar's saying. I wouldn't be a hooting and hollering and, and jumping up and clapping. I would have told these dudes up there that was manhandled to back up, let the lady get up and walk out on her own, which she was attempting to do in the first place. But little Keebler elf trying to uh, act like he big, big uh, uh, pookie. Anyway. Y'all gonna shame. Uh, sick list says, sorry to say it, but most of, Jim, uh, of Jones's victims were our people. And you're right about that. It was black people. Uh, 50 years later, and we are we as a people are still falling from the same nonsense. You're absolutely right about this. You're absolutely right about this. Most of Jim Jones' followers were black people, black women. Go back and look at them videos, because they got videos and everything. It's crazy how they, a lot of that stuff was, was recorded. It's true. See? Uh, making black women, saying all the right things to black women, making them feel, well, that's Umar. 
See, but when it really comes down to it, all of that is just talk. Have Umar to come talk. It's just talk. He don't live that life. He don't have respect for black women. He don't have no concern, no care. If he did, do you think he would allow for this to take place? And guess what? He allowed it. He instigated it. He had the power to say, everyone calm down, including uh, the little dude that was trying to act like he big and tough, about 5'4". So, take a step back. You know, you, there's enough distance between me and her. She's not a threat. Take a step back. Give her some breathing room. Let her get up. Let her walk up out of here. And that's that. But see, Umar, as a cult personality, he wants to make it into this grand thing where it's about him. He brings up Martin Luther King and how Mark, they would try to kill Martin Luther King. And it was one of their own and this crazy lady, all passive aggressive towards this young lady. And guess what? I believe that they do. I know 100 percent. No, I'm saying it. I believe that they had some sort of interaction. And that's why Umar responded the way that he did. I'm going to do a poll. Boy, this this done set me off. I apologize. Thanks, Tick Lid. I'm going to do a poll. We're going to get back to the video, then we're going to close out. Uh, she got Umar. <laughs> I hope not. Please, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I hope not. Please. My goodness. As OB says, this is some uh, it's straight out of a movie. It is. Umar and his actions constantly invites uh, back what he dishes out. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I remember one time Umar was speaking, and I think it was at a church. I could be wrong. Now, yeah, I think it was a church. It was it was in, in, in New York somewhere, one of the boroughs where black people, a lot of black people in that borough. And there was a brother that confronted Umar because and he was asking about the money for the school. And, and it was about they was about the rumble. And a black woman stepped in to save Umar. Anybody aware of that? Hit the one. It was a black woman that stepped in to save Umar. It wasn't no black man. She's the one, and and, they, and she stepped in to such a degree where they end up locking the doors to keep Umar inside and keep him safe. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm sure, and that's one of the reasons I think Umar doesn't answer his phone. I'm sure there's people who've called him and said, listen, you took my grandmama's money, you took my wife's money, you took my money, you took my kid's money, you took somebody's money, my cousin, the grandmama, whatever, and there's still no school? You best believe that there are plenty of people who are upset. And that's just talking about the school to kind of redirect this thing. But when it comes to how he treats an, uh, uh, black women, and how he exploits black women, I wouldn't be surprised. It, there's plenty of women out there who got stories to tell. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. OK, thanks. So and I apologize if I missed any of these super chats. I apologize. I, I was I, I got a little bloat off on this because I just didn't like how uh, this young lady was treated. I think it was inappropriate and it was dangerous. Um, so if I miss any super chats, I apologize. Okay. We got to get going back, uh, to what we were uh, getting into. Uh, it was probably going to listen. How, how much time what we got? We had seven. I figure we're going to need about 40 more minutes. Okay. If, so if you guys can, can stay on board for 40 more minutes, that'd be great. We got about 780 people in the building. If you hit the like button, I'm gonna put up a poll, uh, right now, but let's get back to this video. Right. It's here. a 20 minute ride from Philadelphia international airport. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do, brothers and sisters. Here's what I want to do, brothers and sisters. Okay? I want August the 21st, 2019 is only six months from now. August the 21st of 2019 is only six months from now. August the 21st of 2019 is only six months from now. It is impossible for me to have the building restored and to have the school opened in six months. It is impossible. So the start date is being pushed back one summer to August the 20th of 1920. We celebrate 100 years of the red, black, and green flag, August of 2020. August of 1920, that's when the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey Chose the red, black, and green. August of yeah, twenty. Was it a yeah? Was it a thousand? I didn't know that. Hold on a second. Let me let me go look this up. I don't think it was that many. Dang, you're right. It's nine hundred and nine. I didn't know it was that many people in total. Nine hundred and nine individuals died in Jonestown itself, all but two from apparent cyanide poisoning. 
a significant number of whom were injected against their will in an, an event termed revolutionary suicide by Jones and some People's Temple member, members on an audio tape of the event and in prior recorded discussions. Yeah, I've heard the audio tape. It's, it's horrific. It's horrible. I did not know it was that many. 909. Yeah. Okay, let, let's keep going. I, I just put the, 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 uh, the poll up too. I know we, we put this poll up yesterday, but based on the new evidence that uh, we saw here today, uh, I think it's apropos to have another uh, uh, poll. And the poll is, did Umar know the bag lady? Okay, oh, I'm saying bad lady, I apologize. Can I edit that? I, can, I can't even edit it. I apologize, it's supposed to say bag lady, okay? Uh, already we have 96% that says yes, there's been 100 votes, 4% uh, say no. Okay, I'll leave that up there. I apologize for the typo. It should read, did Umar know the bag lady? All right. Okay, let's get going here. 20, the red, black, and green flag turns 100 years old. That's when we're going to open the school. That's when we're going to open the school. But this is what I want to do. I want to open the building for you to come and see it. A grand opening on the quadricentennial of African struggle in America. On August the 21st of 2019, this summer. On August the 21st of 2019, this summer, on August the 21st of 2019, this summer, I want to have a grand opening of the FDMG building, Team Pan-African headquarters. I want to have a conference. I want music. I want fashion show. I want seminar. I want yoga class. I want African language. I want a musical concert right across the street. We got a big park. We want to rent that out and do a big park, a big celebration with food and festivals and activities for the children with over one. 100 vendors we got room for did he have that that year no <laughs> anyway. over 100 vendors we <laughs> have 20 pole. classrooms family, and one i want pole dancing family i need <laughs> what else okay i know he had two parties but we got to make sure we get the next one popping off okay it, we, what else fashion show <laughs> more clowns and balloons well, red black and green balloons well what else we need? <laughs> Yoga classes, fake marriages. I need, I need, I want pork rinds. I used to love me some pork rind with the spice on it back in the day. I can't eat it now, but I used to love them things. What? Then you get the little stuff on your fingers when you were a kid. You be, y'all remember that? I want hopscotch. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, Bree, he want a double queen. <laughs> Not one. He double up on everything because I'm king Kong. That's what he said. He said, I want a petting, petting zoo with plenty of zebras. All right. <laughs> black zebras, all black hope. Black zebras only. All right. <laughs> I'm on better security. <laughs> Me, I need vegan cigars, super naughty. <laughs> Come on now, Mike. That's ridiculous. Vegan cigars. Okay. All right. <laughs> what does this mean? Vibe Energy, what are you talking about? Xbox? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I want a parrot. So I don't... <laughs> Oh man, that's too much. Who are going to get a pair? You got to get two. So you know, won't repeat them once, I'll repeat them a third. You know what I'm saying? So you get three times. You know what he's saying? Umar need to get it. It got to be a red, black, green pair too. Umar, we're going to get you a pair. We're going to send it to you. We're going to put it in the box in the box this month. Okay. We're going to find you some parents. All right. The kind of repeat things. All right. Because not all of them can do it. We gonna get you two of them. <laughs> you just put them on your own shoulders and let them rat a tap. Cause they will repeat before you got to do. Piece of pan African. Piece of pan African. Oh, another one. Piece of pan African. Oh. <laughs> brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Oh. <laughs> you gotta train them though. Okay, you can't just put them on your shoulder. You gotta train these parents. Okay, you gotta raise them up in the spirit of Marcus Garvey. Okay, let's get let's get back to it. This is 
Book nerd, this is one of the funniest things. <laughs> I was like, yeah, family. I need a parent so I don't have to be myself no more. <laughs> who are one electric bull ride? Right? <laughs> who are we on it? You got on cowboy ass. You be like, yeah. You know, bull rides was credited by the black man. <laughs> oh no, who are stop it? Don't do that. <laughs> the electric bull was created by a black man. His name was Cleophas. Okay. All right. <laughs> Some of these I can't even read. Y'all crazy. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needs some ice sandwiches. Yeah, he loved them ice cream sandwiches. Okay, let, let me get let's get back focus here because we got blowed off <laughs> as usual. <laughs> okay, here we go. One building, we got another 16 classrooms in the other building. We got 20 classrooms in one building. We got over 16 classrooms in the other building. Please stop saying where because I told you what, I'm uploading bar? a video once I'm done talking. Somebody cooking something. It smells okay. good. We have to follow directions. Also, brothers and sisters, do me a favor. The trolls. Here we go. Screenshot their face. Try to get their real name if you can. I need all Dr. Umar and FDMG supporters to keep a database of haters, <laughs> trolls, and coons. I know I'm on that Take their face. Get they got me on there three times. I guarantee it because then parents they got me. They said, Who else? Who are like, who should we put on it? Parents, yeah, I, I guarantee you. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know it's just it's over the top. The whole thing is just over the top. I'm gonna tell y'all if, if the young lady contacted me, I will be fair and impartial, and, and I, I do mean that. Okay, that's one thing I don't lie. Okay, and I don't get up here lying about Umar. Okay, I would expect to hear her side of the story, have, let her tell me what, and this would be privately. Okay. Tell me what took place. And then there there has to be some kind of proof, some type of evidence uh, um, that I, I would need to look at and see. And based upon what I see, then I will make a determination whether or not, uh, you know, the, the story is accurate or not. Uh, and if it is accurate, then I will report on it. It's that simple, you know. But Umar really did. He tried to turn it into something that it was not. And uh, his lack of care, uh, his lack of care for the young lady is so telling. Okay. Uh, it reminds me of, and then we got to get going. Uh, I'm trying to, I shouldn't be rushing anyway. I just got to, I got to be in the bed early. Um, it reminds me, and, and some of you guys, most of you probably don't remember this, but it, but it remind, I only have the audio of it. I could pull it up. It reminds me of a situation where there was a, a lady that called into one of Umar's black parent teleconferences and Umar was mad, got mad at her because she wasn't going to attend his event in her city or near her city. And he was going off on her. You know, just talking all kind of mess. She ends up giving the phone to her mom, which is the her children's grandmother. And uh, Umar starts to go off on her. Anybody remember this at the one? And uh, he says, well, you know, you should have them, the kids there. I can't even remember how many kids she had, three, four, something like that. Uh, single mother. Uh, she didn't have she didn't even know the event was taking place. And she's something to the effect of, you know, transportation and all this kind of stuff. But Umar went off, you know. And I sat back and I said to myself, uh, he's not a man, because what a man would have done is says, well, listen, sister, do you want to come? And if she says yes, OK, do you, do you want your children to come? Yes. OK, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. OK, um, I want you to text me your uh, address and I'm going to arrange Uber or someone to pick you up. I just say, let's say Uber okay? and they will pick you up and it will be a, a van so that you guys can be all comfortable. it will be for you your mom and your children and uh, car seats, whatever you need. We'll make sure that that's taken care of too. Okay. Um, and they will pick you up. Uh, really what he should have said is someone part who's part of the organization where he's speaking at, that they're going to have a service for her. Okay. And the children and, and that the person would pick her up uh, and her mom and the children, bring them to the event, have a special area for them. Okay. And have snacks for the children, some drinks for the children, even get a little, couple little toys. You know, dollar, it could be dollar toy, uh, uh, toys. The children don't care. Get, get something from the dollar store. And uh, you have a good time. You guys come, you, you watch. And then afterwards, we'll make sure that you guys get home safe. You don't have to worry about driving. That's what he should have done. And then when the car picks them up, he, he texts, says, are you on your way? Is everything okay? Do you need anything else? 
And then when they get there, you make sure you take the time uh, uh, to, to take, make sure the children are okay, make sure she's okay, the mama's okay, make sure they got everything they need, that they're comfortable. And then when it's time to go, you, you thank them for coming out. You thank that you, I mean, if you really want to be real about it, you, you say, I just want to thank the, the, the mother who came out with her children. She, she had others, she wasn't planning on it, but she came out and thank her in front of everyone. Make her feel good, make her feel special. Uh, and then when she leaves, when she's heading out, uh, you have a gift package for her. You have a gift package for the mom. You already gave the kids snacks and treats and all that kind of stuff, but you have a little gift ba a bag for them. And then you send them off while they're driving in route back home. You text them again. Say, I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you so much for coming out. I just want to make sure you're getting home safe and you leave it at that. That's what a real man would have done. How much money would it that have, that have cost too? He done collected millions of dollars on a school scam, tricking it off here and there. How much money would that have cost? It's not a massive amount of money. But that's not what he did. Umar takes it upon himself to go at the woman to the point where she gave the phone to the grandma and then he started going in on her. One of the most despicable things. But it goes to show you the type of person he is. Uh, thanks for the super chat, lady. Oh, you're laughing at lady. Okay. Okay, let's get going here. Uh, real quick, the the, uh, the poll, we got 210 votes so far. Did Umar know the lady? We got 93% said yes, 7% said, said no. Make sure you guys get your vote in, okay? Here we go. Their name. At some point soon, I'm going to give you an email address. You're going to send all the pictures and all the names of the haters to the email list because we're going I, to create I, a... I totally, I totally agree with this. It looked like when they would, a stone woman in the public, I feel bad for her, they humiliated her. She would have probably calmed down if the woman approached her instead of Umar still back. I, I absolutely agree with this. Absolutely agree with this. See, I, I totally agree with that. And, and see, even how they manhandled her and grabbed up under her breast like that. OK, that's inappropriate. That's wrong. See, see, if, if, if that one dude had stepped back, little, little guy, if he had stepped back trying to exert power and all that stuff and just tick, just take because she was leaving. OK, and then, then a woman could have said, listen, sweetie, uh, you know, are you OK? What's going on? Just talk to her for a little bit. You know, Umar is still running his mouth. Talk to him for 15 seconds. Okay, well, let, let's go talk about this outside. Okay, I think it'd be better if we talk about this outside. She was already leaving anyway. That's that's how that, Just read. it's just so ridiculous. See, we talk all this talk about how we need to, we need to respect black women, but in, the, in, in real terms, this is what happens. Masterless. When you come to the grand opening yep. of FDMG on August the 21st of 2019, mm -hmm. You right will have that. to show photo ID. We will have a master list of haters. So when we look at your driver's license, we could type your name into the database. And if you pop up as a hater, your ass don't get in. Don't let these haters get away, brothers and sisters. Get they face. Most of them have a face. Screen load the face. Screen screenshot load. the face and take the name. Hold it for me. Keep it in your phone. Keep it on your laptop. Just hold it. Don't send it to me right now. Just hold it. And I'm going to ask, you. and you're going to send that because I already got a hundred trolls already who can't come to the school, and they're not getting forewarned. If you don't know if you're allowed in, all you got to do is text me, Doctor Umar. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't really support you when they was hating on you, you know, but <laughs> I do see you got the school now, and, and I, and I right, want to be I'm down, brother. Because ain't Vince nobody else in the dude. conscious community Vince doing on it. A lady on it two times. It's it's just a lady on YouTube. page one, lady on page two. Hustling people for documentaries. Hustling people for debates. Hustling people for this and that. See, he's taking shots at Tariq right here. You're the only one. And, and he's taking shots at uh, Saad Netter with the debate thing. I'm building something, brother. So I want to get down with you. Let's can get the 400, I, I'm okay? You to send me your 400? Face. Let me see your face, brother. Because I don't know names, but I know faces. And I can say, nah, you the same yep. Negro that was standing right next to that hated name so-and-so. I know. When he was on YouTube no talking sense. that dumb shit. And you didn't say one word in my defense. Sorry, brother. You can't come. And I want to be clear <laughs> about something. I know five years later from this video, they still holding on to the screenshots. Okay, let me let it play. Here we go. I want to be clear about something, brothers and sisters. What, Umar? Guilty by association is still guilty. Okay. I want to be clear. Guilty by association is still guilty. Let me say it one more time. Guilty by association is still guilty. What do you mean, Dr. Umar? I mean, you may have not said anything out of your own mouth. But if you are friends and associates with a known hater then you a hater too, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, no disrespect. 
no disrespect, I'm going to say it again. You may have never hated on me or the school yourself, but if you are cool, if you associate with a known hater, then you are banned from attending all events as well. Okay? I'm just keeping it gangster. We will also be building a council of elders for FDMG and a separate council of elders for Team Pan-African. We will be building a council of elders for <laughs> FDMG and another council yeah. of elders for Team Pan-African. If there's any elders watching me, I want you to know I'm not leaving you out. If there's any el <laughs> This is ingenious. This, this is cool right here. Now, let's really think about this. So Umar says he's going to have a database, but it's going to be based on people's names who use their real name. But it would also have to be based on people's screen names. Right. So as an example, Iceman Vamp, you would be on there. Uh, K. Diggy. I doubt your name is K. Diggy. K. Sacred Gold Grove. Obviously, brother, your name's not Sacred Gold uh, Grove. Right. You see what I'm saying? But but see, Iceman said, glad my driver's license doesn't say Iceman. <laughs> so when they check. They're going to look at it. So how does he, you see what I'm saying? How's he going to know that it's Iceman Vamp if the driver's license ain't going to say Iceman Vamp? See what I'm saying? Just like Sacred Grove on your driver's license ain't going to say Sacred Grove. Boy, I tell you, Umar, he a trip. I didn't even think about that. Uh, thanks for that, but that, that's a genius right there. It's true. Elders watching me, I'm not leaving you out. Bring your resume. <laughs> I'm sorry, To Wendell. New York City <laughs> next Sunday or Connecticut the Wendell, following don't Saturday. get in. Bring your resume, <laughs> elders. To New York City Sunday, yeah, yeah, what is that? The real day, all right. The following Saturday, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> because I want to look at your resume, because I might select you to be part of the Council of Elders. I'm because sorry, because we need post, our I'm... elders. We got a lot of elders with good ideas. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, Elder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you though. Who did are, you don't? We're all gonna be like, where's, where's Ty Boogie at? <laughs> Let me see your driver's license. Say Ty Boogie on there. Donate to the school. <laughs> Four and a half years. If you ain't donate, that does not disqualify you. I'm not saying okay. that. But I am going to look at you sideways. How in the hell in four and a half years you couldn't <laughs> donate one dollar? Y'all crazy. Your first name is The. <laughs> Middle name Bionic, last name Scoop. <laughs> Boy, y'all wow. Let's people go. People sent me one dollar. And they say, Dr. Umar, this is all I got. But I had to give you one dollar <laughs> out of my two dollars. This school means everything to me. And if it don't mean everything to you, I don't oh, need you. Wow. This school means everything to me. And if it don't mean everything to you, I don't you need you. There. This school needs <laughs> means everything to me. And if it doesn't yeah, mean everything there. to you, I don't need you. Let's keep on going. <laughs> I talked yeah. about bring your resumes in person. Yeah, big man. He on, he got he Delaware meeting on Thursday <laughs> the 28th. Only for people who live in Delaware. You have to text me for that location. I'm not going to make that public right this moment. <laughs> okay. I forgive my haters, but you're not invited. I forgive my haters, but you're not invited. Not also, for here. all my donors, for all my donors, I want you to know that at some point soon, you will be given a certificate. Just like Marcus Messiah Garvey had the Black Star Line, since Marcus. we are also incorporating FDMG in Delaware, just like Marcus Garvey incorporated the Black Star Line in Delaware, you will be getting a stock certificate. Okay? You don't get a return because we're in. I hope y'all didn't see my feet. I got pretty feet. It's annoying. You know, I've always been self conscious about that. Two things I'll be self conscious about my, my pretty feet. And then. If I shave my beard off, I, I have like a baby face. Those are the two things. I, I got to have my feet covered. I got to have my beard. I have to have some facial hair. Investing in our children. This is not a for-profit business, okay? This is not a for-profit. Saving African children is not a for-profit business. But you will be given a stock certificate. Okay, first he says a stock certificate. But watch. <laughs> if y'all don't stop. Someone said, come on now, that's ridiculous. All right, let's stay focused, family. Here we go. Why? First, he says stock certificate. Watch what he does. Because you are a spiritual stockholder. Now you're a spiritual stockholder. This is some scam arama right here. This is this is super scammy. You're going to get a, a stock certificate, and then you're going to get a, it's a spiritual stock certificate. You hear this? You are a spiritual stockholder in the success of. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a raw stock certificate. 
kids stocking spirits. <laughs> Them spirits, boy, they be getting sold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you don't stop, I think I know who you're talking about, too. Everybody, I, 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 people be talking mess like that. Uh, what's the other guy that's on that comedy hype show? They said, Look, are you related to this guy? I said, No. Doug Williams, the quarterback? <laughs> no, I ain't related to Doug Williams. I wish I was. I, he, I was a super fan of him back in the day. Uh, no, I'm not related to this guy. He don't look nothing like me either. I mean, just because he he uh, he bald and no, 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 this guy, cut it out. You do kind of look like me. <laughs> he doesn't look like a little bit. Umar giving out raw certificates, <laughs> raw certificates, certificates. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's the raw certificate, family. We we need to get, I need me one of those spirit, <laughs> raw spiritual stock. I know it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Uh, thanks, Dr. I hope you're doing all right, too. Uh, the circuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's invisible. It's spiritual. Okay, let's go. The Frederick Douglass mark is going to I know, it's out of control. And for money. every $500 you have given, you will be given a stock certificate for every $500 that you $500? have been given. $500? Okay, there will be $500 stock certificates, $1,000 stock certificates, $2,000 stock certificates, $5,000 stock certificates. These are honorary stock certificates. $5,000 stock certificates? Someone said earlier, it sounded like Jay Morrison. Yeah, I know it do. You notice he don't even bring up the, the Tulsa fund anymore. How much money did he collect anyway? I can't remember. I, th I thought it was over $10 million. I, I can't remember how much it was because then I started looking into uh, Cesar Pena. Cesar Pena got people for $60, $70, 80000000 million. It's crazy. I, can't, I thought it was $12 million, Jay Morrison, but he don't, I don't even think he – was it thirteen? Goodness. But he don't even bring up the, the – uh, he don't do no videos on YouTube talking about the TREF. Because after that town hall meeting, y'all remember that? I want to cover that. I may, may still do it, but he probably ended up getting mad at me. I don't care. He's goofy. Something wrong with that dude. He could tell looking at him in his eye, bugging eyes, bug eye, and all this. He, he has his reputation is totally ruined. Ain't nobody giving that guy no money unless they unless they uh, knew to him. $13 million. Goodness gracious. That's ridiculous. But he did come up on a house for himself. It's a nice house. Uh, they also he also came up on some land. Y'all know that, and it's in his family's name. He's he's such a slickster. The people who sent in all that money. This it, then of course the lifestyle, and then also he came up on the black house. So he really did. He used that money to enrich himself, and the people who sent in the money, they got not, either very little to no return. And he don't even care. He, he has no remorse for that whatsoever. And his wife, too, I got to say. Now they trying to be Christian and getting baptized. Okay, here we go. So you can hang them up just like we did in Marcus Garvey's day. Just like we did in Marcus Garvey's day. And you can hang it up in your barber shop, hang it up in your in your business, hang it up in your house, hang it up in your study. And you Man, can say, that's 14. my certificate 5? because that's I support crazy. Dr. Umar and I support independent education. And I If it's spiritual, then how can you hang it up? I don't understand that. Uh, dog, stock certificates are high as hell, and he's not even public. <laughs> Listen, he's just making it up. But see, that's why I made the point. He, initially, he says stock certificate, but then he flips and he says spiritual stock certificates. You see what I'm saying? He He's slick. He's really slick. But here's the thing. Has anyone who's donated to Umar, have any of y'all received a stock certificate or, or a, 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 a spiritual stock certificate or a raw spiritual stock certificate? At, at this point, five years later, if anyone has received any of those, hit the one. I'll wait. Who comes up with that anyway? I mean, this guy, he actually has this written down on the paper. This guy was sitting down. He said, you know what? What are we, what are we going to uh, Stock certificates, spiritual stock certificates. Yeah, we're going to do spiritual stock certificates. Has anyone who donated to Umar received one of these raw cash <laughs> stock certificates? Hit the one, please. I know you're joking. I'm just asking. Okay, I just want to know. 
All right, thanks, Sigma for Super Chat. Luke says Umar is Pastor Porch. Well, we talked about this yesterday. He's basically a traveling preacher. That's what he is. You know, it's just more within the scope of black power talk. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of these people, because I was in the black conscious community uh back in the day. Now I wasn't online because back then the internet wasn't a big thing, you know. But I used to wear the dashikis and and you know, kufis and all that stuff, you know. Uh I, I've been there, you know. But the thing is that with, with Umar, his rhetoric is, is kind of rooted in quote unquote black conscious rhetoric, but essentially he's he's a traveling preacher. That's what he is. That's why he doesn't have he doesn't have to have his own car. He just rents cars because he's a traveling preacher. He doesn't have to have his own place. He's living in his mama closet when he can, or he stays in hotels most of the time. That's why you guys going to look. Umar's he's live streaming in hotels. Go look. When was the last time you saw Umar live streaming at his own house? We said this is my house. See, now I'm live streaming in my house. See, right now, and I actually like it this way too because it's cozy. You know what I'm saying? The bed's right here. I was might even get into the bed. I, you know what I'm saying? Just live stream in the bed. <laughs> Umar, he was deeply live streaming, laying down. I should be able to do it too. I got a job. He ain't got no job, Tommy. If he if he ain't got no job, he live streaming, lay, laying down. I should be able to lay down live stream because I got a job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thanks, little sir. Thanks, Sigmund. Thanks, Tata. Okay, let's get going here. I did not mean for this show to be this long. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, we are with the Walt Feeney flag turns 100 years old. That's when we're going to open the school on YouTube. They're not building nothing. Give my haters, but you're not invited. Colin Garnett smoothie. See, uh oh, here we go. But you see how he has a little notebook. He's reading from notes that he wrote down. All this stuff is head movies. And for every $500 you have given, yeah, it is. It, you it will is. be given That's a stock certificate work. for every $500 that you have been given. OK, there will be five hundred dollar stock certificates, one thousand dollar stock certificates, two thousand dollar <laughs> stock certificates, two thousand five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. Who's sending this guy five thousand dollars for what? That's crazy. Having stock is in F in FMG is, is, some, is not something I, I, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Boy, that stock got gone down. Let me let me show you all something from yesterday. It, it, do you all think that the stock will go down? If in 2023 it looked like this, but back in 2019 it looked like this, would the stock go down? Sigmund, would the stock go down in 2019? Umar issued these stock certificates to, to the all who sent their money. Would the stock go down from 2019 to 2023? I wouldn't be proud of it. <laughs> Jay Morrison might be proud of it, though. You know, he's well. This is ridiculous. And this is the picture he shows. He, he's he's such a he, boy, he's such a manipulator. These buildings don't look like this. See how he has the, the filter, extra filter on there, and so it looks extra yellow and extra green. It don't look like that up there. Stop playing. Look at this. This is this is the uh Jay Moore uh Academy bag of the day. It looked better back then. Look at this. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, Sigmund. A lady says, this is my name and pick up on my license. <laughs> okay, it says, your license says a lady 747. <laughs> I wish they would let us put numbers on there. A yeah, lady 747. Okay, and that's your picture? Okay, you're so pretty. <laughs> you pretty, too. You graduated, too. <laughs> Who are going to be looking at that? Where's the lady at? I know she up here. So ridiculous. That was a good point that Iceman Vamp made. I hadn't thought about this. All these years, I had not thought about it, but it's true. How's he going to know? Unless you use your real name. Yeah, it would be a total loss. I, I think for Super Chat 2. Uh, Vixen says, can you play somebody shit on? Do I have that? Are you talking about the actual video? Or are you talking about the song? Let me know. Just type it in. I got to send another Super Chat. I have it some. I have both. I, ha I would have to look for the actual song, though. Um. Let me know uh, uh, which one you're referring to, Vixa. Uh, don't the certificates burn in the fire? <laughs> Umar one time said it was a fire up there. Hit the one. He, I mean, there's been so many things, but he said it was a fire up there. And he showed this picture. I can show it to y'all. I showed it a couple of weeks ago. And the picture is not current. It wasn't from 2000. That was in 2020, I think. I could be wrong. It could be 2021. It's time flies. 
But uh, uh, the picture was an old picture. It looked like it was from like the 19, late 70s, early 80s. And that's what he sh showed to represent this so-called fire. He, he's such a, he's such a, he just be lying. Uh, the song. Okay. Let me, I, I'm not sure. Cause see, the thing is I, I've moved all my stuff up here and I don't know if it may be on another uh, hard drive. I can't play it on the keyboard cause I don't have a keyboard up here. Um, but let me see if I, I have the actual file of it uh, recorded. I don't think I do uh, up here right now. Okay. But if I don't, uh, Vixen, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll I'll uh, re-record it or something, and and have yeah I could just re-record it. I don't know. I can, let let me let me look. Okay, let me let me check. Okay, and uh, thank you for the super chat too. Uh, a Chanel says I think the FDMG sign might raise the stock price. Yeah, right. I mean, what what could he do? See, it, the, the irony is is that none of this is real anyway. Okay, I, I don't even understand why he why would he come up with something like this. Okay, he's not publicly traded. Um, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I, I don't even understand why he would do something. He, you know what I think, and I'm speculating. I think he probably heard this type of a concept someplace else, and he just adopted it at his own. That's what I think. Just like with with the FMG pillows, how he said you can use this and put it up on your wall. Well, this it's more like a, I can't remember what the word is, like, um, commemorative. That type of thing. Is that the word? Yes, yeah, the word. Uh, maybe that's what he's kind of leaning towards that. But why would it be commemorative when you're giving away five thousand dollars or a thousand dollars? That's ridiculous. I don't understand that. But the pillows were supposed to kind of be commemorative too, you know. So uh, I don't know. I don't understand why he came up with this concept or idea. It's just it's it's totally ridiculous. It really is. Thanks, A Chanel. I hope your driver's license doesn't have that rose on there because Umar will identify you. <laughs> he will ident identify you right away. All right. Okay. Okay. Thanks for all the super chats, everybody. Okay. We, let's start winding this down. I wanted to get this other video. We, 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 I don't know if we're going to have time. I mean, we, we could. Stock do certificates. These are honorary stock certificates. So you can hang them up just like we did in Marcus Garvey's day. Just like we did in Marcus Garvey's day. And you can hang it up in your barber shop, hang it up in your in your business, hang it up in your house, hang it up in your study. And you can say, that's my certificate because I support Dr. Umar and I support independent education. And I support. This is so ridiculous. I can't believe this guy. Support the Frederick. That's your favorite song. OK, I'm, I'm going I'm to get it to you some, one way or the other. OK, if I got to uh, re record it, I'll, I'll do it. I don't even remember what the chord progressions were on that song, but I'll figure it out. Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it you? Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it you? But I didn't. I didn't write anything else. Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it you? Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it you? Oh yeah, I did. Was it you? Yeah. Was it you? Yeah. Was it you? Yeah, something like that. But it still missing something. Uh, what was the dog's name? PayPal the puppy. PayPal puppy came through on Monday. He looked at the grass and got busy in some way. <laughs> Why did he do it? I don't know. Why did he do it? I don't know. Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it true? Yeah, that's nice. Dang. Somebody hit it. Everybody on stairs. Was it true? Everybody. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> Somebody hit it on my stairs. Was it true? Yeah, I forgot about that song. You know, I told my wife, I, 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 because uh, this was months ago. I said, and she said, well, if, you know, if if you could do one thing, and and that would be what you do, what would it be? I said, I would write songs, because uh, I'm a natural songwriter. Uh, it's just life didn't turn out the way that I would like. In fact, I, 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 I there was a part of me that says all of the the, the instrumentalist stuff. Because I'm a flute player, that's my main instrument. But I played alto saxophone, played the piano a little bit. But really, if if I could go back and and if I had a time machine, 
it would have strictly been um, as songwriting from like an early age and just worked on that and worked on that. And then uh, other learning instruments would have been ancillary. It'd been you know you gotta learn the keyboard, in my opinion, in order to to uh, write songs in the, the manner in which I write songs. Uh, so I would have spent more time learning how to play the keyboard, the piano. Life didn't work out that way. I told my wife too because I remember back in the day because my dad he he's a musician and he he did an album. It was a vocal album. He pro he uh, produced music too, and he played uh, trombone, trumpet. He played flute too. And I remember when he was writing these songs, one of them was really beautiful too. It was called, uh, I can't think of it right now because we actually sung on it as, as children. I can't, it, I, it doesn't come to mind right now. Um, I can hear the intro in my head. Um, there was a song on there called Precious Love. I remember that. But the song we sang, we sung on, it was really good. When I think about it right now, I, I mean, I can actually pull it up. Uh, if I have, because see, my, my whole um, setup is different. I don't even know if I have the, the folder or the uh, the hard drive up here, maybe downstairs. Um, but anyway, I remember when he was, he was writing these songs and he was in the studio working on this stuff. And uh, I was inspired to start writing my own songs. I can't even remember how old I was. And I, I started with lyrics. I remember the first song I wrote was called The Light, something like that. And there's a part of me, I really wish that, because um, I, I remember my, my dad, when he saw that I was writing songs, it was just like on a piece of paper. Uh, he said, uh, let me let me take that to the secretary at the, the uh, I've totally forgot about this stuff. Let me take this to the secretary at the uh, music studio uh, and, and let her let her type it out. So he actually went and and I always, I felt really good about that. He I was a kid. Uh, he and then he brought it back and it was typed out. And uh, I really wish that he had taken the time to nurture that in me from that age. But see, he got caught up with the drugs and all that stuff. And uh, after that, th things just went south. But if there was because I was telling my wife, she was like, if there was one thing that you could do, what would it be? And I thought it, it would be to, to write songs. And um, that would be what I would, would commit so much time to. Um, yeah. But that's life. You know, I got family, got children to take care of, and you got to do what you got to do and just be thankful. You know what I'm saying? Be thankful. All right. Um, I'm looking to see if I have that uh, that song because I would play it for you. all I remember it was such a beautiful song. We actually sang on it as kids. OK, let's get back to it. I apologize for going off. Okay, I got blowed off again. I'll be I'll be getting blowed off. Here we go. Douglas Marcus Garvey Academy. And these are going to be beautiful. These are going to be beautiful. You are investing in our future, brothers and sisters. Also, yeah, I got a whole. If you live in Delaware, one. if you live in Delaware, Doctor Umar wants to open up my very own. Here we my go. My very own Black Conscious Sports Bar, non-alcoholic. Let me say it again. I remember we first heard this. We fell out like this is wild. Watch this. Dr. Umar Johnson wants to open up his very own non-alcoholic black conscious sports bar. In other words, I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the lies, baby. Stop the lies. Yeah, I remember that one, too. I actually recorded that one. Here we go. Find a building in Delaware that I can buy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and not I a, I'm not a singer. I'm, I, I know how to write songs. And, and they're, they're catchy, too, because people, they be telling, even, even the, the intro song, they're very catchy. Um, I've always wanted to write songs for a singer. That's what I always wanted to do. Or for singers. Here we go. One orator of the 21st century. As you all know. Oh, I'm I sorry. Promise, mighty God, no disrespect. I'm going to say it again. It doesn't mean everything to you. I don't need it. But where you can come for lunch, get you that market. Here we go right come here. The academy. And these are going to be beautiful. These are going to be beautiful. You are investing in our future, brothers and sisters. Also, also, if you live in Delaware, if you live in Delaware, Dr. Umar wants to open up my very own, my very own, my very own, my very own black conscious sports bar, non-alcoholic. Let me say it again. Dr. Umar Johnson wants to open up his very own non-alcoholic black conscious sports bar. In other words, I need to find a 
Think about all the times he talked bad about black people watching sports and all this stuff. But he said in here he's going to have a, a black vegan sports bar. Hit the one. building in Delaware that I can buy and I want to get it renovated. And I basically want to have three levels. I want to have a restaurant level. I want to have a <laughs> bookstore level. And I want to have a video social you level where you can come for lunch, get you okay, that Marcus so Garvey much. salad, give Marcus you that fresh Gar Marcus Garvey salad, Fred Douglas wrap. Get <laughs> Fred Douglas wrap. What does that mean? What's in the wrap? You just can't say wrap. You got to have something in the wrap, right? Cheese wrap. I don't know. Fish wrap. Uh, halibut. I don't something. Uh, chicken. I don't eat meat, so that's why I can't think of nothing. Uh, uh, pork rinds wrap something Get that Henry Holland Garnett smoothie. <laughs> you know where Umar got all this from? The this menu from Drop Squad. Okay, Drop Squad was a restaurant, it's no longer exist in existence. Rest in peace. The restaurant was closed, but that's where he got this from. I've been wondering why he ain't been up there, but they closed down. We someone told me we, we looked at. We looked it up. I'm not laughing because they closed. I'm laughing because Umar, he really got this idea, but he expands it to three floors, okay? Get that uh, Sojourner Truth burger. <laughs> A Sojourner Truth burger. Really? <laughs> get that Marcus, get that Marcus Garvey solid. <laughs> Harriet Tubman Disco Fries. <laughs> I remember years ago, somebody said the transatlantic tater tots. I said, oh my God. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say bando bird burrito. <laughs> don't put the bird in the burrito. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I came with that whole dear. Oh no. <laughs> Boy, this show crazy. What's up, information, man? That's that's my dude right there. No, don't do that, bro. <laughs> Segregation salmon bites. Hey, this dude right here look like my cousin. <laughs> That's wild. Booker T, because I thought it was for a second. Booker T, Washington, Gumbo. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Window, window. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? <laughs> you got to make it vanilla, though. Come on now, bro. <laughs> Snow Bunny Vanilla Shake. <laughs> Oh man, you guys. <laughs> oh, Garvey Grenade Boom Burger. <laughs> All right. So I remember somebody. Oh no. That's not black power. Come on now, uh, Sims. That's not black power. That that don't work. Come on. Oh wow, I can't wait to look at all these comments. <laughs> I'm at work tomorrow. I'll be I'll be getting no work done. <laughs> Boy, y'all crazy. <laughs> oh, no. February 10th. I like how you tied this to the thing from earlier. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the no snow buddy ice cream. Yeah, that's just chocolate. That's all. That's all that is. <laughs> Ray Charles. <laughs> One of my sons love green beans for some reason. Winnie Mandela. <laughs> I remember Umar would talk about Winnie Mandela. How she'd be a great wife. I said, boy, if you don't stop. She about, first of all, she had to, I, I said, Umar, don't do that. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> boy, y'all, wow. <laughs> Okay, Timmy Chocolate Squirrel Nuggets. <laughs> All right, right on, big man. All right, let me get up out of here. <laughs> Harriet, hot Cheetos. <laughs> well, my daughter loves hot Cheetos. I, I, you don't need to be eating that. Can you get me a bag? And I said, All right. I always say, Yeah, <laughs> for my daughters, my boy, they're like, Nah, nah, you better get a job. <laughs> 
Man, you know how it is. Your son's in. Nah, you better get a job, bro. <laughs> Your daughter's gonna, yeah, sweetie. Okay, let me go get it for you right now. <laughs> I'm playing, kind of. All right. <laughs> All right, let me not read all these because I know rest in peace to Binky the Bando Bird. Moment of silence, okay? Yeah, I, I'm not, I want to save some of these for tomorrow <laughs> when I'm at work. Yeah, I remember this one. That, and that travel turtle. <laughs> I remember this one. Matter of fact, I could pull up a menu that someone put together. Y'all want me to do it? I know we was only supposed to be here for like two hours, but, but I could pull up the menu someone sent me. Yeah, you remember that? No, no, I actually have it. I, I can actually pull it up, y'all. Won't you? Go ahead and hit the hit the one Rosa Park raps. Okay. <laughs> five five Rocky. <laughs> I got got my dad's album up over here. I'm not gonna get into it today, but that song was called Universal Love. It was a beautiful song. Okay. I should probably do a a, a review of the of the the whole album at one point on on YouTube. All right, yeah, that, that was funny. Chicken George, <laughs> Roland Martin. No, it has to be like Rose, Roland Martin. Uh, I was gonna say sugar rolls, <laughs> butter rolls, or something like that. Yeah, okay. Let me let me get up out of here because otherwise we're gonna be. In, <laughs> what do you say? Let me get up out of here. It's just cause we're gonna get already carried away already. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let me, uh, Bree. I'm gonna pull it up right now. Okay, let me let this play. I'm gonna go find it. I have it inside of my PowerPoint. Uh, presentation. Actually, when I pull it for some reason, I pull up the PowerPoint, the uh, the uh, the stream messes up. But let me see if I could do it real quick. Hold on one second. Uh, I think it's yes, yeah, this one right here. All right. So if it starts glitching, I apologize. Let me let me just play the video and then I'll be right back. Or non-alcoholic. Let me say it again. Dr. Umar Johnson wants to open up his very own non-alcoholic black conscious sports bar in other words i need to find a building in delaware that i can buy and i want to get it renovated and i basically want to have three levels i want to have a restaurant level uh -huh. i want to have a bookstore level and mm -hmm. i want to have a video social level where you can come for lunch get you that marcus garvey solid mm. give you that frederick douglas wrap <laughs> get okay. that henry holland garnett smoothie uh -huh. get that uh sojourner truth burger vegan burger and go up to the top level and you can kick back and watch some dr clark you can kick back and watch some claude anderson you can click back and watch some dr umar johnson you can kick back and watch some el Haj malik el shabazz or you can go down to the bookstore and get you a nice magazine and read that i want i want the dr papa black consciousness non-alcoholic sports bar I want to build that not too far from the school, brothers and sisters, so who with me right now. So I ridiculous. want to know who is really with me, who been with me since day one, who never spoke out against Dr. Umar. That's who I want. I want the ones who went hard. I want the ones who be around 100 haters and said, y'all can say what y'all want. That's my brother. And I will rock with him until the end of time. That's who I want. Okay. I got the file. I'm pulling it up right now. Hold on, everybody. You said, am I accepting wife resumes? Here we go. Is Dr. Umar accepting wife resumes? Is Dr. Umar accepting wife resumes? This is how I want to answer that. This guy all over the place. One position is oh, nearly oh, filled. Nearly filled. Mm -hmm, I remember that. One position remains. One position is nearly filled. One position remains because there will be deuce. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. He said deuce. That's all I'm going to say. He said it but will you be better deuce. be bringing more to the table. Okay? You better be bringing more to the table than a pretty face. And some hot cookies. And some hot cookies. I knew it. Okay? This guy, he a trip. Okay. Let me, let me pull up this receipt right here. Um, here it is right here. Uh, this is the video that we're covering. February 9th was when it were, uh, premiered, okay, 2019. But he actually uh, purchased the property on two, uh, February 6th of 2019. So five years later. Um, this is now, remember, we were watching the video. We were just we're, the video that we're watching. You see the background here, okay? It's the same place where he flipped the phone, okay? So in 2019, this is the same spot where he flipped the phone, 
Uh, he was staying with his mama, and uh, he was living in filth. Had his mama living in filth. Remember this? It's a doggone shame. I mean, this in and of itself is enough. Uh, I was I brought up this earlier on in the beginning of this live stream dealing with the UNIA. That if Umar is living like this and had his mama living like this, um, that should be more than enough for people to say, hey, wait a minute, I shouldn't have them speaking at my event. Hey, this isn't normal. Y'all see this? This isn't normal. Uh, here is the um, the Black Conscious Vegan Sports Bar menu. I can't remember who put this together. All right. Uh, it says, I like an order of Wakanda fries with, with hater sauce on the side. And, you know, I can't even see this that well. Well, actually, you know what I could do? Yeah, I can't. Even, I've got my glasses on, but I can't see this. Let, let, me, let me see if I can get closer. Hold on, everybody. So it says, Dr. Papa, Papa's Consciousness Cafe and Sports Bar. <laughs> Dr. Papa's Conscious. Conscious, okay. It says, uh, Strong Alpha Starters. Okay, this is for you alpha males. Esther Spring Rolls, <laughs> Deep fried in crisco uh i can't i can't let me let me pull this up i'm sorry i, I can't I, my vision ain't what it used to be but tell you what, i'll be trying to act like it is but it's not you get to my age you be thankful you can see hopefully it doesn't start glitching too it may but i'll, I'll let's see what we can do okay i can see it better over here hold on one second i'm gonna read it from over here okay so we got the extra spring roll sir deep fried in crisco we have spring rolls that are stuffed with our secret Louisiana style chicken and served with our taste of the South dip enough for you and your friends to have a good time Four spring rolls per serving $19. Uh, you're all going home with an Oprah's okra, a local favorite. Our okras are grown in the finest jungles of Wisconsin hand picked for personal uh, uh, touch and deep fried in Nigerian palm oil. One okra per serving. $11. Queen Mother Moore meat pies. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, stop. Queen, Queen Mother Moore meat pies prepared by hot cookie queens who will who, make you want so much more. These meat pies are served hottish and thoughtish. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't seen this in so long. <laughs> This is old stuff right here. It, it does. It says it's served hottish and thawish. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having some of those, to be honest with you. <laughs> the meat pies, family. Best consumed with hot cookie, <laughs> with hot cookie heat. <laughs> $22. All right. This is for $22. Okay. And there's heat levels. $2 for fire for a trifle. You trifle. <laughs> Hot cookie uh, for you queens and thoughts. <laughs> Pop a pyro for the conscious strippers. <laughs> this person put a whole menu together. <laughs> Look at the men in here. That yeah, family. That's that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. They said the cookie heat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's wild okay now let's go to the alpha male menu <laughs> okay this is for you alpha male we have the frederick douglas freedom fighters fajita inspired by umar's ancestry <laughs> this meal comprises of the finest uh, congolese flour tortillas berry white serenaded beef cuts Flavored in our donated maroon made marinade. <laughs> okay. Served with fries, rice, and kidney beans. Uh, pounded yam only on Tuesday. <laughs> only on Tuesdays. It's, it's, it's $70. Okay. All right. Get on your cash out. We also have the Martin and Malcolm Memphis macaroni. <laughs> uh, I don't remember this. Topped with with Chris Rock mature cheddar cheese, this dish is big enough to make you have a dream and fight the power. <laughs> There's a vegan option of Lenny Kravitz lactose free soy cheese, <laughs> soy cheese for forty dollars. Okay, 
We also have, uh, for your delight, sir and ma'am, <laughs> a lady, we have this for you as well, Vixa, and uh, as well uh, for Dee Dee, okay? <laughs> we have... Big sis Candace, we have this as well. We have Rosa Parks, uh, Rosa Parks Park Your Butt Pulled Pork, okay? You have the right to remain seated with this tasty <laughs> pulled pork dish inspired by the ancestor Rosa Parks. Boycott the white man and live high off the hog. 66 bucks, okay? We also have for you, Elizabeth, in Law of the Hybrid as well, and as well as Mile High and Whole Southern Cooks, we also have Dr. Papa's Poppin' Pepper Pickled Pig Feet, an ancestral staple in the southern state of the Car and in Caribbean. Our pig's feet bring all the conscious folks to the yard. <laughs> Comes in various heat levels. For $2, fire, hot cookies, or Papa Pyro, and there's one bowl per serving for $87. And of course, for some of y'all like Bree, of course, in Digital Age Sage, as well as Dr. Bando, we have King Kong Consciousness collard greens. Like the Prince of Pan-Africanism, this dish is nothing but healthy. Picking a uh, pick using our, your time and your labor. <laughs> okay, so you got to pick it yourself. <laughs> okay, it's picked using your time and your labor. This is sure to have that authentic Southern scare, uh, sharecropping taste. <laughs> oh, that's too, that's too far. Don't do that. Serve Papa Pyro, 60 bucks. And now we come to our cookie to crush menu for your, uh, those of y'all after you've had your meal and uh, such as Ed, of course, as well as Asir, uh, Black Mario and such, okay? We have the cookie to crush. Uh, we have Napoleon Complex Cream for $10, Thought Chocolate for $13. We also have Peanut Chew Queens for $20, Oshun Oatmeal for just $11, High Yellow Neapolitan, what? High Yellow, High Yellow Neapolitan served with ice cream. What does that mean? What does that mean? Served with ice cream. $25. Run Them Raisins and Oatmeal for $18. Begging Brown for $10. Transatlantic Toffee for $12. Pre, uh, pre dug butter cream. <laughs> what in the world is that? What is pre dug butter cookie? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know who did this. They sent it to me. I, I, and I haven't read this in, in literally, it's, it's probably been about four years. Uh, pre, pre dug butter cookie, Twizzler Red Bone, Hotep Hazelnuts, Mar Marcus Garvey Macadamia. Cyber Bomb Blackberry, <laughs> oh my God, Middle Passage Mint, Ramsey's Reese's Cups, Cinnabon Wafers, and Tripolar Biscotti. Okay, that's for 20 bucks, all right? Okay, and of, of course, all cookie orders prices are attached to a compulsory 18% donation charge to FMG Wilmington and Detroit. And of course, we deliver via the Uber Eats app, we accept cash, card, PayPal, cash app, money orders, cash in the mail, and check. Your total bill includes a non-discretionary service charge of 54%. Okay? All right. All right. There's more, too, but we're going we're gonna to have to leave it at that because it just goes on and on and on. We've got this one. right. I think this is the same one, but it's, it's it, this one right here. Uh, delinquent taxes, toffee, apples, cocaine, dusted donuts. <laughs> okay. And it just goes on and on and on. There's more. Uh, black, uh, yeah, I think this is what we came up with uh, during the the live stream. Okay, but let's get back to it. We got blowed off, and we need to wrap this up, okay? Because I got, I need to be in the bed nine minutes ago. All right, all right, here we go. I'm very serious about my life. I'm very serious about my work. I'm very serious about my mission. Ain't no home raise. Ain't no, a, you can't do homemade. That, that's impossible. That, that, that's that's a special order. You can't do that. Okay. I'm surprised that it well see that but when we did this, I don't think when, when the person put this menu together, I don't think we talked about zebra cakes at that time. That was a little bit later. So that's why I don't think it's on the menu. Yeah, th uh, thanks. I uh, wonder for a super chat. Okay, let's go. I, we need to get to get through this here no more. Here we go. I am now a role model for black boys. Wow. I really? Have no time for conscious thoughts. I have no time for conscious hood rats. I have no time for anyone who wants to get close only to try to destroy because some sisters are just as bad as some brothers. Man, this guy. Same thing with my brothers. Same thing with my Don't get close to me because you want to use my shine for your own agenda. I don't want no opportunists around me. That's why I ain't got no friends now. Wow. Okay? Here it is. 
You come to me for one reason and one reason only. And that's because you want to help us build. If you ain't here for the people, then I don't need you. Don't be around me because I'm the most requested scholar in the world. Don't be around me because I'm the most popular Pan-Africanist alive. Don't be around me because I'm the number one black school psychologist ever. Don't be around me because I'm the greatest orator to ever. Boy, it's so sounds so sassy. Here's uh that the best of, of Umar Johnson, it was all a scheme. Okay, this is this is uh, some of the tracks. Run them donations, run them donations, baby. Run them donations, baby. Run them donations, baby. Get on your cash app, don't be lazy. Get on the PayPal, send that month. I can't remember what else. Run them donations, baby. All right. That's the, what you call it. And here is the FMG mixtape featuring hit singles, Run Them Donations, and Someone Pooped, Duped on My Steps. And uh, this is uh, Dr. Pa. Anyway, I don't even remember this one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let this play. Here we go. 21st century, don't come around me for none of that. Don't come around me because my videos get more views than most people put together. Don't come around me for that. Come around me because you want to help us build. Uh, random donations, Big Papa, Cookie Monster, uh, track number four, Was It You? Five, uh, track five was never, uh, never took in a life <laughs> featuring cavity. <laughs> oh my God. Now I know what they talk about. I'm in love with the conscious stripper, King Kong consciousness, SETI disc, uh, melanate. Uh, I'm melanated. Oh, I ain't going to read that. Almost, uh, most requested sniffles in the dark. <laughs> what? Sniffles in the dark or park. And then uh, the last track on this album is, is Delaware phony records. 2019 phony records entertainment distributed by conscious commercial distribution this guy this person whoever did this boy uh here is another album by umar uh universal records presents cookie messiah let's play a game <laughs> i don't even know what this means let the messiah take you to heaven uh fmg pillows and trillers twizzlers and, and cookies he got on the wig okay okay bring the resumes bring a couple the more resume. points Okay, we get we gotta get almost done here. Today is February the 9th. March the 9th, the date that we lost the notorious BIG. March the 9th is 30 days. March the 9th is 30 days. Okay. I want you to donate as much as you can over the next 30 days. Mm, mm, mm. I want you to donate as much as you can over the next 30 days. Send in a check or money order every day. Bring every a check day. or money order to the Bronx. Bring a check or money order to Connecticut because I want to see if it's possible that we can raise this million dollars in the next five months restore this building and open it up for the whole African world on the quadricentennial celebration of our ancestors 400 year struggle on August the 21st of 2019. I am hoping <laughs> yeah, we can do that. And I'm hoping I get some black tradesmiths and I'm hoping I get some plumbers and carpenters. You must be licensed. Every repair done in the school, you got to go to city hall. You got to present your license. They got to pull some Okay, real quick, uh, the, the poll that we had up, uh, there's been 407 votes. Did Umar know the bag lady? 87% say yes, 13% say no. Okay. Certificates. You cannot just walk in and do work. You have to be licensed. You have to be licensed. I'm hoping that I get some donations in the form of service, and I'm hoping y'all give me more donations in the form of checks and money orders. Oh my I want to open up the school fully furnished, fully built, August 21st, 2019. Will y'all help me do this? What? August of 2019? We're in 2024. There's still no school open. Will y'all help me do this? F fully open, fully. He actually contradicts himself because he said he can't get it done in that amount of time. But now he's saying in 2019, that's what he said? Anyway.
Will y'all help me do this? A few more things. Security cameras. As I said, I'm still using the security of the previous owner. I have to switch it over in 30 days. If there's any brothers out there who are expert in installing security. Okay, that's a lie. Listen, the, the buildings were vandalized extensively. If if they had security cameras up there, the, the buildings wouldn't have been vandalized extensively. We've already saw the footage. It's ridiculous. The cameras inside and outside the school. I need to be able to look on my phone and look at my school. I need to be able to look on my phone and look at my school. I need to be able to look on my phone and look at my school. If you can do security cameras, I need you. And I'm hoping you could give me a discount or maybe even put them in for free and I just pay you for the hardware, okay? We ain't got a lot of money, y'all. All we, most of what we had, we spent on a school. Most of what we had, we spent on- Okay, that's a blatant lie because he had collected over a million dollars at that point. The school cost $400,000. What, what, what is that? You see what I'm saying? We already did the math too a couple of uh, weeks ago. He, he was over a million dollars when he purchased these trap bandos. In fact, in August of 20, let's see, 2019, 2000, 2000, I want to say 2018. It could have been, two, no, it was two, 2017. I, believe. I can pull up the video, okay? But we played the video where he says uh, uh, we need another million, okay? But again, we can just look specifically at how much he had raised on GoFundMe and how much he had raised, admittedly, he had raised on PayPal. And then we can look at the video where he says he raises more offline than he does online. Okay, well, he raised over $500,000 offline, excuse me, online. So if he raises more offline, then it would have to be more than $500,000. Okay, so let's say $501. Okay, well, now you're, at, you're over a million right there. So he was sitting on over a million in 2019 when he purchased these properties on uh, September 6th of 2019 for $400,000. Where'd the rest of the money go? Remember in the video in Detroit, the Detroit school scam, after he had purchased the, the trap battles in Wilmington, Delaware, he said that he wanted to make an offer of $500,000 for uh, the... Uh, those buildings in Detroit. I think he said five hundred thousand dollars. It was five hundred thousand dollars, something like that. And we were like, "Well, why don't you just take that money and and use it to renovate these buildings in Wilmington?" What are you talking about? He he had well over a million dollars when he purchased trap mandos. Okay, so when he says we spent most of the money, that's a blatant lie too, because he you should have had a, a, in and around six hundred thousand. Let's just say five hundred fifty thousand. Okay, if the purchase price was four four hundred thousand dollars, then you should have more money left over than you actually spent. Right? Anyway. This guy, he's such a liar. The school, and we own it outright. No mortgage, thanks to my donors. Thank you, donors. Thank you. We own it. No mortgage. The toughest part is over. We own the school. The toughest part is over. All we got to do is restore and open up. Brothers and sisters, we did it. We did it, and we did it in the year of our ancestors. I tell you, our ancestors in heaven, they rejoicing right now. Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass, Nat Turner, Harriet Tubman, Patrice Lumumba, Kwame Nkrumah, Steve Biko, Robert Sabukwe, Mama Winnie. They are up in heaven. His Majesty Emperor Who Haile Selassie is saying, get him, Leo. Get him, Menelik II. Get him, Leo. Get him, Edward Wilmot Blyden. Get him, fellow Leo. Go get him. You cannot cash app school donations. You cannot cash app school donations. Okay. Also, I have to relocate. Mm -hmm. I have to relocate. <laughs> I'm looking for housing in Wilmington and Chester, PA. For my brothers never, and sisters it, who live in the oh. Chester, Brookhaven, Upland area. For my brothers and sisters who live in the Chester, Brooklyn, Brookhaven, Upland, Philadelphia Airport, Essington. <laughs> Dr. Umar is looking for a house or apartment. Okay, I need to get close to the school. If you live in Wilmington, help me. I need to get close to the school. I'm hoping we can find something within a walking distance. I want to be right by the school. So if you live in Wilmington and you know of a house for rent, apartment for rent, okay, that's near the school, please text me. Doc, here's a spot for you. My uncle owned this. He said, because it's you, he only going to charge you X, Y, Z. If you this live in guy, Chester, Brookhaven, hook up for every area, okay, let me know because Dr. Umar is moving from Philadelphia. I'm moving out of Philadelphia. He never did. I'm moving out of Philadelphia and I will either end up in Wilmington or the southern Pennsylvania area.
That would be in Wilmington or the Southern Pennsylvania uh, area. So help me find that. Help me find that. Okay. Uniforms. People who know how to make uniforms. We got the shirt, the tie, but I need, let me tell y'all what I need. I need somebody who can make the sweater vest, sleeveless sweater vest. The ones that I wear, V-neck, sleeveless, red, black, green. I need a sister or a brother or a company, black owned, who can make red, black, green sweater vests. I already got my brother Whitfield in dollars. He gonna put the embroider. Now we got a new poll up. Uh, what dish would you order at the sports bar? Your choices are uh, Big Papa Butter Biscuits, uh, Smash Them Cookies, Cookies Crumble, uh, Black People Trifling Truffle, and J. Coleslaw. Go ahead and get your votes in now. Well, if Come on down. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Make sure y'all hit the like button too as we get close to winding down here. I didn't mean for this to be this long, but it is what it is. I love y'all. Okay, let's go. FDMG. I already got my man, Brother Whitfield. He does these. We about to mass order these from him. But now I need the pullover sweater vest. V-neck, sleeveless, red, black, green. I also need a company that can do red, black, green book bags. Red, black, black green, green book okay. bags. If you know of any black companies that can do that, <laughs> tell them to wait. get at me. It's going down. We not playing, y'all. We need uniforms for the African well, guards. He, ha he has at least four. Okay, he may have six. I mean, but uh, again, I, I don't. Well, I tell you, I wonder what his student loan debt must be. He's probably over two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars by now. Harvey, we need Team Pan African uniform. We need a uniform for the queens of Team Pan African. We need uniforms for the queens of Team Pan African. <laughs> That's true. The ladies' department. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my Black goodness. Women will have their own department. The queendom of okay. Team Pan African. Okay, the oh, queendom of oh, Team Pan. Where are my queens at? Where the queens at who want to be down with the ladies' department of Team Pan African? <laughs> yeah, but Where Sigma, the queens you gotta at? choose one. Okay, everyone, don't listen. Everyone choose something. Okay, it, it, it's we got seventy six votes. We got six hundred so people in here. But everyone should choose something. Okay, come, come on, everyone should come up on something. It, it, it's a Thursday night. You guys deserve it. Okay, and I need some nappy head natural queens. Here Serious too. Queens who don't show no favoritism, queens who can be upfront with everybody, queens who can love all the sisters equally, queens who ain't got no light skin supremacy <laughs> issues, Here ain't got go. no dark skin supremacy issues. Okay, I need real black women to run the ladies' department because you know how petty black women can be. I need real black women to help me out with the ladies' department. See how he's disrespecting you, black women. Every time, department, because you know how petty black women can be. I need some serious black women on on the team. Yeah, go ahead and uh, type in what you picked, everybody. Okay, I need some serious black women. I need some serious black brothers on the team. That's and not by on the way, list, Julian. We will have an FDMG dirt bike team. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna load up the dirt bikes. Something going on in Brooklyn. Guess what? <laughs> we coming fifty bikes strong with the Team Pan African logo. You feel me? We driving through Camden, New Jersey, 50 bikes strong with the helmets, bikes. with the Team Pan-African on this side, FDMG on this side. It's going down, brothers and sisters. Five years later, none of it's, it's happening. It's going down, brothers and sisters. Let's you keep got the J. Going. Cole Slaw? Okay. Okay. What grades <laughs> a lot of butter will we have We got FDMG? a lot of butter biscuits ordered. I can't keep up with these butter biscuits orders. <laughs> It's the big pop of butter biscuits. To send. We, we're going to have to put these off sale because it, it's too much. But the big pop of butter biscuits is coming in at 32%. The smash them cookies, cookie crumple came in at 38%. But listen, I, I expected that. <laughs> and, 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 and I expected that because there's too many men in here for to get the butter biscuits. <laughs> The, the, the black people tried to truffle 20% and only 10% for the J. Coleslaw because that's a side order. That's why. All right. Here we go. Let's keep going. What J. grades Coleslaw. will we have at FDMG? <laughs> what one. grades will Watch we this. have? What at grades FDMG? are they going to have? Watch this. <laughs> Buttery biscuits. <laughs> Bring your resumes to the Bronx and Connecticut. Through the grace of God. Cookies, and yeah. through the donations of you all. Through the grace of God and through the donations of you all. Yeah, he we said have dirt two bikes. school buildings. Four total, two school. <laughs> right? We have enough space 
for a kindergarten through 12th grade academy. This don't even make no sense right here. We have right enough here. space for a kindergarten How's it going, Coach? I've been meaning to email you back. Uh, uh, she did a video uh, on Umar. Her and Umar impersonations are spot on. I mean, they are spot on. I had me cracking up the whole time. It was it was it was hilarious. I've been meaning to email you, but I, I just I'm backed up on everything. Here we go. Academy, but we're not going to start that big. Uh uh, uh uh. I'm an experienced principal. I am a certified principal. I've been in this game for a minute. We're going to start with third, fourth, and fifth. We're going to start third with third, fourth, fourth, and, and fifth. fifth. Two classes a piece or one class a piece. And then every year, we're going to expand down a grade and up a grade. This is so ridiculous. He, he got this from the Moyer Academy, though, anyway. But what grade? Did, what did he say? Fourth, fifth, and sixth, right? Is that what he said? Or third, fourth, and fifth? Because if we do the math, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. If he, let's say if he, if he said uh, fifth grade. Was it, let me go back. Let me just, I want to, because I just want to show you all how ridiculous this is. Grade it's so ridiculous. We have enough space for a kindergarten through 12th grade academy, but we're not going to start that big. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Watch how ridiculous this is. Three, three, fourth, uh, I am a okay. certified principal. Third, fourth, and fifth. So let's say if this school opened, like Umar said uh, on his Instagram post that, uh, and we covered it uh, yesterday, that it's going to open this year. We know it's not going to open this year. I mean, it never opens. Every single year he says he changes the date. This has been going on since 2010 when he posted on his, his Facebook page that the school was going to open in 2013. Then he said it's 2016. Then he said 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now he's saying 24. It's not going to happen. Okay, I can see him doing something real shady like have one room fixed up and have a desk in there and then have a, some children in there or something. And then he'd be like, yeah, we opened the school. Come on now, stop. It'd never be a credit. He said he's not even going to look for accreditation. But but check this out. It, uh, Vix, it, if, if let's say this year he starts, okay, the fifth grade. So you got sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. It's going to take seven years for the first graduating class. So if we start, if if they start in 2024, that means that their first school year is going to end in 2025. So we got 2025, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, that'd be uh, 2030, 2031. The first graduating class will be in, in and around 2031. Mind you, when they get their fake diplomas, their fake diplomas won't mean anything. Why? Because Uma already admitted that he's not going to have the school accredited. So it'd be a piece of paper, just like the spiritual stock certificate that he, he, he claims that he's going to give out. Well, that's that's no different. It has the same value as these fake phony degrees that he'll be handing out in 2031. See how ridiculous this is? So ridiculous. OK. Oh, you're welcome, Coach Club. And, and the thing is, I, in the past, I used to promote people uh, uh, back in the day. I used to promote a lot of people. What ended up happening is so many of the people that I promoted, they end up turning on me. So I, I did. I developed a policy where I just don't promote people anymore. Uh, but your video, it, it was hilarious. I laughed. I mean, I, and trust me, I'm, I'm I, I, uh, I, I like the humor, you know, and it was funny. Your, your uh, impersonation to Umar. Was was spot on sniffing, blinking, and repeating stuff exactly. <laughs> Umar be that's one thing we can expect. Umar he be repeating stuff. He starts sniffing and blinking. That's two things, three things you can expect. But again, uh, th th third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, well we can expect the, the first graduating class in and around twenty thirty one. Just ridiculous. Okay, Umar going to be about a senior citizen by that time. Okay, I'm gonna be up be about a senior citizen too. Okay, be up here. No teeth, uh, uh, sitting in a rocking chair. Watch. I've been in this game for a minute. We're going to start with third, fourth, and fifth. This is so ridiculous. Uh, by the way, the votes uh, right now, it looks like Big Papa Butter Biscuits, they're coming up. They're coming up. They're at 31%. Smash them, cookie, uh, them cookies, cookie crumples at 34%. So it's possible that the Big Papa Butter Biscuits will, will catch the smash them cookies, cookie crumple. 
the uh, black people triumphing truffle is coming in at 24%, and the J. Coleslaw side order is at 10%. Place your vote today. Here we go. We're going to start with third, fourth, and fifth. Two classes apiece. Two classes apiece. Ridiculous. Yeah, I know it is. It's mind blowing how Umar can convince people to believe him. Some, I just want to be clear about this, uh, everyone said that some people believed in Umar, but they don't these days, specifically dealing with the school scam. There's a lot of people in the chat room right now, the Click Christ chat, that they, they used to be supporters of Umar. They don't support him anymore, specifically on the school scam. Some of them don't support him with other stuff too. But I, I like to focus specifically on the school scam because that's where the most, the vast majority of my research has been centered around. But there are people that used to believe, but they don't. There are people who don't believe, but they they accept his other other rhetoric when he's talking about white supremacy and, and all this other stuff, you know, black women with the weave and, and the snow bunny crisis, all this kind of stuff. So there are people who they that's what they gravitate towards, but they know that there's not going to be a school. So they're not even involved with that, but they still support him on this other stuff. Then you have people who they don't support him on the school and they don't support him on all of the rhetoric either. And then you have the people who defend Umar simply because uh, of, of uh, the types of things that he says. And they know doggone well that a lot of what he says is just foolishness. It doesn't make any sense. This is outside of the school, not even considering the school. For instance, when Umar says in his rhetoric, when he says things like uh, some of them going to sleep for good, talking about how we're going to more indiscriminately murder these black boys on the corner, as he called it, that he cannot, quote unquote, psychologize. You see, there are people who hear that, but they'll dismiss it. How can you dismiss something like that? Where he's talked about little girls who've been essayed and he calls them thoughts and, and they, that they turn into the, uh, these thoughts and all this kind of stuff. They'll dismiss that and they accept all the other rhetoric. So it's just compartmentalization in this case. In some cases, it's and there's people that believe that schools are open. I don't get that. It's crazy. But but I'm talking about a school that is accredited and is functional and it's legit. Umar doesn't even have a board of directors five years in. He doesn't have a, a, a plan. He, he hasn't completed renovations. He doesn't have a team. He doesn't have a lawyer. He doesn't have an accountant. Okay. He doesn't have anything. It's just him. He's a one man show. So there is compartmentalized. There's people who they specifically believe in the school scam. They don't necessarily agree with his rhetoric, but the school scam sounds nice to them as an idea, as a concept. It's not even a concept. It's an idea. But then there are people who they recognize the school scam is a bunch of bull jive. So, but they like his rhetoric. So they compartmentalize just the rhetoric. But then there's people who take bits and pieces of his rhetoric and they compartmentalize this. As an example, real quick, I don't mean to go off on this, but when Umar talks about black women in disparaging ways. There's people who dismiss that and then they'll accept other rhetoric when he talks about how black men are being oppressed and how the they, black women ain't letting us be men and how they earn more than us. They'll accept that rhetoric because it fits better for their paradigm, what their life experience is where victimization and black women are oppressing them, etc. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? OK, but then there are also women who they'll set aside all of Umar's negative rhetoric about women and they'll focus on when he's talking and running that game. So he's talking all this positive stuff about black women and we need to marry him. Where's your wife at, Umar? You got at least two baby mamas. It's more. But I know that for fact, on paperwork, you got two. You don't take care of your kids. You, you, you create baby mamas, but you tell black people that we need to be married. Where's your wife at? So there are people who they'll dismiss all this other nonsense and they say, yeah, but you know what? He's talking about how these black men need to commit to black women. I'm a black woman. So it's the compartmentalization. So the, the idea of uh, getting back to Seth, what you're saying is it is mind blowing how people can they can convince or Umar can convince people to believe in him. But really, it's a compartmentalized belief. There's some people that accept everything that, that he says. But that's when you get into the cult personality and the cult aspect. We talked about this a little bit earlier. But I would propose that most of the people who follow and support Umar, they follow and support Umar in a comp compartmentalized way. They'll dismiss all of the negative stuff and they'll accept the stuff that makes them feel good or that fits their paradigm. Okay, The way I look at it is that Umar is criminal minded. So I don't care about what he's saying. He's a con man. So I don't care about his ideas. You see what I'm saying? I it, it makes me no difference. I could care. I, it, 
if the guy has no ethics and no morals and he's out here running through these black women, I don't care what he has to say because that's just talk. I want to see how he's walking and I know how he's walking. See? I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Umar, and, and I'm not saying this to be mean or to disparage Umar. Okay, because the truth of the matter is I care about Umar more than you Umar Johnson followers do because if you cared about this man, you wouldn't be supporting him as he self-destructs in this in these ways. But I said it uh, before with Umar that he is the worst example that I have seen online of a, of a man, a black man, when it comes to being a man, being a husband, which he's not. Okay, He's a rolling stone. He just run into you black women and being a father. And then you throw on all of the racist rhetoric that we excuse, black people excuse, that if white people said the same thing, they're racist. But Umar says it and somehow he gets a pass. The truth of the matter is that Umar is the worst example that I've seen when it comes to black manhood, masculinity, fatherhood and husbandhood. And these are facts. In other words, I can pull up evidence to prove each and one of the each and every one of these claims when it comes to manhood, when it comes to fatherhood, when it comes to to. Uh, um, husbandhood and masculinity when i say mask and i'm gonna lean in, in with this then we're gonna finish up the video when i when i say masculinity please people don't get it twisted because i'm not talking about some sort of uh alpha male beta male because the men who talk that alpha male beta male they claim that they're alpha males you're only doing that to try to compensate for the inadequacies that you feel about yourself in the first place real men who are handling business ain't got time to be talking like that we just handle business you understand what I'm saying? If you ain't got a woman that can't keep a woman, you shouldn't be speaking like that, period. Okay. Now, if you don't like women, fine, go on, do the, the, whatever else you want to do. Just don't be talking. You still should be talking. Well, I guess you can still, if that's what, I don't know, because I have no idea if that's what people be talking about, if that's what you're into. But you guys get my point? It's compartmentalization when it comes to, to Umar convincing people. Very few people believe in everything that he says. And then other people, they pick and choose based upon their paradigm and what fits their reality and what makes them feel better about themselves. And they'll excuse all the other heinous, crazy stuff that Umar says that they know is wrong because they want to accept what they believe is right. I don't I don't look at life that way. I really don't. A person who's criminal minded and is doing what Umar has done for 14 years. And then the whole issue of of uh, taking advantage of black women like he has done and running through them. I, I, I dismiss uh, men like males like that outright because that does more damage than any level of white supremacy that people can claim. It does more damage than the prison of uh, 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 school to prison pipeline. It does more damage than the quote unquote uh, uh, special ed, all this kind of stuff that Umar be talking about. A black man who runs through these black women like this does more damage. And then all the children that are left in the wake that ain't got fathers in the home and they're, they're, many of which have to grow up in poverty because you got uh, deadbeat dads like Umar running these streets like he's doing does far more damage in the black community than anything else that anyone else can present. Well, what about a uh, 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 gang violence? Well, gang violence is an outgrowth of black males not feeling protected. Whose responsibility is who to protect these young boys, black boys? It's black men. So where are the men at? Hello? We're the fathers of these boys. Hello? And then we start making excuses. Well, it's white supremacy. Well, they got locked up. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. The, in the absence of having the father in the home and, and this reality that, that so many uh, black uh, women have to deal with, with, have, with fa the father of their children ain't around, they out here running these streets, some of them locked up, some of them, all kinds of things. I get it. But that does more, living that type of way to get you, put, put you in that position in the first place as a black man, that's the issue. That's the problem. It does far more damage than anything else that Umar talking about. But Umar don't talk about that. Why? Because he's a deadbeat. He's the problem. So in my mind, I don't care. I don't want to hear all that. See, it's better to be present and struggle to try to do right than to be absent because you make a decision to be absent. At least be there and try. Do better. That's what I've done. And I make no excuse for why I failed in life. It's not white supremacy. It's not none of that. Black women, no. No. They're not letting me be a man. You know, they, they have more earning potential than me. You know, they're, no, no, they're trying to control me. They won't submit. I don't want to hear all that. 
I failed in life because of me. It's that simple. And I succeed in life because the choices that I make today with support from people like you, with support from my wife, being patient. But you got to be there in the first place. You can't win the championship unless you play the game. You may lose all along the way, but you can't win a championship unless you play the game. And guess what? Umar ain't even playing the game. I don't want to hear nothing he got to say. He's a deadbeat. Clown. Want to blame everybody else. And that's Umar. But see, again, I'm, I'll pause. We, we almost done. Said to get back to, to what you said. It's mind blowing how Umar can convince people to believe him. It's mainly compartmentalized belief. Excusing all of the crazy, heinous, disjointed, ridiculous, negative, incendiary comments and ideas and concepts that Umar espouses and, and going for and focusing on those things that fit their paradigm, which in most cases is perpetual victimhood. Okay. Uh, thanks, Seth, for Super Chat. We're going to finish up right now. I apologize for going off. Uh, Sigmund said, Lennon, I have decided I'm going for that vibranium level. <laughs> Please don't to donate to surpassing the titanium level. I'm dipping into my four. Don't do that. Dip, dipping into my 401k, taking out a second mortgage. Don't do that. And a personal loan to donate $25,000. And guess what? For the Loyal Donors Club, that would be $25,000 a month. <laughs> Umar is such a hustler and a scammer. This guy has a loyal donors club where you pay per month. You got to make a donation no matter what per month. And he has different levels. Five hundred dollars, five hundred, a thousand, ten thousand. I think that's the, the platinum, the titanium, uh, titanium. I don't know what it was. Something like that. And then and what do you get for this? This is what, man, this guy. It's incredible the kind of stuff he comes up with. What do you get for this? Well. But what I remember, he had a paint day. And because you're a loyal donor, Sigmund, you get to go up there and paint for him for free. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, ooh, ooh, ours is a trip, bro. That's criminal minded, this. There's no way of getting around that. He, he is so criminal minded, and he don't care, <laughs> okay? But don't do that, please, okay? Thank you for the super chat, okay? Uh, Coach Club says, coffee on me for making me laugh so much, and thank you for the shout-out much. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, I don't drink coffee. My wife, she drink coffee, though. I told her not to, but she don't listen. <laughs> she have her cup of brew, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I met her, she said she used to drink coffee a lot. I said, no, I don't think you should do that. But these days, she don't, she don't listen to me at all. You know, women get older, they're like, I don't care what you got to say. <laughs> you better mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Did they stop making you plates? <laughs> That's the worst. They make themselves a plate and you be looking. <laughs> well, my wife be doing that to me too. And I'll just be looking. Back then, back in the day, she'll make me a plate. These days, she was like, nah, you better get on in there. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Coach Club, <laughs> for the super chat. Thanks, Sidman, for the super chat as we begin to wind this show down. Seth, thank you so much again uh, for the super chat. I apologize for going off too. D'Angelo, what's up, man? Says, most people that follow Umar are a little mentally challenged. Let's just be honest, Lennon. Just look at, well, listen, I don't want to disparage, and I've tried not to disparage Umar Johnson followers over the years. I, I've really, now, I've slipped up a, a couple, I, I'm not even going to say a few times. I've slipped up more times than I should have. But I try to have a level of compassion because no one wants to be duped. No one wants to be scammed. You see what I'm saying? No one wants to be conned. It's the worst feeling. You know, it's a trusting con comes. The idea of, of a con artist comes from the from the, the root word confidence, a confidence man. So a con man is a confidence man. And what they do is they take in your confidence to where you believe in them. Well, that's what Umar's done. See, no one wants to be conned. You see, and whether or not people are mentally challenged to me, that's not even the issue. I, I, I don't I don't look at it as, OK, well. He's targeting people who are, are mentally challenged because the truth of the matter is that there are some intelligent people who followed Umar. There are professionals. D'Angelo, back in the day, and you don't see it these days, but if you go back in the day with Umar, when he was doing selling out lectures and venues and he was speaking at college and stuff, there were literally professors that were coming out, people who had master's degrees, PhDs, dressed in suit and ties to come listen to this guy speak. You guys know that? Now, this is before Umar started going off the rails and, and looking like he just rolled out of bed with Hobo Earl with a box over around in the corner. Okay, Before all of that and him 
repeating things over and over again and, and blinking and sniffing Be before all of that there was a time where umar he was selling out venues i mean it was jam-packed i kid you not now the the video that we watched earlier where he was down in in georgia uh that there was a lot of people that was there but he has a large following down there okay again it's the it's the bible belt so a lot of that preacher stuff really plays well down there but the point is that normally when you see umar speaking at places it's like chicken shacks very few people there it's just like run down that kind of thing that wasn't the case back in the day so the point i'm getting at uh, d'angelo there was a time when there were people who were highly intelligent who bought into umar but see what happens has happened is they've seen him de uh, devolve over the years and they start to see the true umar umar is like a chameleon he really is see he would present himself he would dress in suits and ties real professional right and he wasn't yelling and screaming now i can't say that he was young because he always yelled he always yelling you know folk oh, that kind of thing but he he kept himself together at least to where it was presentable now what has happened over the years is all that's fallen away and the real umar has come to light okay i don't want to disparage his followers but i will at least say this d'angelo to, to get to your to your point i will at least say this that anyone who's followed umar longer than a year and have and, and and they've looked into umar they've done their due diligence and they still support him something's going on up here that's what i will say i'm not saying that they're mentally challenged so i don't want to disparage anyone but something's not clicking up here because there's enough evidence and proof out there based on umar his behavior his words what he says what he does for anyone who is a rational thinking person critical thinker to say after a year wait a minute something's off with this guy let me take a step back that's what i will say now you want to say they mentally challenged that's only you. i'm not going to because i i've really tried to be careful about doing that and i've done it and i apologize uh, for doing that uh in the past i've done it more than i should have but i've tried my best not to it, it can be frustrating though too you know my approach to this has always been to try to help people to think deeper about umar and what he's doing and looking past the emotionalism that's associated with his talking points and get to who umar johnson is there are people who say it doesn't matter. No, it absolutely matters. They said, no, it's not about the, the, the message, the, uh, the message is about the mess. No, it's about both. They're not mutually exclusive. They're not. So the, the, D'Angelo, what I'm saying is, again, I don't want to call people mentally uh, challenged. If y'all want to do it, that's fine. I'm not going to do it. But yes, anyone who has been following Umar for at least a year and they've really dug deep into umar where they've done their due diligence they've researched if they don't realize it after at least after something's wrong up here okay that's what i would say all right all right let's finish this up thank you for the super chat i appreciate d'angelo sigma says can't wait for the alien commentary linen and culture club i know it's going to be good <laughs> oh goodness oh my goodness boy that would be wild i do have i i i have the thumbnail let me let me let me go ahead and show y'all the, the thumbnail you know what i should i probably should just do a member video where we just uh, watch the video maybe we should do that but i do have the thumbnail okay i just haven't um let me see here <laughs> maybe i shouldn't show this now I i'll show it to y'all hold on one second i shouldn't do this. it it's kind of petty but but I, I'll, I'll show it anyway okay <laughs> boy y'all I, I shouldn't do this but I, let me show you i already got the thumbnail ready here it is Here we go right here. So, and I don't want to get into this right now because I'm doing a separate video for, for members. We may do it, do it as a live stream for members only. I, I was supposed to have it done today, but I got caught up with some other stuff. But uh, recently, and I don't want to say too much, and I have a different take that people probably not going to expect on this. But Umar was doing a live stream, and I don't know if someone asked him inside of the, asked him inside of his, the chat room or whatever, I think it was on Instagram if he believed in aliens or something like that and he started talking about when he was a child that there was an alien and i don't want to say too much here because we're going to get into it either i'll do a separate video for members uh that's pre-recorded i was supposed to do it today i apologize pre-recorded or we'll do a live stream for members and, and we'll, we'll go through it we'll actually watch the video and go through it um the thing that big take well there's a couple takeaways i don't want to get talk say too much but i, I want to say this that i've out of all the years that i've spent um researching umar uh, analyzing umar uh putting together the receipts and I, I have them you guys see i can pull stuff up 
I did a documentary on Umar. I started on a second documentary, but as the, in terms of time commitment and opportunity costs, it's just something I, I shouldn't be doing right now. Um, I've never, ever heard him tell this story. Never. And the, the, what comes to mind is that because Umar, he loves to tell stories, I would have, out of all these years, and again, I've gone back in time looking at old Umar stuff uh, going back over a decade ago. Okay, You can still find stuff online uh, 12 years ago. Never have I heard him talk about aliens or being visited by aliens or any of that stuff. And I said to myself, why is that the case? Because I, I tend to think critically about this. Why, would, why wouldn't he bring this up before? But then, it come, but then I thought about it. There's so many stories that Umar has said, who, that has told, that you would think that he would have told them a long time ago. But for whatever reason, at a certain point, he tells them. Like, I remember he said that he almost got in a fight with Jay-Z. Out of all the times he's talked bad about rappers and he talked bad about uh, Blonde Weave with Beyonce, why did he ever bring this story up before? He said that... Uh, uh, Lauren Hill kissed him on the cheek and said, bye, cutie. That was a whole long story. He said that she came to the hotel and sat next to him on the bed and put her head on his shoulder and told her how to talk about how she on her menstrual cycle. So without saying too much, I, I just want to say this about uh, Umar and his storytelling. Umar either tells a story that is partially true and he exaggerates or he comes up with stories that are complete lies rarely does umar tell a complete story that is the whole truth and nothing but the truth that's what i'll say right now okay all right let's finish this up everybody and again i've i've i've, I've researched umar extensively i've pro I, and i'll probably more than likely, I've researched Umar more than anyone else. And I've never heard him talk like this. Never, ever. Okay? All right, here we go. Or one class apiece. And then every year, we're going to expand down a grade and up a grade. So the first year will be third, fourth, and fifth. The second year will be second through sixth. The third year will be first through seventh the fourth year will be k through eight and then we flesh out ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth that's how <laughs> we're going to do this this will make no although sense. it is an all boys school we will have female employees and female teachers remember orisha oshun is the presiding deity of here FDA. we go there's no way you're going to have Orisha Oshun as your protective force and you ain't got no divine feminine energy in that building. So we will be half male, half female in terms of the staff and faculty. We will be half male, half female in terms of the staff and the faculty. Okay? okay. Also, also, Send in resumes if you want to be a volunteer. I need volunteers. Some of you may say, Doc, listen, I know you don't have a lot of money, brother. I'm a fifth degree black belt. I'm going to come to your school one day a week and I'm going to do martial arts training every Thursday. Uh, Umar, by the way, had a martial arts training scam, too, that he was collecting money for. He's talking about he was going to train the boys with the martial arts. It never came into fruition. He had so many different uh, scams. Six so nine. many. I'm going to handle your martial arts curriculum. Someone else might say, Doc, I know you ain't got a lot of money, but I am a computer engineer. I'm going to teach your children how to build their own website. Okay, the, the computer engineers don't necessarily focus on, they would know some knowledge, but they don't necessarily focus on building websites, Umar. <laughs> well, anyway, whatever. Uh, to be, to, And I'm not trying to disparage people who do that because the people who uh, build uh, websites and design websites, they make good money. But a computer engineer, that's like, uh, you know, someone who is in the major leagues, who's a, a seasoned pro versus, and, versus taking a job in AAA. Anyway. I'm going to do that for free. 
out of my heart, Doc, because you saved one of my kids before. You helped me and my wife keep our son out of that special school, man. I owe you that much. By the way, uh, the latest poll, Big Papa Butter Biscuits is at 33%. Smash them cookies, cookie crumples at 33%. Black people try some troubles at 22%. And Jay Coleslaw is at 12%. So make sure you get your votes in before we close out this live stream. This one right here is a close coming down to the wire. So if there's any volunteers, we know everybody can't volunteer and there will be paid staff. Obviously, we have to pay the teachers and others. But I do want to see how many different types of volunteers I'll get, because that'll help keep the budget manageable. I do oh want to see what types of volunteers I get. He don't have no budget anyway, because that will keep the budget manageable. OK, did he say we might degree? have a school nurse? Wait a minute. I don't think he said that. Did he say that? No way. Ah, come on. In now. the mid-Atlantic movement area, we might have a school nurse who say, listen, Doc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Because That's what I'm saying. This school means so much to me. I have a degree in cybersecurity, OK? I, I, that's what I'm saying. Umar don't know what he's talking about, but I'll leave him alone. <laughs> I'll just leave this guy. Yeah, Umar is budget free. He ain't, he ain't uh, saying nothing. Did he really say fifth degree? I don't think there's a fifth degree. I, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go look. I'll be right. I'm going to be your school nurse, and I'm dedicating. I'm going to come in Monday mornings and Wednesday afternoons. You can find another nurse for the other days, but you got me. For one morning and one afternoon, because I'm off well, no, work, it's, it, and I'm going to well, be one of the nurses. At I think it depends on what, because uh, karate, it says there's 10 levels. There are 10 levels of black Dan belts, each one requiring years of intense continuous training. Uh, the first five Dan belts, the first five levels are named Shodan, Nidan, Sandan, Yodan, and Godan. <laughs> All right. I think it depends on, on uh, uh, what he's, uh, what, 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 uh, Black belt. Well, I don't know. Let me, let me just stay out. I don't know that about that. That's DMG. Okay. I don't know karate. I only know crazy. Brothers and sisters, I don't think y'all know what's about to happen. I really don't think y'all know what we about to do. What you gonna do? Let's keep going. Hurry up. If Come you on, know man. how to build I, I websites to and apps, I need a Frederick Douglass Mark. Stop, man. Because listen, brother Darren uh, was gonna do the app, the website for free. Umar turned him down. Rest in peace, brother Darren. He's the one that got me to go for the cybersecurity degree. I was gonna do something in law, uh, but uh, uh, Umar here he is talking like this. But brother Darren, rest in peace, offered to do it for free. Marcus Garvey Academy website. We need a. There's still there's still no website. Five years later, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy website. We need a Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy website. So ridiculous. T-shirts, designers, T-shirt apparel. Don't forget, I still need somebody who can drop ship my merchandise. I still need somebody who can drop ship my merchandise. I need people who can take the FDMG school bus. We need a school bus and we need a van. We need some vehicles. We definitely need a full-size school bus and we need two 18 passenger vans. We need a full-size school bus. <laughs> said, full size school buses and two for what? What do you need? There's no kids, they no students. Those levels are all for money when they came to America. Most effective martial arts like uh, Muay Thai don't really have a belt system. Okay. And we need two 18 passenger vans. And then we need somebody who can put the FDMG logo on the bus and the FDMG name on the vans. Maybe y'all know somebody who got a use 18 passenger. They don't need it no more. We also got to get furniture for the school. We need desk. He's still talking about furniture in 2024. We need whiteboards. We need computers. Okay. Mm -hmm. We computers. also got to find some sinks and some toilets because some of that's been damaged. <laughs> it's so random. We we need to we need uh, computers. Then he said we need whiteboards. And he says we need toilets. We need. I mean. Come on, this guy, he's so random. We need filet mignon. He just started naming food. <laughs> we need applesauce. We, you know, so random. So any of y'all know how to get any of the furniture? <laughs> we need that. Yeah. yeah need okay. As paper. we get closer, <laughs> we're going to have an adopt the classroom. So you might have a business. Y'all want to adopt the classroom, which means you're going to buy, y'all going to furnish that whole classroom. Okay. I need a group of sisters to decorate my office. I need somebody with exquisite black conscious interior decorating skill for my office 
and for the parents lounge and the teachers lounge i want the teachers lounge to be nice i want the parents lounge to be nice and i need somebody to come and decorate dr umar office i want a nice chair a nice desk a nice couch for the for the visit a big picture for the what what was you gonna say umar don't play no games what was you gonna say it started with the B. I'm not going to say it. Stop playing. You almost slipped up like you said, signing the Bs. Remember? Umar, you're not fooling nobody. Come on now. Do I need to run that back? Sisters, to decorate my office. I need somebody with exquisite, black conscious, interior decorating skill for my office and for the parents lounge and the teachers lounge i want the teachers lounge to be nice i want the parents lounge to be nice and i need somebody to come and decorate dr umar office i want a nice chair a nice desk a nice couch for the for the visit a big <laughs> he wasn't gonna say be i'm just playing <laughs> I shouldn't do that. I apologize, do my. I shouldn't do that. I'm sorry, my my brother, my brother. Okay, all right. You might have a business. Y'all want to adopt the classroom, which means you are gonna buy. Y'all gonna furnish that whole classroom. Okay, <laughs> I need a group of sisters to decorate my office. I need somebody with exquisite, black conscious interior decorating skill. <laughs> What is black conscious interior decorate? I know he do that. He be he listen, Umar be freestyling. <laughs> he off the top of the dome. For my <laughs> office and for the parents' lounge and the teachers' lounge. I want the teachers' lounge to be nice. I want the parents' lounge to be nice. And I need somebody to come and decorate Dr. Umar's office. I want a nice chair, a nice desk, a nice couch for the for the visit, a big <laughs> I thought he was going to say it, to be honest with you. I got the video. He said signing the bees. I said, no way. Don't do that. Picture of Douglas. Big picture of Garvey. Okay? All of that. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Bruce, Umar is Bruce Lee's second cousin twice removed. <laughs> he is a descendant now. We know that he's a descendant of Bruce Leroy as well. Okay? <laughs> we got to finish up. Here we go. We need clocks in all the classrooms. We need clocks. I also need somebody to put windows. We got to put windows in the school. We got any brothers and sisters out there who do windows and you they need clocks. to be tinted. We don't want people looking in, but we can look out the window. Tinted? What, what, what's going on here? What, is it a jail facility or something? What? What? We need bars on the window, family. We need bars in the window. We need the windows to be barred, fam. We need barbed wire on, on, on the slide. I said, oh, no, don't do that. We need to keep kids off the slide. We need to barbed wire. We need guard dogs. Those need to be tinted. We don't want people looking in, but we can look out. The windows need to be tinted. We need people who, can look, who, who can't look in, but we can look out. Okay? Okay. All right, all right. Also, he almost I'm thinking of turning one of the buildings into a state-of-the-art music recording studio. If there's any of you who have ever built a recording studio from scratch, I need your help. I need you to, because I don't know that business. I don't know that business. I Evidently, need to say, Doc, this is what you need. If you do this, they can make their own music. They can make their beats. You need this computer. You need this. Listen, a state-of-the-art music studio is going to run you about a million dollars. We're talking a state-of-the-art, because that assumes that it's going to be professional. The acoustics, you have all of the uh, industry standards when it comes to software, when it comes to your uh, digital equipment, computer equipment, microphones, when it comes to insulation, your sound booth. If it's state of the art, you're going to have multiple uh, studios too, by the way. I'm talking about the, the you got Studio A, Studio B, Studio C. Professional mixing board, state of the art. You're talking a million dollars. What are you talking about, Umar? You know what's crazy about this too? Umar had Maria up there and they were actually talking about turning one of those rooms, a couple of those rooms into a recording studio. And this is recent. This is over the last uh, month and a half, too. I could pull up the video right now. If some of y'all haven't seen, that's one of the most ridiculous things. Do I need to pull up the receipt?
And he's talking about the, the, the main office turning that into a, a music studio. I thought this was a school for black boys. What's going on here? See, I think Umar is just, he's, this is like, he's, he has these buildings and in his mind, it's like, what am I going to do with this stuff? And I was like, okay, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. What are things I want to do? What else? I want a vegan sports bar. We're going to have a music studio. We're going to do karaoke. We're going to have a nightclub. He did say he's going to turn gym into a nightclub too. Anyway. Mixer. Okay. And I also want to do, okay, a what small else? radio station for our yeah, students it's call because I want to teach them the importance. The arts. I want to teach our students the importance of media early. By the way, you wouldn't do no state-of-the-art music studio in the, in the middle of the hood hood because that's hood hood up there. That's ridiculous. You got to be, you be out your mind. You got to be out your mind. As soon as them fiends up over there and other people find out you got a million dollars, uh, no, it wouldn't even necessarily be a million dollars. I'm talking about to build one. You got thousands of, hundreds of thousands of dollars in music equipment in it that they can pick up. Boy, please. Ridiculous. I want to teach our students the importance of media early. So if y'all can help me get started yeah. with a low mm -hmm. watt radio station, imagine your a fifth grader with a radio station. Imagine your fourth grader <laughs> with his own radio show. He's talking about why it's so important to eat vegan. Your other, your third grader is in there talking. He has a Black History radio show where he talks to other Black children uh. in the, in the Marcus Garvey Mid Atlantic area about Black consciousness. You are, if you don't stop, okay. No. Okay. Oh, not, no. This school no. that we building doesn't exist yeah, it's anywhere still on, on earth. I'm telling it's you. Still on and then once we get this one done, okay. then we got to go, go to Chicago and build okay. one. Okay. Then yeah, we got to right, go girl. to Detroit and build one. Uh -huh, then we got to go to Carolinas and build one. Yeah, then we got to go girl. to Houston and build one. We uh -huh. got to get over to Phoenix and Milwaukee Phoenix and Sacramento and, okay. and Oakland right. and LA. Yep. This yep. is only the first school. My goal by the time I die is we got FDMG schools in every state, in every country, on every continent. My goal by the time I die is every state every country in every continent okay by the way if you have it in every country wouldn't that be in every well i guess not because antarctica okay i get it but but i wonder how many would that be in every state okay you have to be all the states in america because that's over 50. in every country how many countries minus america uh, excuse me minus united states of america is that right yeah uh, uh how many countries are there okay so you add that to that and then he said on every continent. Okay, so you have to throw in uh, Antarctica and uh, whatever. I, I wonder how many that would be. Ridiculous. He's, I know he, he ain't even finished with one. He's just talking crazy. He's just talking crazy. They have an FDMG school in every state, in every country, in every continent. That's the goal, brothers and sisters. This is just the first one. Once we, about once we finalize this, we're going to start replicating. We're going to franchise FDMG franchise all over now. the place. FDMG Iceland. Also, now, I also. have received 2,500 resumes for jobs. 25. I have received 2,500 resumes for jobs. I have received 2,500 resumes for jobs. What I'm going to do is and I'm going to start no going through those resumes next month. You and the ones job. I choose for an interview, you will mm -hmm. first be interviewed, okay? Okay. By FaceTime. We're almost done. Okay. Or okay. WhatsApp. Uh-huh. Okay, video. In other words, we're going to interview you by phone. And then if I like you, huh? you're going to have to come to Delaware to the school. If I like you, and get interviewed again. What does it mean okay. if I Is like everybody you? clear? So there's three steps. I'm going to review every application. I'm going to look at every single one because I don't want to miss nobody who I might need. The ones I choose, we're going to do a face interview. And it then is. from them... You'll be interviewed for another interview. Okay. You'll be interviewed for another interview? What? The quickest way to become a part of FDMG is to volunteer. To donate. Okay. Give up the money. Or give up the cookie, huh? But I'm going to be honest with you. If mm -hmm. you don't help us with the National Independent Black Parent Association, you can forget about FDMG. You can forget about Team Pan African. Let me say it <laughs> one more time. If you don't help us organize black parents through the I National know. Independent Black Parent Association, you can forget no about problem, FDMG case. and you can forget about Team Pan African. Also. Here we go. You always got to say also. Why can't you just stop? Okay. 
Uh, Lennon, you and the Bravo should do a, a stream together. It would be <laughs> it'd be funny though. Yeah, it would be hilarious. Yeah, I wish that I could. Uh, it's just that I I've, I've dealt with so much uh, uh, dealing with Umar and covering Umar. You know, it's not a um, an easy space. It's not. It's never been. I don't think it ever will be. And there are people that I, I supported and, and I had on and, and I promoted and they end up turning against me. And, and uh, I, I just I had to come up with the policy just not. And I wish I could because. Um, uh, anyone who knows me, I, I, uh, well, I can't even say it online that it is. No, I guess it kind of applies online, but I'm just talking about in person. If I can help somebody, I will. Right. And I was I was big on. Uh, Helping other people to get subscribers, uh, help. And I, I even help people to figure out how to uh, do better on YouTube. You know, they, they were covering Umar. I said, well, you know, you have any suggestions? Yeah. So I, I put together a whole list of things, the things they can do to improve um, uh, the quality, of the, the the production value, all that kind of stuff. But I, I've been uh, burned so many times, you know. And uh, my policy these days is is just you know, stay in your lane and, and do what you can, and um, you know, wish wish for the best for everybody, you know. It's kind of it's unfortunate, and some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, it's been so much of that over the years. Um, I want to play something real quick, and thanks for Super Chat Sigmund. I want to play something for y'all real quick. Remember, we were talking about the music studio that Umar was proposing. Okay, that was in 2019. He said a state of the art, which is that's a million dollar project, easy. But here's a video, and this is in and around the last time Umar actually live streamed up there in Wilmington, which is oh, it's been over six weeks now. He hasn't been up there in, in at least the live stream. In over six weeks and the truth is he's traveling all over the place how are you gonna open up a school and here we are uh for the last six weeks you ain't even been up there there's been times he's been absent for longer than that but the last time he was up there in and around the last time he was up there a crew came through and it was for another youtube page and we just called the young lady uh maria okay affectionately we call her maria i want you guys to listen to what is going on here when when umar because in 2019 he's talking about a studio right but here this video is from 2024, I believe it's 2024. Yeah, 2024. And listen to what happens. Listen to what happens. Check this out. High school out. you see over there yeah. is four times the size of this here. They both one level. They both one level. But that is four times the size. We got four bathrooms in here. We might got 16 over there. Wow. Go ahead and step on in, y'all. It sounds like they playing. Uh, I wanna be. I wanna be down. Who, who was that? Wasn't that uh, what you call it, uh, Moesha? I wonder who's playing that, that Moesha. Let's see. So this is the office here. And we got three small spots in there. Uh, go ahead and click that light on. Now, one of them would have been nice for the studio too, but. That's the main office. He's talking about one of those, which would be the main office, would have been a studio. Yeah, that's Brandy. I wonder who's playing Brandy. Okay. Let's, we're going to find out in just a minute. All right, but he's talking about changing the main office into a studio. And how I noticed the main office? Well, because Umar, he scribbled it in a, a Sharpie up here, as you can see. Truly professional. Yes, yeah, Brandy. I said, wish. I'm sorry. That's Brandy. I used to love that song back when I was in college. The, I want to be down. <laughs> Her and that other young lady. I, I didn't have credit on, though, because they were too young But uh, at that time. But her and the other young lady had a good song, too. They were kind of like in competition. But I, I think uh, 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 Moesha was better, at least at that time, Brandy. Okay. Now, one of them would have been nice for the studio, too, but yeah. that's the main office. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, Monica. That, that, was her, that was her name, Monica. Yeah, yeah, Monica. Um, <laughs> unless I make <laughs> Young people like, who? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I keep it here. Look at the ceiling. That's nice, man. But you said any one of them could do it, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looked like that was a shortbread cookie on there. Not a shortbread. What they call it? A cinnamon crunch yeah, cookie? Nice. See on that table over there? <laughs> I'm just playing. Any- See that cookie over there? It's a, it's a, cinnab- it's a cinnabun. It's a cinnabun. No, it looked like a sandwich. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trash all over the place. The basketball court. I wonder what that says up there. Maybe that's the uh, Articles of Incorporation. Okay. The Confederation. 
this is the boiler room it said i think it said boiler room on there or something like that i got you y'all remember what that sign said yeah that's what it was it was some gingerbread that was <laughs> he had some gingerbread on the table family because we working <laughs> no what, what was that room called was, was it the uh hot water heater room or something like that i got you this is five years, almost five years later. You're right, you're Dominique. Oh. Oh, Eminem done ran up on him. Here come Eminem. This is the people that listen, they were listening to, to Monica in here. Or, uh, what's her name? Moesha. Okay. All done? Yep. Did, did you need to bleed it, like you said, to get the water yeah, out? Yeah, I got my hand all wet. I'm freezing. There. Okay, so it's. <laughs> Boy, this is a mess. Done. Yeah, so everything's good. Yeah, okay. so I just left it open. Okay. So, okay. yeah, in the summertime, um, yeah, when you turn it back on, it'll just uh, okay. run for a little bit. And check okay, out okay, okay. Yeah, because it's about to get cold. He had to get that water. Yeah. I so up nice. here, that's the main office, and this is the water heater room. <laughs> I know I said boiler room. <laughs> See it up there? It says water heater room. Let's take a look at the uh, classrooms. They're all basically the same size. Uh, as you can see, nice space. We took the old carpet off the floor. Right. So most of these floors are going to be retiled. Some of them are going to be recarpeted. Remember, he said renovations were done. He said that in February of 2000. I think it was February of 2023. But then he also said it in, I want to say October. I have the videos. I can pull them up. These three classrooms in a row that you see, including the one you're standing in, one is going to be a, a parent visitor center. Another one is going to be a student activity room. And the third one is probably going to be a library. But these three are so going to be more ridiculous. Purpose, not instructional. Instructional. My goodness, it's four hours and 45. It's supposed to be a two hour show. I'm supposed to be in the bed. Well, I'm gonna be tired at work tomorrow. It's gonna be a long haul because we don't want the kids so close to the front. Right. So, this one, so like, let's say you're a parent, you're picking your kid up, but you got two hours, you just want to chill. We have a TV in here, refrigerator with some water, a nice couch. You know, parent visitor sound. So, I want it to be a little different than what you see at the regular schools. You feel me? You're a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, because it looked like a straight trap bando up in there. That's why I said, at least she told the truth. Maria, she got on them big old hills, too. She, she said, I ain't playing up in here. She said, I got to keep my feet up, my ankles up off this ground. Ain't no, no telling what kind of stuff I might step in. <laughs> she said, let me get to the, I got to get the boots, family. This is so interesting to see this being built. Yeah, I do. Y'all know I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. That's why I can't be. Uh, and there's another there's another guy up over there too. I don't know. If he, there's another guy up there that was working in the in the uh, water heater room. And he was the one that was listening to. Uh, I was gonna say Tammy Tabrell. He he was she was one listening to Moesha. Yeah. From scratch. See him up over there by the water heater. That's that uh, the guy that came in. That's his uncle. They they getting that work done though. Maria, if you don't stop, you need to stop, young lady. Now. I, I wouldn't have no woman up in here to be honest with you. I would not have no woman up there, period. Y'all call me sexy if you want to. I would not have no woman or child up in here, period. Wouldn't have I'm thinking about making this my office and conference room. I'm thinking about making that and this. One will be my office and the one will be a conference room. So let's say I got to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm thinking because we have an exit on the side. Mm -hmm. So I figured nobody can get past. If I got to escape, I could just run through. <laughs> Who are funny? I gotta have my office by this exit door. If I gotta escape up out of here, I gotta get access real quick. Ask me. You, you. Look at that. This is his office. <laughs> it don't stop. If your family, it don't stop. I'm trying to get done, but we don't, it don't stop. This is the Ubar's office. Okay. Look at that. You, you got ceiling tiles missing, exposed wires coming out the ceiling. You got dust all over the place. I mean, that dust right there looks like a, it, 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 come on, okay? And then if you look over there into the corner just below the dry erase board, that is a panel that goes into the ceiling and it has a lighting fixture in it. He said renovations were done though. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was thinking and look at that poor cabinet of the filing cabinet just sitting over there by itself. Poor thing. And plus it's kind of Damn. I didn't know you got like 15 desks in here. 
Two more. So I'm gonna use all of them. I'll put them back to back. I do. So I do. I double up on everything. <laughs> you know, Umar said that one time. He said, I double up on everything. I got to have two wives. I got to have four desks, one for each side of my body. I got to have a two, two desks. You gotta, I got to have two desks, family, one for each side of my body. I said, I said, I got to have two desks. He started blinking and shit. You know how Umar start blinking. Family, I said, oh, no. I said, Umar, don't start. Don't start blinking, okay? He got he got four deaths. He's gonna put them back to back Memphis on each side of his body. He's he gonna have a chair he rolled through. All right, I'll, here we go. In the hallway, my visitors aren't bothered by that. <laughs> I did want my office a little larger, but I can live with it. And there's that same desk. <laughs> look, at, look at Maria looks like she's confused. But but that desk over there has been sitting in that hallway on its side for about four and a half years. I'm serious. It's been about four and a half years. There used to be snacks on it, uh, uh, you know, different snacks. <laughs> it was a bag of, I don't know what it was. It looked like a Burger King bag. I can live with it. Oh, for sure. This is decent. I can honestly meet my personal team. So, I Umar, like, listen, I don't care about your personal feelings, your personal feelings, bro. <laughs> this is my school. I don't care. I had my office at my place before. Okay. I moved it to my house and I had like a section. Boy, this is a mess. In my house. Right water damage down there remember that see that there's water that's coming up through the ceiling that's why the, the tile down there you see that that's water damage and I, it seemed like for some reason i work better i think because it's more I'm it's opposite. smaller okay so you, you know what i think I'm i think let me see something okay because it's more I'm it's smaller god right, boy this spot is so spooky okay so because you know i do all the sticky notes yes, I yes, yes, i'm trying to organize it mm -hmm. but it's like more, it's smaller, but I was like, and I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Trust okay, me. Okay, okay, but okay. when I did it, I found myself really it comfortable with work from me. Wow. So a smaller office might not be a bad I see what you're saying, less distraction. Yes. Because you have more of them going to <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ice Cube. Like yeah, yeah, them ladders, they I can't stand you. for nothing. I got you. Dang, this is horrible. This is, uh... Do you see when the lights were off? You can see light coming through. That's he said when the raisins are done. You. Look at that. Look at the door all broken. See the door on the oh, you see that? One door is missing the knob. The other, I don't even know why they got two doors over here, but this was all broken up. I got you. This is uh male bathroom. With a big old bite mark out of here. Probably had that dog right there. there. Uh, water fountain, but you know, we probably gonna get water brought in. There's a water fountain, but we're probably gonna get water brought in. I, I when we watched, I was like, What does that mean? Well, the water's contaminated because we already talked about that. See, EPA came through to recover that uh, in part one, but there were signs on there too. Okay, uh, let me end this poll over here. Uh, what dish would you order? at the sports bar uh big papa butter biscuits at 33 percent smash them cookies cookie crumple at 34 percent and black people trifling truffle at 20 percent the j coleslaw came in as a side dish at 12 percent okay all right thank y'all so much for voting we're almost done let's start wrapping i know i keep saying it. i've been saying it for like an hour and a half two hours but we real close i just want to replay this one because it's so ridiculous girls bathroom we got to get the doors fixed because they broke you know Boy, this is sad. He and he so he sounds so defeated when he said it. They broke, you know. They broke. They broken. They is broken, family. Computer. He got two doors on this one too. I don't know why. Room. One's missing the what you call. The other one's all busted up. Now you see the offices. The, the classrooms are kind of large. Yes. But I'm not ruling out making one of them the studio though. Hear that? He's gonna make one of the classrooms a studio too. But y'all saying y'all don't need that much space for that. Nah, y'all need y'all need a huge studio. C could the studio look at that desk and trash all on it? The more, the bigger the space I didn't see that the last time. Uh, see that? Looked like a package of Twizzler. I would be surprised. Uh, uh, okay. So let me ask you this. Could a studio I don't know why these ghosts that be coming in through there, the grimmers, they like turning these desks upside down. It's a haunted house. I don't know why they do that. Partner with some other kind of activity. If I did use the classroom, 
My earbud about to go out because of battery. No, gone it. I'm going to use the other one. Damn, this is a nice size, too. I know it smells bad in there, too. I guarantee it. Look at wires hanging all out. Oh, he got sad stories. Now let me ask y'all, yeah, this is too small. Is this the same size? There's a mark, marker written I on all that. I was thinking about this, but I know this is too small. Is that it? It's a nurse station. It's it ain't got to be, though. I might put the nurse nurse the property. That's too small for the yeah, sound, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's for the it. sound? Yeah. Yeah. Too small. Okay, small. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I. He, gonna, he was thinking about turning the nurse station into a studio. It's ridiculous. Once again, you got this. What about the kids? Once again. Yeah, talk to me. Like this. That's up there. It says staff something. Probably staff lounge. He written in marker. Uh, marker. So you saying, you saying this space right here, you could do the engineering and the booth. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You can put that in if you want. And this this table could like simple. Uh, like you know, we had the engineering board. And there was a board right here. By the way, if you look right there, the there's another the booth. right here, right here. You can see another one of the tiles that has the uh, light fixture in it, just sitting down there. He said renovations are complete. That that wire right there that's going up is probably connected to it. Exposed wires all over the place. Absolutely, yeah. Here's another one. If you want, and this this table could like simple, uh, like you know, we have an engineering board. If there was a Don't you go down here. I am the door. I will stop you. Turn around, you fool. Because renovations are complete. I know that I'm filthy and I have mold growing on me. But understand that I will rise. I shall rise like my Angelo said and fly like an eagle like that one guy said in that song. He sang it. He said, fly like an eagle. <laughs> Into the future. <laughs> His name Seal. That's that Seal song, boy. Seal wouldn't walk the weirdo. He said, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> listen, we, we done with this video, but listen, right when they sold this, I thought that was a dead animal. That white stuff over there, you see the legs. I said, oh, no. <laughs> that poor puppy. Okay, let's get back to it. This door over here missing a, a door handle, too, but we got to finish up. Here we go. We're almost done. We're building the African Guards of Garvey. Mm -hmm. And we're going to need them in every state and every city. Okay. Because as Dr. Umar travels, I need a trusted team to go with me. After today, I become public enemy number one. Brothers and sisters, please take this seriously. This is not a jank. This is not a joke. This is not a game. After today, I become public enemy number one. What did he say? What did Hoover say? To prevent the rise of a black messiah. <laughs> who who are think he's a black messiah? Boy, he's crazy. Electrify uh -huh. the black masses. Okay. Whenever I travel, I cannot be alone. I am too important to the movement right now. It's not about me. It's not about ego. I am too important to the movement right now. And I need security wherever I go. If you down with that, Bring your resume to the Bronx or Connecticut. Resumes for Team Pan-African. Resumes for NIBPA. Resumes for Marcus Garvey Mid-Atlantic Movement. Resumes for African Guards of Garvey. None of this is real. 
FDMG resumes, email them. FDMG resumes, you email FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. All other resumes, Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com. But if I were you and I were serious, and I live in Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, and I'm serious about being a part of Dr. Umar's movement, I would come to the Bronx with a resume in my hand. If I were you, I would come to Connecticut with a resume in I'm my here, hand. Come on, turn we need a state-of-the-art sound system in the school, and we need a state-of-the-art sound system in the gym, and we also need a state-of-the-art sound system outside of the school. Remember, E5 yeah, Tunde Boulevard, Black Power Broadway, I need speakers so when we reach capacity inside, brothers and sisters who are outside can still hear the lecture. They can still hear the conversation. I mean, I want perfect speaker sound throughout my school, perfect speaker sound in my gym. And I need somebody who can come and put the FDMG logo in the middle of the gym floor. We have a beautiful gym with showers. Oh, we got a new poll going up. Uh, quick crush chat. We're almost done. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Make sure you hit the like button. Thank you everyone for the super chats, cash apps, and the paper. Also, thanks to everyone uh, for tuning in and also for the mods. I appreciate you all handling the business tonight. But there is a new poll going up. Get your votes in quick because we're almost done. The best FDMG mascot. We have uh, as uh, your options. We have Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Candyman, and Chucky. All right, get your votes in. Let's go. In it, we have a beautiful gym with showers in it. We have a beautiful gym with showers. What? I've never seen any showers in them gym. Anyone? He's probably, maybe he's talking about the larger gym. Okay, that's what he's talking about. But he never goes. He hasn't been in there in like four years. Four, four and a half years. He hasn't gone into the, the other side of the street. I don't know why. Uh, no, Umar is the black Christ. You know, th this is the thing with, with Umar, though. A lot of it is self-aggrandizing, but I also think it's a mental health issue. I think it deals with the narcissism and the need to feel important and better than everyone else. So when he says things like, I'm the most requested scholar, or he'll say things like, uh, I'm Big Papa, or he'll say things like, uh, uh, I'm the greatest school psychologist in history. I mean, he said things like this. He, he said that he's related to Frederick Douglass. He said that he's related to Booker T. Washington. He said he's related to Pharaoh Ramses. And he said that he's related to Harriet Tubman. All of this is to self-aggrandize and to make himself, a, 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 I think it makes him feel better about himself, but it also makes people believe that he's greater than what he really is. So uh, this to say that if he can call himself Christ, okay, well, wow. I mean, how much, how much further can you go? He says black Christ more specifically. But but the idea of a man, a regular old man who living in mama closet, literally, OK, calling himself anything dealing with Christ is ridiculous. It really is. See, he's so detached. Again, it's a mental health issue. He's so detached from his own personal reality. That he sees himself as some great figure. Well, in point of fact, if you look at his personal life, listen, if he didn't have the Internet, he'll be out here literally on the street, on the corner, panhandling with the with the pan. You got, you got a dollar, you got, you got some change on you. He would, that's what he would be doing. See? But, but for Umar, and he does it consistently to call himself Black Christ, the level of disrespect also that is shown, uh, it, it's, it's incredible. And it doesn't even register. It's a mental health issue. It, it doesn't register in his mind. Uh, thanks for the Super Chat. Here we go. In it, and I need someone who can come and redo the gym floor and put the FDMG logo real big on the gym floor. Who can do that for us? Who can do? No, no, no. Not Dr. Umar Johnson at Gmail. No, no, no. Uh, thanks for the thorough. You're, oh, you're very welcome. You know, I, I try to be thorough. I try to have receipts in order and I try to get everything uh, together in advance. Sometimes we go off and we get crazy and, and all that stuff. But that's part of the, the cookie crush chat. Uh, but I, I try to have the receipts in order uh, and I try to provide coverage that, you know, we, we, we get into everything. And that's the thing. Like uh, sometimes I, I will be live streaming and I'll someone to say something in the chat room. Or I'll, I'll make I'll make a comment and it's totally un, well, it's not necessarily unrelated, but we're watching a, so, a totally separate video and someone had mentioned something else. And I'll say, yeah, I remember that. And then, boom, I'm going to go pull it up, you know, and then I can connect it to what we're, we're actually watching. You know, so that, that's what I mean by, by being thorough. You know, the, the research has to be in order. You have to have your receipts on deck and then have an idea of, about what you're going to be addressing. And but oftentimes, especially with the cook crush chat, we end up getting other things, but we always, always try to bring it back. Um, uh, to uh, what the point was. And in this particular live streaming is part two of yesterday. We're five years. 
We're talking five years later and not one black boy has been educated and Umar still collecting money for a school that does not exist. Mind you, he hasn't even been up there and hasn't live streamed up there in six weeks. Where is it, where are, where, if Umar is serious about opening up a school, then that should be his priority. If he's collected, it's gotta be over, it's over $2.5 million, probably closer to $3 million by now. If you collected that amount of money, your priority should be to deliver on what you promise, right? But that's not what Umar has done for the last five years. In fact, right now on the anniversary, he's not even up there. How can anyone take it seriously? He should be up there. He should really be up there every single day. But see what happens, as I've stated before, being thorough, when, when fall kicks in, Umar tries to get as many speaking opportunities as possible because he knows that it gets cold up there in Philly. It gets cold up there in Wilmington and he doesn't have his own residence. He either stays inside his mama closet or he stays at the FMG or he, preferably he'll get a hotel. He's he stamped this. He, he I got I've been spending so much money on hotels. But see, when he gets speaking engagements, what do they do? They provide him with with accommodations, which include living uh, living space. Uh, 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 it'll be uh, in most cases a hotel motel. They'll give him a per diem where he can get food. They'll provide food for him. OK, so his needs are taken care of. So what ends up happening and it happens every single year with this guy. It's like clockwork. I tell people in advance when fall kicks in and it starts to cool down, Umar's trying his best to go south. So what that means is he'll go down to to uh, he'll go out to Africa, which he's done this year. He'll go uh, he'll go over to, uh, to, to Florida, which he's done this year. He'll go down into the Caribbean, which he's done this year. He'll go to California. See this, which he's done this year. Now, what happens is over time, we don't see him over once that, 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 that fall kicks in. You see him there less and less and less. Once winter hits, he's ghost. How can we take it seriously? So in essence, he abandons the abandoned buildings for the winter. And then when it starts warming up, he starts to trickle back in. And see, it makes perfect sense in his mind because when he's getting these speaking engagements, he's getting paid. He's doing these uh, these lectures. He's getting these interviews where he's paid. He's get providing with room and board. It's an easy life, see. But when that runs out, he has to come back. And then when he comes back, it's warmer. So now he can be up there and be more comfortable. And mark my words, that's exactly what's going to happen. Mark my words. See, part of part of understanding Umar is to do the research, understanding the timeline with this whole school scam, but then recognizing the patterns. And part of me being thorough is seeing the patterns. And I call it out and could crochet hit the one every single year. I can call it out. And it happens just like clockwork. And right now it's in essence, he's abandoned the abandoned buildings. He's he's speaking, but it's more like a vacation. And people still think that he's going to open up school. He ain't opening up no school. He's not, he, he's not dedicated to that because if he was serious about that, he would be up there every single day showing and proving. That's not what he's doing, okay? All right, thanks for the super chat. Okay, we got to finish this up right here, everyone. Here we go. Dr. Umar Johnson at Yahoo. No period, Skylar. No period. D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at yahoo.com, okay? FDMG resumes only FDMG. Let's see a couple uh, this is from Dear World Christian. A couple bucks to ask for that video on Umar for a future discussion. Thanks for sharing the time to share all this. Which which video? Let me know uh, which video uh, you're referring to. Uh, you can just type it. You don't have to send in a super chat. Just type it inside the chat room right now. Um, I try my best to, uh, to accommodate people. And when people uh, need things or whatever, I try to give them links or what have you for research purposes. If there's anything that, that you need uh, from me, uh, you can always email me and I'll do my best to get it. Sometimes if I can't find it or if I don't have it, I'll let people know that too. But I try my best to get um, as, as much, uh, uh, give uh, people as much support as possible because um, more the more people who speak about Umar, the better, right? The more people. And then we gotta be fair. We gotta be honest. We don't lie. See, that's one thing we don't do. Uh, there's people who've lied about me and, and spun all. I mean, it's got it gets gotten crazy over the years. OK, but the one thing I can tell you all is that I've never lied about Umar. Okay? I, and I never will. It's unethical and it's wrong. See, Umar's lied about me, but I, I'm not going to do that to him. See, so if, if there's anything I can provide for you, just let me know. OK, thanks for the super chat, too. All right. Here we go. I know I keep saying resume. We got at gmail.com. Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com is where you send resumes for everything else and personal correspondence. But if I were you and I live in one of the six mid Atlantic Marcus Garvey movement states, I would bring a resume next Sunday to the Bronx or the following Saturday to Connecticut. If I were you, of course, I need phys ed, brother. We got two gyms and two schools. 
We got two gyms oh, are you and talking two schools. About... Ain't going to be no ADHD at my school. Yeah, I just want to be clear. Dear, dear Royal Christian, can you, I'm looking in the chat room. I want to be, if there's if there's a specific video, you said where he, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just want to uh, make sure that if there's something that you're asking for, I, I can get it to you. Uh, but if you can type it in the chat room. Okay, we got to finish up. Here we go. Ain't going to be no conduct disorder at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Ain't going to be no opposition or defiant disorder at the Marcus Garvey Academy. Okay. Okay. We're going to get it. Thank well, you, lady. My nation let's, of let's, Islam let's and my them, Hebrews uh, and brothers, up, and all of y'all who do security, we could use y'all for the August 21st, 2019 oh, grand um, opening. What's up, Steel Reigns? Oh, yeah. But okay. Um, I must have my uh, own security. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm not even getting it. Here it is. I appreciate right here. that. Though. Yeah. This video, you can find it online. Okay. I actually I downloaded uh, it, but you can actually go to King Kong Consciousness and type in school announcement. Okay, you can even you can even go into uh, well, I don't know if it's going to come up when you specifically put in put it into Google, but if you go into King Kong Conscious, which is a YouTube page that uploads a lot of Umar Johnson videos for years, um, that's a great resource. Uh, sixty uh, million views, I think it's sixty million views. There was another one, I think it was forty million views, but that one it was taken down. That had a lot of great resources, uh, but I've downloaded uh, uh, most of of that too. But if you type in um, Umar Johnson school announcement, there's there's going to be three. Uh, two videos that may come up that are, are related, but it, there's also a third video uh, from him releasing that he released. So there's the Dr. Umar Johnson FMG Academy, Academy official announcement. That's what we're going to cover today, but we're not going to be able to get to it. But under that, um, and that's Blur Planet. That's a Dar brother Darren's um, YouTube page. Uh, rest in peace. Um, but uh, the school announcement video, you can find it on King Kong Consciousness if you go there, and you can type in in the video section. Um, let me see here. And it's worth covering. Okay. Understanding the timeline of, of, of all of this. You can type in, in in the search engine on the actual YouTube page, King Kong Consciousness under video. You can type in school announcement and it should come up. Hey, I'm looking. It, it's actually, it should come up, but I'm not seeing it here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, what I'll do is let me put, let me open it up in my um, Microsoft Word and I'll give you a direct link and I'll post it in the, in the chat room. Otherwise, you'll have to scroll down to actually find it on here. I remember he was up there playing basketball or trying to play. Oh, my goodness. So, there's so much. There's so much on this guy. OK, um, let me do this. I'll I'll put, give you a, a direct link. All right. I'll, I'll type it in here in just a moment. Let me pull up my um, Word document. I have all that archived. Because Nation right of Islam back. has done a lot of security for me, Black Panthers. I thank all of you. And we will need you for the big festivals. But the school must have its own security. I'm getting my movement must have its own security. But as we build that, I will be calling on you. So thank you, brother. Thank you. If, you're, if, you're, if your team could provide, just text me a message. Dr. Umar, whenever you in Connecticut, I got a team of five. Dr. Umar, whenever you in D.C., I got a team of seven. Mark is all. Yeah, you can also. Well, I don't know if it's still on Facebook, but it was uploaded to Facebook, too. Uh, let me let me pull that one. Dr. Umar, whenever you come to Los Angeles, I got a team of eight. Well, in Los Angeles, I already got my brother Ali, the new Black Panther Party. He got me in Cali. Shout out to brother Ali, the new Black Panther Party. L.A., I'm straight. I just got to get straight everywhere else. You feel me? Also, okay. if you are a vegan chef. Here we go. If you are a vegetarian or vegan chef, if I were you and you want the contract to do the lunches at my school or you want the contract to cater at my events for the school, let me talk about the school first. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're interested. By the way, we have a sister who uh, reached out to Umar to help him with that and he tried to push up on her. Okay. She probably still in the chat room right now. Okay. That's his MO. Interested in being the dietitian at the school, send me a 30 day menu that's all you have to do for th if you want to send it for the whole nine months of school you can but i'm only asking that you send it okay here's a direct link for it on facebook and it's probably actually a better quality than the one on youtube anyway uh but here it is right here uh dear woke qu uh, christian i'll post it in here i normally don't put links in here and i don't allow links but here i'll put it in here uh for you there it is right there i just typed it in okay we got about maybe five minutes maybe 10 minutes left uh to this video i'm gonna let it play i'm trying not to have any more commentary Real quick, uh, the, the poll is still up as we finish up here. We have uh, 112 votes so far uh, for the best FMG mascot. Michael Myers is at 20%. We also have Freddy Krueger at 24%. We have Candyman at a whopping 42%. Okay, and then Chucky 
comes in at 14%. So it looks like Candyman is, is, is running away. It's a landslide at this time, okay? All right, let's continue here. Please get your votes in. Uh, we're almost done. Thank you. For 30 days, one month, Monday breakfast, Monday lunch, Tuesday breakfast, Tuesday lunch, Wednesday breakfast, Wednesday lunch for the whole month. Let me see what one month of food looks like from you. And your menu must be 90%, okay? Raw and vegan. No, no, no. Uh, listen, there is, there are, there, there's not any cafeteria facility, okay? And, and what the Jay Morrison ca Academy did uh, when it was open was they, they just had it catered. They basically outsourced it, which is more expensive too, by the way. And they would set up tables and chairs. It's not uncommon for charter schools to, to set up tables and chairs inside of the gym and the children would, would eat there, okay? But there's no cafeteria, okay? Now, there may be, let's say, some microwave someplace. There may even be an oven. So I'm talking about a, a facility where specifically they, they create or warm up food for the kids. That does not exist. <laughs> so this is so ridiculous. So we can ask the critical question, therefore, if Umar is asking for someone to come in to, to provide meals. OK, well, wh how what, what does that mean? Does that mean that they're going to be preparing it off site and then delivering it? OK. It's going to cost even more money because there's no cafeteria facilities and it's going to be vegan. That costs even more money. Okay, I've lived a vegan lifestyle. It's no big deal. Okay. I'll be tripping sometimes. I ain't have one in a while, but I'll, I'll, have, I'll be having some of them uh, uh, Walmart donuts because I'm getting older. So I don't care as much. Okay. That's why my belly's starting to get big, but that's besides the point. My wife like it. That's all good. She likes slapping my belly. Okay. <laughs> sometimes I slap it myself. She be, she start blinking. Uh, anyway, uh, there there are no uh, cafeteria facilities inside of these trap bandos. So even Umar talking like this don't even make no sense. He's just making up stuff. Your menu must be 90% raw and vegan. And if you are selected, you will have to get your licenses in Delaware. You, everything got to be licensed. Everything got to be by the book. They're going to be watching everything. I know. He wants to build a state of art recording studio with no cafeteria. Let me do, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. 90% raw and vegan. Okay. Okay. And just make sure you put a Philly cheesesteak on the side for Dr. Papa. <laughs> make sure you man. put a Philly cheesesteak on the side. You need a Philly cheesesteak, family. Also, for the ladies, when you come to FDMG, Team Pan African headquarters, when you come to FDMG, Team Pan African headquarters, oh, you, you like will never meet with me by yourself. If we have, if I have a meeting yeah, with I'll a sister know. in my office, my secretary, now, one listen of my to this. secretaries this will come in there. We live in the era of Me Too. I cannot be alone with no woman because you're not going to pull that shit on me. They will send agents and they will send women to try to set me up on some nonsense. So don't be disrespected, sisters. Don't be disrespected, sisters. Because remember, you shouldn't be coming for anything but the struggle anyway, okay? But you cannot meet with me by yourself. I just want to be clear. Because you know how you women are, right? You cannot are, meet right? with Dr. Umar. This alone. guy, he's so full of it. Okay. Okay. For the ladies. Don't worry about where I got my degrees from because you won't be allowed in the school anyway. You're wasting your time. Somebody screenshot her. Screenshot her face and uh, see if you can get her real name. She goes on. <laughs> Who are so petty? The, uh, she goes on the uh, no no allowed list. She goes on no the not allowed, allowed list. list. Okay. Okay. Nineteen All these to go. Come get nineteen. Who we have with the lights right now? Go y'all. Get that face. We'll get a, uh, we'll get a, a, a light drive right here. Where are we at at the likes? Okay. Uh, we need nineteen likes. I'm gonna refresh my page over here, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Uh, what do they call that? Raw cash style. We had 481 likes. Okay, can we get a 482? Okay, 482. 481. 481. 482. I'm looking. I'm about 40 at 41 going once. Okay, I'm about to sell it right now. 41. 41. 41. 41. 41. Get a 482. 42. 42. 42. We're trying to get to 482. My thing's not updating, so I don't even know. Can someone let me know in our chat room? We're trying to get to 482. We're trying to get to 500, and then we're going to close out the show. I want to thank everyone inside to tune in today. I want to thank everyone inside the Cooker's Chat. Cooker's Chat is undefeated. We're trying to get to 482. Get to 482. 482 going once. I'm about to sell it right here. It's a doggone shame. We can't get 482. 482 going twice. My goodness. We're at 488. Thank you so much, Derek, the young man in the back. Thank you so much, 48. We're trying to get 489, 489. Taking the thoughts with the 489, 49, 49. We got 49. 49, later comes to 48. Thank you so much. I was at 40. Thank you so much, KF Johnson. I appreciate you. We have 49 from Eastby. Thank you for 490. 490 going once, family. We're talking 490. I'm about to sell it right here. 490, 490, 490, 490, 490. We're 490. We're 490. We might even go to 491. 490, 490 going twice. 
I'm about to sell it right. This is the day. We got a 492. 492. Thank you so much, Traver. Traver. We got a 491 from a lady. Thanks so much. Okay, we done got blow doll. Any done got it going down to 491. We're trying to get a 494, 494, 494, 495. We got a 495, thinking five. Derek Franks. We got a 495, 496, 496, 496 going once. We got 496 going twice. 495. Can we get a 495, 496? We're trying to get 496. Dear woke Chris, it said 500, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> so somebody lying up in here. Anyway, it's not Umar this time. <laughs> okay. If we get to 500, 500, 500, we got a 500. Okay, he was telling the truth. Okay, all right, this month. He was telling the truth this month. All right, thank you. All right, thank y'all so much. Everyone to Cooker. Thanks to the mod for handling the business. Finish that name. Right here. here we go. Get that face in that name. Man. Okay. A few more things. I need somebody who knows how to remove graffiti from a school building. <laughs> I need somebody oh who knows how to remove graffiti from a Well, I'm going to be tired at work. I'm tripping. I'm acting like I'm 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Boy, I love y'all, though. The school building. Okay? I need somebody I know. who knows I how know. to remove graffiti from the school building. Also, if you work yeah, for an airline, we need, air, we need airline discount. We're going to be traveling all around. All around. I, my students will be educated about themselves like no other black child has ever been educated. We will be traveling. We will be visiting all the ancestral shrines. We will be visiting Black Wall Street. We will be in uh, 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 Tulsa. We will be in Selma. We going to all the museums. Trust me, my students will be strong. You gonna go to Hidden Hughes Museum? Okay, and I'm letting my parents know right now. You send your child to my school, there will be school on Saturdays once a month. There will be school on Saturdays once a month. It's not optional. It's mandatory. If you can't do it, they can't be in my damn school. They have to leave and I'm going to take somebody from the waiting list. And by the way, the waiting list is down the street and around the corner. That's facts. This guy. The waiting list to get in this school is down the street and around the corner. So if you're a black parent who can't do what you're supposed to do, guess what? Your child will not be there. I'm not playing with nobody. My I'm not this playing guy. with no. If school started eight fifteen, school started eight fifteen. Child come late too many times, they out. I'm not playing. And if your child is underachieving, they go to school every day. If your every child day. is underachieving, they go to school every day. I need brothers and sisters who are That's experts crazy. in archery, firearms, and survival skills. Archery, firearms, firearms survival skills. Survivor because skills. we will be going camping. At least once a season, our children will have to learn how to live off of. See, this comes out of one of his earlier scams. He was talking about uh, taking the boys out into the wilderness uh, like a uh, what do they call that? A Boy Scouts type of a situation. The land they will have to learn archery. They will have to learn how to hunt. They will become black Rambos personified. Every boy at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy will be a black black Rambo. This guy black Rambo personified. And yes, we will have the Frederick Douglass yeah, Marcus Garvey Junior Gun Club. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Junior <laughs> Gun Club. I don't think y'all heard me. I Maybe said the I Frederick you. Douglass Marcus Garvey. Then he said it's going to start with the th third and fourth and fifth grade. You're going to be teaching these kids uh, uh, in the third grade how to shoot firearm? Boy, you going to stop. Junior gun club. Oh, Wakanda is for real. You see how delusional? FDMG is the real Wakanda. Team Pan-African International Headquarters is the real Wakanda. Two weeks before school start, basic training in the woods. <laughs> basic training. Two weeks wood. before school start, basic training in the woods. If you want to be a part of that basic training school, let me know. That's going to be all volunteer. You got to volunteer for that because we can't pay you. Two weeks, I can't pay you enough. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a donation for you. all my uh, volunteers, though. But if you want to help train our boys, okay? Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. Five years later, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Almost done. Oh, the school will be registered as a parochial and independent parochial academy. FDMG will be registered as an independent parochial academy. FDMG will be will. Yeah, uh, Vixen, it's it's both. Okay, some of it he believes in, or at least he did at that time, and but uh, most of it is delusion.
Okay, to this day, a lot of it is still delusion. And over the next 30 days. Our mental. There will be school on Saturdays once a month. It's not op in archery, firearms, and Marcus Garvey Jr. Gun Club. It's <laughs> so crazy. Oh, Wakanda is for real. FDMG is the real Wakanda. Team Pan African International Headquarters is the real Wakanda. Two weeks before school start, basic training in the woods. Two weeks before school start, basic training in the woods. If you want to be a part of that basic training school, let me know. That's going to be all volunteer. You got to volunteer for that because we can't pay you. Two weeks, I can't pay you enough. I'm going to try to get a donation for all my uh, volunteers, though. But if you want to help train <laughs> our boys, okay? Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. Okay. Almost done. Oh. The school will be registered as a parochial and independent parochial academy. FDMG will be registered as an independent parochial academy. FDMG will be will be registered as an independent parochial academy. What does that mean? I don't know. We are spiritual, but the word they use is religious. Okay. That's so how we registered. It's a religious school. That means your child must study and learn Ifa, the traditional spiritual system of the Yoruba people of mm -hmm. Nigeria. They don't have to practice. If you a diehard Christian and you believe that you're not allowed to learn your own spiritual culture, that's fine. They don't have to practice, but they, they must learn. Every child will receive. You can't force. Boy, this is delusion right here. It's ridiculous. A divination. Every child will receive a divination. Every boy of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy will receive a divination to find out under what energy they were born. We yeah. will have a house of Shango. We will have a house of Ogun. We will have a house of Yemoja. We will have a house of Eshu. We will have a house of Oshun, Oya, a house of Obatala. Oh, yes. And we will have Obatala celebration, Oshun celebration, Yemoja celebration, Oya celebration. Oh, yes. Yes. And your child will dress up in the colors of the energy that. You can't do that. What What if the children's parents are Christian or, or Muslim or Buddhist or atheist or whatever? Now, I could be wrong about this, but I don't remember Umar saying things like this when he first started this, the St. Paul school scam. I don't remember him saying that the children are going to be forced. They got to be taught and there's no way around that. You, you can't force religion or spiritual system on anybody. You can't do that. Walks with them. We are not playing. We are not playing. In the official name of the campus... Because what we is? don't have a school. We have a campus. We don't have a school. We have a campus. The official name of the campus is, and this name, shout out to Baba Awosoju, Awosoji in Nigeria. He's a Just member of my Baba Labo team that does all my do divinations all for life and success. And come he on, buddy. come up with the name of the academy. He's in Nigeria, so we, we talk. And the name of the campus will be Ile. Awon Ogungun Orun, the house of the departed ancestors. And the reason we're naming the campus the house of the departed ancestors is because this is the 400 year celebration, memorial of the African struggle in America. So it will be the Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, RBG International Leadership Academy, campus number one, Ile Awon. A goon goon, a room. Ashe? Ashe. <laughs> Ashe, okay. Also, if you live in Delaware, I need to, Maryland too. Maryland and Delaware in particular. There's about five minutes left. I'm going to let Maryland and Delaware. Thank y'all for hanging particular. out. I need well, I'm gonna be so to find the closest access points 
to the rivers and to the ocean. Delaware has beaches. That's salt water. We also need fresh water, the lakes and streams to do our offerings to Mama Oshun. So I need to know where in Delaware can I access the Christiana River? Where in Delaware can I access the Delaware River? Where can I access the Schuylkill River? And then on the, the beach school kill. side, what? I need to know which beaches in Delaware give us direct access to the beach. Okay. What? Which okay, beaches we need in Delaware to know that give, for spirit What beaches give the direct access to the beach? What are you talking about? Yeah, he always say I need. That's his favorite word. I need. I purpose. need. It's very important that we know that for spiritual purposes. Okay. 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 All right. Also. Ah, my stomach. Commercial Good, insurance carriers. If you there know of know. a black owned commercial insurance, I need insurance for the building. I'm still under the previous owner's insurance right now, but I need insurance for the building. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. You got to be kidding me. I, this I've heard him say this, but this is the first time it actually registered. Because by this time, every time we watch this video, I'll be ready to go to sleep. You mean to tell me that you're on the insurance of the previous owner, but you're the new owner? You're on the commercial insurance of, what are you talking about? You know, I'm not a real estate expert, but it just, I look at it like this. Let, let's say that you buy a car from someone and they have their insurance on that car and then you buy it and then somehow you're on their insurance until you get your insurance. Okay, now listen, I could be wrong. So I'm just saying it just sounds so ridiculous to me. It really does. If you know somebody who does insurance, fire, water, you know, van, I need insurance for the buildings. I need insurance for the... Yeah, it don't make no sense. Fire, all of this, fire insurance. What? what so someone else is going to... School buses, the school vans, insurance for my employees. We need school insurance. Okay, so if any of y'all do for the employees too, do insurance, even if it ain't a black company. I prefer a black company, but I don't know if we have a black insurance company that does that. Not all insurance companies do commercial insurance. But if you work for an insurance company, I'll be one of your clients. Just hit me up, Dr. Umar. I don't think there's any black commercial insurance company. I work for a white one, but I can give you a good deal because I'm a manager. I will work with you in FDMG and give you the best deal I can to make sure your school is insured and all your teachers are insured. So make sure y'all get that for me. He don't know what he's doing. It's okay. ridiculous. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. That's not how any of that works. You're just going to contact some random person to say, listen, I'm going to need you to hook me up on insurance so that the teachers can have insurance. We have fire insurance. We have water damage insurance. We have, uh, I mean, come on. He didn't know what he was doing then. He still don't know what he's doing. Oh, when I was in Gambia in November, here we go. I met a brother who donated approximately 20 acres of land in the Gambia. If someone donated 20 acres of land, he said approximately, you wouldn't have to think about that. But you see how he's trying to figure out what he's saying? This guy, he's be lying so much. But watch, watch this. I prefer a black company, but I don't know if we have a black insurance company that does that. Not all insurance companies. Yeah, do I know that. Commercial. That's that's what I mean. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just throwing stuff out there. You you got. You, uh, that makes no sense. I mean, property insurance. Then you you got health benefits for that. That's separate. It's health benefits for for your uh, your workers, your your employees, basically. Uh, you would also have to have some type of four hundred one k plan that's set up. You should. Uh, otherwise the teachers would go at a public school to get the benefits, right? Uh, you have the help that, which would include the dental, uh, which would include, uh, for, for the eye, eyeglasses, all this kind of stuff is separate, but, but he, he's throwing it all together. Like he's going to contact some random person that's going to put all this into place. And meanwhile, he don't even have no teachers. He ain't got no school. He got some abandoned builders anyway. It's ridiculous. It's just, it makes no sense whatsoever. He don't know what he's doing. See, Umar, 
It's 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 imagination. That's all this is. He has no clue how to run a school, how to set up a school, how to get insurances set up, how to get not, nothing. Renovations done. He has no clue whatsoever. He says, I was used to be a principal and Lord Jamar. I know that doesn't mean anything. Even though I have yet to find any uh, record online or otherwise that would indicate that Umar was a vice principal or a principal. Was he? Maybe. It's possible, but I have yet to see it. He's never said where, when, what school year, what school district, any of that stuff. But the point is that just because you may or may not have been a vice principal or a school principal, or let's say uh, you were a school psychologist, that doesn't mean that you have the knowledge base needed to open up a school from the ground up. He doesn't know what he's doing. It's ridiculous. Insurance. But if you work for an insurance company, I'll be one of your clients. Just hit me up, Dr. Umar. I don't think there's any black commercial insurance company. I work for a white one, but I can give you a good deal because I'm a manager. I will work with you in FDMG and give you the best deal I can to make sure your school is insured and all your teachers are insured. So make sure y'all get that for me. Okay. Yeah, he sure does. It's ridiculous. Oh, when I was in Gambia in November, I met a brother who donated Sam, approximately 20 acres of land in the Gambia. The land he donated is 20, excuse me, the land he donated is right by the beach in the Gambia. A lot of our ancestors came from the Gambia. Kuta Kente Island is in the oh, Gambia. I want to build a small school slash vacation home. I'm going to contact him now. Now that we have our school, I want to build a small school slash vacation home so we can take students from FDMG in Delaware to the Gambia three, four times a year for vacation and spiritual rejuvenation to learn about African culture. Let me repeat, brothers and sisters, we have 20 acres of land in the Gambia right by the ocean. Let me say it again. We have 20 acres of land in the Gambia right by the ocean. Let me say it one more time. We have 20 acres of land in the Gambia right by the ocean. So I need some of y'all who work for the airlines. Dr. Umar, I can hook you up. We got a I special mean. rate for schools so we can go to the Gambia. Okay? Okay? In the spring, it might be group number one. In the fall, group number two. <laughs> in the winter, you, just, group number three. Just, and some of the teachers will go. And our students will live there for two weeks. And they will receive their instruction in Africa. Huh? I don't think y'all ready. Y'all don't even know what we're about to do. He had movies. Y'all don't know what we're about to do. He ain't done I'm almost this. done. I okay. am almost done. I'm happy. Thank you to my donors. Thank <laughs> you for sticking with me. Thank you to my supporters. Thank you for those of y'all who prayed for me because 2018 was a terrible year for Dr. Umar. I don't want to go into it, but y'all know at the start of the year, I had to deal with the state board. I just went through a whole lot of stuff in 2018. Yeah, I remember that. Worst, yep. Probably the worst year of my life. 2018, 2012, even though I got my doctorate that year, 2018 and 2012 were two of the worst years of my life. And I'm just glad that God brought me FDMG right now because I needed this. I needed <laughs> no, this so just bad going. because I needed something positive because things had not been going right for a while. So I just want to thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for support. And here we are five years later and there's still no school. It's just a couple minutes left. Thank y'all so we much. Y'all don't know how much I love y'all. All right. I'm giving everybody a hug in the Bronx. I'm giving everybody a hug. In let me close out this poll too. Thank y'all so much, everyone who voted on all the polls for this evening. Thanks to the Miles for handling this. Thank you, everyone. Good course, Chad. You're undefeated as always. Best FDMG mascot, Michael Myers, comes in at 16%. Freddy Krueger comes in at 27%. Candyman wins out in a landslide, 41%. And Chucky came in with a respectable 16%. Thanks, everyone, for voting. I appreciate it. Let's finish up for sure right here. In Connecticut, I just asked that if you ain't coming with positive energy, don't show up. I only want to see positive people, good vibes, good energy. Okay. <laughs> Remember, I'm looking for a place to live in Wilmington or Southern Pennsylvania. It ain't got to be right in Wilmington, right in Delaware, right around the Wilmington area. 
because I need to be close to the. No, I don't know if he says cash app at the end. I wouldn't be surprised though. Next couple months, I'm going to be spending a lot of time there. And the reason I need some of y'all to bring me y'all resumes to Bronson, Connecticut, because I'm going to need some of y'all to move to Delaware with me. I'm going to need some of y'all to move to Delaware with me. I'm going to need some of y'all to move to Delaware with me. I need a team. We need a team. And for my Delaware people, I'm looking forward to meeting y'all Thursday night. February 28th, 7 p.m. If you need the information, text me so I can introduce myself to y'all and y'all can introduce yourselves to me. Okay? And I want to say this. FDMG is just the beginning. FDMG is just the beginning. FDMG is just the beginning. This is a part of my mission. This ain't the whole mission. This is a part of my mission. This ain't my whole mission. Not only are we going to be putting FDMGs all over the place, we got some political work we got to do. We got to organize the ex-offenders. We got to organize our homeless people. We got to organize the black political union. And and Delaware will be the headquarters of the global Pan-African renaissance. Delaware will be the headquarters of the global Pan-African renaissance. Please donate, brothers and sisters. Please don't. Listen, I have the video. We're not going to play it here, but there were a woman that moved out there. She had a, 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 a son who was special needs and she wanted to enroll him in uh, FDMG. It's sad. I have the video. Donate, 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 so we can open up the doors on August yeah, 21st, yeah. Mm-hmm. 2019, and honor our yep. ancestors with a gigantic, unapologetically African festival. Music, food, vendors, workshops, it will be beautiful. It will be so beautiful if we can raise this money, repair this school. I hope some of y'all can help me with the electrician and the plumbing and the roofing and the graffiti and all of that stuff. Okay? We need a black owned dumpster. We need a black owned dumpster company. Okay, I need a dumpster. Okay, Johnny on the spot. We need some Johnny on the spots. When we do our festivals, when we do our festivals, we need toilets, outside toilets. We have them in the school, but we're not going to have enough in the school. We don't want everybody running back and forth in the school either. So we need some Johnny on the spots. We need some dumpsters. We need some public trash cans. Y'all know what we need. This is nation building, brothers and sisters. This is nation building, brothers and sisters. This is nation building, brothers and sisters. Last thing I want to say is this. Five years later, still no school. I will be doing more live feeds to follow up. I will be doing more live feeds to follow up. But to the governor of Delaware and the mayor of Wilmington and the politicians of city council, I'm not coming to cause you any problems or any grief. I am not a politician. I will not be running for mayor. You need not fear me. I will not be running for city council. You need not fear me. I will not be running for state rep, U.S. rep, state senator, U.S. senator. You need not fear me. I'm coming to educate our children. You're going to hear a lot of negative things about me. Okay. All I can say to you, come ask me yourself. You're going to have a lot of white coons and black coons. A lot of white coons and black coons are going to be contacting you with the most ridiculous things. All you have to do is have a conversation with me. We building a school for our children. What I believe in is what I believe in. What I believe in is what I believe in. I'm not biting my tongue for nobody. I just want you to know that I'm coming to be productive. Okay, there's a war against black boys that's sending them to the prison and to the cemetery, and we intend to do something about it. Furthermore, I can assure you that the economy of Delaware will be better because I am there. I can assure you the economy of Wilmington will be better because I am there. You have no idea the amount of business activity that I'm going to bring to your city. Restaurants, hotels, travel, rentals. You're going to be surprised. Delusion. Dr. Umar Johnson equals economy. I am an economy. So let's sit down and have a respectful conversation. I'm not going to agree with everything you do and say. You ain't going to agree with everything I do and say. But this ain't about you. It's about the people. Ashe. Ashe. Okay, okay. On that note, I want to say again, thank you. I don't know how long we've been live, but I'm about to upload the video. Go to my Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatun. I'm going to upload the video so you can see the school. Text me 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. If you need to text me, get at me. 215-989-9858. Resumes in the Bronx and in Connecticut for... NIBPA, Team Pan-African, the Marcus Garvey Mid-Atlantic Movement, African Guards of Garvey Security, FDMG resumes must be emailed. You can bring one in person, but please email it as well to fdmgresumes at gmail.com. Brothers and sisters, 
We have done it. We have our school. And I'm looking forward to being your son's principal. God bless you. Wow. All right, Cook Curse. Thank you all so much for tuning on in. Here we are five years later, five year anniversary of Umar acquiring these trap bandles. Not one child has been educated. The scam continues 14 years in count. Thank you all so much. We work. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming. FDMG is coming, FDMG is coming, FDMG is coming, it's coming. Yeah, thank you. That was a great show. Thank everyone for participating. I appreciate it. It's coming. It's coming. Y'all, I'm going to get up. I'm going to be tired it's tomorrow. Coming. But at least I can watch, I can listen to this. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. Thought it's personality. Be twerking, it's twerking. There y'all have it. Thank y'all so much for tuning on in. Cook Rest Chat, y'all undefeated. Okay, love y'all. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll talk with y'all very, very soon. Okay, uh, thanks to the mods too. Thanks to everyone who sent in uh, the super chats. I always thank people. I appreciate the support. Anyone sent the cash out PayPal, thank you so much as well. Uh, please uh, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Love y'all. Take care. Peace. <laughs>